Fingers in his ass, fingers in his ass. Kanye West, he lies. Fingers in his ass, fingers in his ass. Fingers in his ass. Kanye West, he likes big fingers in his ass. Kanye West, he likes big fingers in his ass. Kanye West, he likes big fingers in his ass. Fingers in his ass, he likes in his ass. Likes in his ass, fingers in his ass. Yes, pinky, index finger, and the thumb in his ass. To the butt hole goes no. West in his ass, north in his ass, east in his ass, most definitely in his ass. Yes, yes, Kanye what he likes fingers in his ass. Kanye what he likes fingers in his ass. Kanye what he likes fingers in his ass. He likes big fingers in his ass. Kanye West, he likes fingers in his ass. Kanye West, he likes fingers in his ass. Kanye West, he likes fingers in his ass. He likes big fingers in his. Kanye West, he likes fingers in his ass. Fingers, 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 fingers in his ass. Kanye West, he likes fingers in his ass. Kanye likes fingers in his. Kanye West, he likes fingers in his ass. Fingers, 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 fingers in his ass. Fingers in his ass. Fingers in his ass. Kanye likes fingers in his hole. Hey, hole. Fingers, 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 fingers in his hole. Hey, 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 they could just be like a fucking gunless sheriff, just running around, doing whatever the fuck they want. Watch out. To the mashup artists out there, do not use Kanye shit. Kanye likes it in the booty, fingers in the booty ass bitch. Amber Rose has been up in there, fingers in the booty ass bitch. One, two, three, four, five, six fingers, fingers in the booty ass bitch. Kanye loves it in his asshole, fingers in the booty ass bitch. Kanye likes it in his asshole, yes, Kanye likes it in his asshole. Fingers in the booty ass bitch, he's in the fingers in the booty ass bitch.
All right. Hello there. Azazel. Chat. Welcome. Welcome. Are you excited? Welcome to Peak Phil Autism. How's it going? Welcome, Azazel. Welcome, Chad. Hey, Free Spring. Hey, Phil. Hey, Azzy. Thank you for the 16 home. months, Free Spring. Thank you, Purple Shut-In, for the $5. I won't be able to stay for this stream since I have work, but I'll watch either the VOD or join after you're still alive. Oh, thank you. You're, we're going to be here all night. Hey, Nano Abyss. Thank you for the $2. Hello there, Dr. Ivan. Hello, Harry Manui. Hello, Breadman. Hello, JRX, Pogo Martin, Turtle King, Cosmic Carcinogen. Hey, Aider Games. Hey, Chameleon. Hey, Victoria. Hello there, Jivo. Hello, Thrilo. Hello, Purple Max. Hey, Aries. Hey, I think. Hey, Nutella. Hey, Moth Ghost. Hey, Aura. Hey, King Cobra. Hello, Percibius. Hello there, Star Dream. Crystal Moon. Hey, hey, GPS. Hey, Neon the Cartoon. Hey, Necro. Hey, weird name! Hey, Phil. Hey, Wolkma. Yes, I do check out Tumblr for fan art. I sometimes get it from there as well. Thank you. <laughs> ah! Sorry. Hi. Sorry. Hi. <laughs> okay. I suddenly got used to that. <laughs> 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 hey, Harry Manui, thank you for the 14 months. Hey, Dr. Joker for the 12 months. Undertale Yellow was so powerful it crashed Game Jolts! Yeah. Fuck! Undertale Yellow was so powerful it crashed Game Jolt. <laughs> he got the for the 12 months. Also one year you hey! Hey, 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 Azzy. Wait. I don't know if you know, but... Don't I know? Do you know that I am a big Undertale fan? Can you tell? I mean, I mean yeah, you're old enough to be an Undertale fan. Do you know why this channel exists in the first place? Because you're stupid? Yes, that. But, I mean, the inciting incident for the creation of the toxic cesspit. Because you're way too toxic? Yeah, also that. But also, it was not the illegal panda bear, by the way. Everyone thinks, oh, fucking starting the channel playing fucking illegal games. No! We started this channel to play Deltarune Chapter 2 when it released. Sure, I wanted to record myself streaming games for a very long time, but I, there was no any motivation, there was no game that I wanted to capture, like, in a time bubble, as much as I did Deltarune Chapter 2. The entire genesis of this channel is Undertale. So my money. Thank you hey, Costar, thank you for $5. Thank you. So, I am a bit excited for this. Hey, Portal Gorgon, thank you for the six months. Jesus Christ, the game just Yes, it is. It, they did I crash it. Well, this is about to be good. I'm pretty sure that the whole Undertale community is, like, freaking out about this. So am I. I'm not really in the Undertale community, but Undertale is one of my favorite games of all time, and I am obsessed with Deltarune. Now, of course... For the VOD watchers and the people that do not know because they're just, like, tuning in to watch a streamer play this, this is not actually an official Undertale product. This is not made by Toby Fox. But Undertale Yellow is one of the most high-profile fan games out there. Like, period. Not even on the Undertale community, just, like, in general. It has been worked on in development for seven years. I don't know if you know, but making RPGs is not an easy task. Sure, you can make like a run-of-the-mill, kind of like basic-ass RPG maker game, but making a full-ass RPG top to bottom, making it good, making, with, making it with memorable characters and animations and like plot lines and stuff like that, it takes a lot of work. Which is why Undertale fan games, especially unique Undertale fan games like this, usually don't get finished. So the fact that this came out is a fucking miracle. And I want to savor it. Because even though it is not actually an official Undertale product, it is still very much clearly made with love and attention, just like the original did. And it's made by fans, which, honestly, fans... Some fans 
maybe a bit obsessive, maybe a bit weird, maybe a bit too hyper-focused on the, 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 their subject of obsession, but sometimes they just nail it, you know? Sometimes they just nail the vibe of the original. They want to make more of the thing that they loved in the first place. And I think that Undertale Yellow, I haven't played it so far, obviously, but I think it might be a perfect example of that. Right, and grind MFs, it's time for hey, that one only phone dude. Ah, thank you for the five pound. Uh, thank you, Purple Max, for the five dollar as well. I will not be around since they added since they added the weekend for Fortnite. So yeah, have fun. No I problem, Purple Max. Hey, Pixie way. Boy. Thank also you for the five months. And glad sorry, been sorry. Here for five months. Hm? I'm sneezing. My my nose is running. I'm the sick child. Don't... Sick of this bitch. Oh, don't worry about it. You're gonna be way more sick of me by the end of the stream. I want to. I want to experience this all in one go. I apologize in advance. I know you're not sorry, first of all, and second of all, I'm already tired of you. Yes, but you will be here to actually fully experience an Undertale product because you didn't finish Undertale when you played it. I mean, I finished it once, I believe. I, I, I You finished the Mega neutral Fly. route. That doesn't count. You, what? You beat Omega Flowey. That doesn't count. You need to get to the actual end. Wait, this is not an actual ending, but that was like a big boss battle and shit. Yeah, that's Omega Flowey. You didn't even get you didn't even, you didn't get to the real part of Undertale. Anyways, what? before we start, oh. I want to show the official launch trailer for the game. Oh, I'm sorry. Just, woo! <laughs> just like. Uh, I'm excited for this. I got it. Yes. Uh, there's a lot of donations coming in right now. Uh, you should read them, because I'm not doing that. I'm sick. You will voice act characters in this game. You have what? no choice. Is that pizza RPG game that was you are not allowed to be snide and sarcastic. This is a celebration made by fans! That I hope this one okay, is good. but... Should I order noodles or pizza? Pizza is always good. Yeah, but I kind of want noodles. Then order noodles, you stupid bitch. Hey, Moonlit but Gamer, pizza, thank you for the $10. Though. Another RPG game that was in development for seven years was Followed the Frontier, a mod for Followed New Vegas. Let's just say that I hope this one is good. Oh, yeah, I know about the I know about the, the racism and misogyny of that mod. That was pretty interesting. What do you like? Don't worry about it. Uh, thank okay. you, Sambakuma, for the two pound. Will you play Deltarune Chapter 3 and 4? What do you think? I'll play them day one when they come out. Hey, Cutie Pie Games, for the two pound. Will you play The Coffin of Andy and Lele? You know, for all the jokes that I made about that game on Twitter, yeah. it doesn't actually look that very interesting. It just looks okay. like a like a regular-ass visual novel, except the only gimmick about it is incest, so... Honestly, besides the admittedly really well-drawn visuals, I'm not really that interested about it. Anyways... Undertale Yellow. The release launch trailer. The animation quality, though. A gun. A gun? You have a gun. Oh! <laughs> Look at this! The play! <laughs> the, the vent! Fuck you, the vent. I love the vents. Yeah! Amazing. I love, okay, uh, 
Azazel, I don't know how deep you are into the Undertale rabbit hole, but every time an official Undertale product releases a trailer, there is a scene in that trailer with jumping vents, like jumping around vents in every single trailer. So I love that this fan game also caught on to that. That's Wait, what? Wait, what? beautiful. Wait. Don't worry about it. All right. Okay. You will be voicing all the cutesy characters, by the way. It is your responsibility to voice them properly. <sighs> Gotta Will work. I get paid for that? I'll, 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 I'll give you a spoonful of chocolate after this. Wow, the whole spoon? A whole spoon. Holy shit! A whole all right. spoonful? I will, I will open up the game right now. I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> Just nervous. Oh, <laughs> uh, why am I acting like this is an official Undertale, like, Toby Fox product? It's not, it's a fan game, but, like, the effort that you can see on the trailers and stuff just, like, gives me those same feelings, you know? Alright. Now? Shut up. Okay. Wait, no, you shut up! Shut up. <gasps> <gasps> No 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 hold on no 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 where did you get this game and Digon donates five dollars and says hey Phil where do you get this game and where where can we find it? You can find it on Game Jolt under Undertale Yellow. It literally just came out. Alright, how can I capture this game as fast as possible so that I can capture the actual Intro of the game. Hold on. Are you doxing yourself on stream? No, 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 no. Okay, it Chad. I can order some. I can order. For years, monsters have that sealed wanna... away. Have been sealed away by a powerful spell. A spell that could only be broken by seven human souls. Their king was peaceful and wished to avoid any conflicts. But eventually declared that any human who fell <laughs> would die. Mount Ebon. You humans have braved this mountain. Those who did were never seen again. We're playing as a bounty hunter. Undertale. Yellow. Hey, Seabass, thank you for the 16 months. I'm crazy that this game is finally out. I'll be skipping this stream so I can experience it blind. Have a great time, everyone. Thank you, Seabass. Colon underscore fi hype. Colon underscore fi hype. Ah. All right. Need to lower the volume. Hello there. We're starting in the same place that we did in Undertale. By the way, yes, I have played the demo of this game, but that was years ago, so I barely remember it. Frog had hopped close. Well, what do you think, chat? 
Shall we go pacifist? Shall we go neutral route? Obviously not genocide for the first time. I mean, from, I think, okay, I've been in Undertale community for, and now I have to know that if you will kill somebody, they will probably dox you next They will, you next they will day. burn you at the stake, yes. So I, let's obviously go for pacifist. Yeah. Frogged. Attack three, defense two. Life is difficult for this enemy. Ha! The mysterious goat lady scared the frog it away. Oh. Um. Do you want to towards her? Nah. Nah. Do you want She's not good enough you? for Azalea. Oh, uh, hello. Are you alright? Okay. You must be wondering what is going on. Is this the same one from seven years ago? I'm Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through here every day to see if anyone has fallen down. I still need to lower the music. Guys, stop saying mommy. It does not happen often. You are the first to come here in a long time. Do not be afraid, little one. I will do my best to protect you here. Come, I shall guide you through your new home. What she doesn't know is that we have a gun. Will you use it? Not on her. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. They must be solved in order to move on from room to room. Allow me to demonstrate. So, literally just like Undertale right now, okay. We are free to proceed now. Follow me, my child. There are many puzzles ahead. In this room, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Splendid! I am proud of you, my child. It should have opened by now. I'm sure I labeled the correct lever. Ah, do not worry, little one. Try flipping the other switch. Oh. And we're out of Undertale fan game territory. Oh my gosh, we're going to hell! My child! Are you alright? Oh dear. I'm afraid I cannot reach you. I must leave for a moment. You will stay here, will you not? Do not wander! Many monsters are unfriendly towards humans. Fret not, my child. I will protect you. Please, wait there. New area time! Wrong lever. Oh? Well, something fell down here. Jump. Do not jump. The well, sign is obscured by leaves. Way. Only a few words are visible. Caution. X. Run. Yeah! We can run! Holy shit, the animation. Oh, my ears. All right, here you go. Am I wasn't this? Yes. Big? What? No. Really? <clears throat> Wait, I don't like him. <laughs> Pretty, flowy, flowy the flower. You look confused. Doriel ought to ought to have told you how things work around here. She did it. I guess little old me will have to do it then. Ready? <laughs> See? See that heart? That is your soul. The very culmination of your beginning. Of being, yeah. 
It is me. Your L V represents love. It's Heh. <laughs> I'm sure you won't have to worry about that. In the underground, monsters may try to attack you. If you see bullets like this, you need to weigh them at all costs. Try dodging my bullets now. Here they come. By the way, Chad, English is not my native shell gum. Aww. So, sorry about that. Let's try again. Here they come. Dodge them all. Are you fucking stupid or something? <laughs> what are you doing? Dodge the bullets. Don't mess it up this time. Time for my favorite Bro, are you for real? <laughs> You're sick of, are you doing this on purpose? Fine, I'll just send in, stop sending them then. Since you're so bad at dodging bullets, you can save your progress for you. That means if something that happens, I can make it unhappen for you. Holy shit, you're so fucking bad. You probably <laughs> want to go home, don't you? Well, you have a long journey ahead. If you need, ever need to save, come look for me. <gasps> of course. Flowey is your safe yeah, spot. You're not S T R A I G H T. I will ha I will leave these little things around for you. That way, it's easy to find me. If you say why, don't hesitate to call me. Of course, Flowey is the actual safe spot of this game. Because the player character does not have enough determination to be able to save by themselves. So now Flowey being your companion means that he will be able to save for you. I'm confused. That's awesome! And then, and then I will save for you. Like, I just saved for you now. Uh, there's one more thing. Canonically accurate safe spot, Flowey. Uh, the king of all the monsters, Asgore. Humans. <laughs> the only way of killing him, and well, you're pretty small. That doesn't matter too much, though. What matters is that is you've got me on your side. I will let you get going, but please be careful. There's all sorts of dangerous traps down there. And some of the monsters in this place... I hear they don't like visitors, so good luck! Thank you, Flowey. Now, let me order my fucking pizza, oh my fucking god. You deal. <sighs> Looks like you got it then. Can I order my pizza now? You may. Thank you, Jesus. We are officially named Clover. So we don't get to actually choose our own name. That's interesting. Flyer is giving fighting a try. Look at this little goober! Yuppie! Look at this UP creature! Yeah, yuppie! Flyer feels nothing. I've been working out. No big deal. He's so autistic. Everything has that new car smell with a faint whiff of body spray. Criticize? You insult Flyer's choice of outfits. That hurts me on a personal level. Flyer doesn't think the position of enemy fits him. You inform Flyer that his life isn't half over. He has a whole lot half life left to go. You're right, something needs to change. <gasps> mm. 
Flyer is ready to return to his regular life. As you know, can't really kill anybody in these games. It's a sign. It says EXPOSITION in large friendly letters. Stuck? Press this for a do-over. Or don't. Fucking nailed it! Private property. No trespassing. Hello. I'm happy to finally meet you face to face. How long has it been? I was wondering if you'd ever come back. No, too forward. Who am I kidding? I'll never be able to meet you in this stain. I just hope you know, I had no choice. It must be this way. Hmm? Are you the Lola or something? Huh? Who? I must be seeing things. It's a druid! Let's follow him. Oh my god. Oh, Penilla draws near. Penilla, a sketchy character. So all my handwork leads to this? <gasps> oh shit. Uh, compliment. You compliment Penilla's work. She looks a little uncomfortable. I don't really think it's ready for people yet. Penelope scraps her drawing and starts over. Aww. You put yourself in between Penelope and her work. I suppose I could use a break. Penelope is packing up her art supplies for the day. Good job, Penelope. Yo, bitch. Howdy. Oh. You do it. I see you're still in one piece. Con fucking congratulations. You saw that weird array? It called an artist. If you want to get out of here, you will have to go through him. It shouldn't be a problem though. Just fucking kill him. If he is, that's why I'm here. I'm gonna fucking kill them. No killing. This flowery is nice. Weirdly enough. A cornfield? Sweet corn uh, hops up excitedly. Sweet corn, constantly on a sugar rush. You're doing great, sweetie! Oh. Sweet corn jumps up and down in celebration. Lick! All you can taste is sugar. Whatever makes you happy. Gameplay. These bullet animations, though. Hug? You give Sweet Corn a big hug. She briefly gets stuck to your shirt. <laughs> I'm feeling the love! Sweet Corbin, smiling contemptly. <gasps> Very good. It's a rejected piece of corn. Take it. Obtain the candy corn. Is candy corn even good? I know I tried. <gasps> the yippee. Candy corn is actually pretty shite in my personal experience. It just tastes like pure sugar. Which I guess is kind of the point. You can already feel the cavities. I mean, are, wait, are 
heard you like like sweet stuff. Yeah, but I like sweet stuff with intellectual taste. Oh my god. I love sweet stuff, it's just... There's a difference... Okay. I like sweet stuff, except shit like... can like... like... sweet corn and Skittles. What? Skittles is the best! No, I like M&M's. The sour... The sour one is the best! I thought... I thought Skittles all tasted the same. Wait, no! There's, uh, there's sour one, which is the best! I think that just might be placebo effect from the colors. I prefer M&M's because they're chocolate, and I fucking love chocolate. Uh, I'm in. <gasps> do you wanna... <laughs> <laughs> do you wanna do a poll and check? What is better, sour Skittles, or like, the fuck you like? No, because I know that M&M's are better. Friend, I planted Wait. these for you. It isn't much, but I hope it brightens your day. It always brightened mine. Aww. Friend, do not fear the unknown. Sometimes they're nice. Is it wrong to hold doubt in my actions? I enjoyed life before. I did. But I can't go back. What happened that day would only repeat. Huh? What is this? Why do they appear every time I start monologuing? I need more rest. Peanut butter M&Ms are so fucking good, though. Absolutely, 100%. Hey, Penella. Bye-bye, Penella. Once you spare a monster, I usually tend to, like, escape from them. Ooh. Rorim encounters you. Rorim. Rorim's expression is blank. Yellow is the new black. Oh! 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 Rorim is looking around. You give a slight smile. Rorim smiles back. Smiles are never out of style. Almost. Rorum re reflects on his current circumstances. Critique. You critique your appearance. Rorum is very pleased. You look perfect. Rorum is looking for his next big project. Okay, these monster designs feel straight out of oh, Undertale. It's a kitty, 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 kitty. There appears to be a drawing of a cat scribbled on it. Does this make it a caterpillar? Cloudy, this place sure is bad. All the monsters are all quiet and lurking. That's not like monsters at all. That's like the radio impression of the underground. We'll leave this down behind soon enough. I can I can feel I can fucking smell. Like even even this writing this writing is great, because even though Flowey is acting nice and friendly towards us, I can fucking feel the cynicism like seeping through the bottom. Of his personality. Fuck yeah, Flowey. Is he a bad guy or a good guy in this? Oh uh, well, Flowey is a bad guy in the original Undertale, but this is a prequel to the to Undertale, and you sh in the lore of Undertale, Flowey the Flower is a being that is like emotionless and evil on the inside. Like he doesn't feel empathy at all. He's a psychopath. He just pretends to act nice and friendly toward you to get what he wants. And considering how lore accurate this fan game seems to be at the moment, I'm pretty sure he's just using us right now. He's bullshitting us. 
So I so like he's that. A bad guy. So yeah, he pretty much, but he is helping you right now in this game. So, like, the writing is good because I can fucking feel that cynicism deep inside him, even when he's acting nice. Uh, this is it, you'll not know Undertale. Chat, I do know. So, do I know Undertale? No, you don't. <gasps> hey, cutie. Hey, so this would be perfect for my nine hour shift to drown out complaints that customers. You have way too many animation frames for this also, game. Also, why gave Decibat you a Decibat makes his appearance smoke? presence unknown. Hayden San donates five dollars and says, "Hey, Phil and Azzy, this will be perfect for my nine-hour shift to drown out the complaints at customer service." Also, why did you, why did you drive a sasel to smoke? Don't worry, she's a college student. Also, the music. Yeah. Decibat missing his quiet solitude. Don't move. Don't make a sound. Okay, fine. Don't make a sound. This is how they teach you the blue mechanic. This about is whispering something too quiet to hear. You decide to watch Desibat in silence. He seems to appreciate it. Love in silence. Yes, yes. Ugh. It's so bad. Desibat looks slightly more at ease. You watch Desibet in silence. He seems to appreciate it. Look at her. Look at the fucking cat smile on this bat. Wow, the difficulty is immediately ramping on. Desibet gives you a nod of approval. You watch Desibet in silence. He seems to appreciate it. Fucking hell. That's smart. Oh my god. You stupid. I have one candy corn. You eat the candy corn. You now know why it was discarded. <laughs> you recovered 9 HP. More quiet, please. Oh my god. Oh, the music is lowering in volume. Took you long enough, honestly. You hear that? You hear that? No? Good. Okay, the enemies and fight gimmicks on this game are on par with Deltarune. Fuck yeah. Sweet silence. Holy shit, you always drop real quick, bad. This bat is ready to return to sleep. Oh? I super mercy them. I declare you an honorary sentinel of silence. Aww. Aww. I trust you to keep peace and order here. I shall go conquer new lands in the name of quiet. Is a very high honor, so keep hush hush. Oh, cute little guy. Oh yeah, right. Um, sorry, order my pizza. Draw it saved. Let's get a move on. I was going down. I forgot. We're silent supporters now. This is already so inventive and nice. Crispy Scroll is looking for someone to talk to. Crispy Scroll, looking for someone to, who can match his enthusiasm. It isn't easy being this bishy. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ugh. Grippy Scroll makes an obscure reference. Transform? You and Crispy Scroll perform a magical transformation sequence. Ah! 
<laughs> Crispy Scroll can't believe that just happened. Yell. You join Crispy Scroll in his excited yelling. Wait! Do you speak fluent reference? Crispy Scroll is 50% powered up. You join Crispy Scroll in his excited yelling. I can feel the power coursing through my ribbons. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bonk. 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 Kaboom. <laughs> Crispy's, Crispy Scroll hit 100%. He has reached Crispy blah, 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 Super Crispy mode 2K. I wonder if I could have continued then. Be doing well. Oh, they're in type one. Can we Good. get can we get the number to be zero for the entirety of the playthrough? Yeah, 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 sure. Can you imagine if we never died once? Oh you do a poll. Chat believers and yes. non believers rise fucking up. It's will to gamble. We die one. Will Will this be a deathless playthrough? Start poll. Let's see. The game keeps track of how many times you died. Let's see how many times we will die. I to gamble, Chuck. Not that I thought you would, but it's nice to be prepared. Da -da -da -da. Actually, let's try to see if we can get Crispy Scroll to go past 100%. Join Crispy Scroll in his excited yelling. Oh my god! What the fuck? Why does he have Gaster Blasters? What? Don't worry about it. Okay. I can feel the power coursing through my ribbons. Hundred percent. Eugene Crispy Scroll in his excited yelling. Oh my god! I think you're gonna fail your deathless playthrough right here. Crispy Crispy Scroll's power is staggering. Okay, yeah, it, it it didn't it didn't do like two hundred percent or five hundred percent, but you know, fair enough. It just saved. I know, but I needed to like like top off my health. I it was only eight health. We'll see. I need to make sure that I don't die now that I, now that we have a bet going. Right. Oh, it's this. I fucking rule at these puzzles. Never mind. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Hold on. Fuck. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. Hold on. Ah, 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 ah. There you go. So good. You just hold the games. It doesn't budge. You can already feel the cavities. We already did this. What the fuck's going on over here? Eh, bitch just thought. I seem to recall what I once saw so often. What I remembered, it seems, is now forgotten. So then, never mind, I guess. It's a stray feather. You got a stray feather. Can we attack with that? Uh, we can equip it on our little hat. You stick the feather into your hat. It gives a proud feeling. Pride. Ew. The bat!
Neon the cartoon says, I'll make a plushie if you do Deathless. I will take that. Ooh, I'll send you the plushie if you do this Deathless. I want to commission her for that, you know? Yeah, I know. A legendary reference is for that. <laughs> he is sound okay. asleep. Maybe you shouldn't disturb him. <gasps> there he is. Huh? Uh. I don't know who you are, but I ask you. Please leave! Uh, Nyanvikatun says I will make Azazel Ball. Uh, I like Azazel Ball. Property of Dao, the monster in the cloak. No trespassing. Well, we got a trespass. Oh, what's that? Corn. A ball? Corn oh. on the cobweb! Corn on the cobweb! You know what, fuck you. Corn on the cobweb! <laughs> you solve puzzles by just... Yeah! That's... Like how? That's the humor I like. That... That's good. Fuck. Yeah! No, no I use room temperature. How do you... Not too far now. Just gotta deal with that downer. Then you're out of the range. Seven years. <laughs> Seven years. See you on the side, pal. Your delivery of Flowey is actually perfect for the kind of character he is. Really yourself. Don't Kitty. step on the flowers. No! Kitty! Kitty, 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 kitty. That's actually kitty. a dog. Oh. There's a corn dog hiding amongst the corn cobs. Take it? Yes! Obtain the corn dog. Patch. It's not strong, but it's trustworthy. Corn dog. Restores 12 HP. A genuine corn dog with soft, fluffy ears. A pile of crates, all containing corn. You're getting tired of the stuff. Da, 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 da. Well, time to go meet Dalve. Dave. Dalve. Dave. Hi, get Dave. it? Get it? Because like Dalve is like backwards for. Oh, you're still following me? I thought I made it clear that I want to be left alone. I don't understand. You, you look like. You look just like them. Is this some sort of haunting? Or have you come to finish the job? Retreating here wasn't enough, so you hunted me down. Right? What? what? And I was just starting to accept my reality. The cruelty. Whatever. I did to you that... Whatever I did to you that day was not my intention. I was only... Never mind. Words aren't enough. I don't want to fight anybody. But you've invaded my home. The exit is blocked, and you can't stay here. I will not allow it! Only one thing to do. Yo! Dalve musters his fighting spirits. Dave. You know, you know, because Vlad, because you know, Dave. D Dalve backwards is Vlad. Vlad. Dave. Whatever. Dalve wants to be left alone. I don't suppose you could leave the way you entered, could you? It'll be easier for the both of us. Monster! I love the way that when the lightning happens, it, like, it reflects the lightning across the hallway in the background. Dalf seems to be in conflict with his more human, humane side. 
Dal does not seem to value communication. Where do you I come from, me. anyway? There aren't any accessible entrances. You know what? I should probably give uh, Transylvania, like, accent to him. Dal Are Transylvania is real? Dal doesn't notice your offer of goodwill. All I know is that somehow you found me. Sorry to make things difficult, but I am not cowering away this time. Oh my fucking god. What is that? Are those eyeballs? That's the lips. The other monsters, did you pester them as well? Not that I care to keep up with their activity. Oh, be right back, my ears splitting. Take care of yourself. Dal seems to break to brush off his cloak. This region of ruins is my home. And my home has rules. The residents understand that. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Amazing bullet patterns, by the way. Dal seems to be dreading his next, next attack. But it seems as if you've never got the memo. That, or you're purposefully ignoring my wishes. I love the lightning attacks. Vampires are a third species in AI tale. Hey, Matthew. Hello. What's with that sad face? Don't you understand? Don't you remember me? Boop. Whoop. Whoppa! Whoppa! I know you are at the Phantom, but... Could it be that? No. It is impossible. I don't know what happened to your ear. Uh, I pierced my ears not so long ago, and... I put, like, a slap on the wrong side or something like this, but today I woke up and, like... And my ear was, like, basically the full of... The pool of blood, which is kind of cool. Dalv assumes an intimidating fa facade. You. You look so helpless. Different. What is it, the front? But now I can wear cute earrings, and I'm getting. Dalv assumes an intimidating facade. No, you aren't trying to hurt me. You aren't who I believed you to be, are you? How could I be so foolish? I apologize, I truly do. This got out of hand. I don't know how I can make things right now. What is Bert talking about? Spare. Handshake! Dalv accepts your offer of goodwill. You want me to shake your hand? Even after all, I wrongfully attacked you? But that is... A sign of friendship. You're a human, right? Is it the same where you come from? I'm not sure. I didn't ever expect to meet another human. Let alone befriend them. Don't get me wrong, I'd, l I'd love to have a friendship. I mean, I, I think, I, I don't really remember what that entails. I guess I'll give it a shot, if you will. Yeah! You won. Friendship unlocked! Aw, look at that poor boy. What do friends do, actually? Do you want to, uh, see my house or something? I have to go there anyway, so I guess stop by if you have the time. Oh yeah. Look at him! I, um, I have to fix something in the other room. Sit down and get comfortable. Take your shoes off. Actually, please leave them on. The floors are a bit dirty. I haven't swept since this morning. Friend! Alright, I know you're probably eager to get going, but feel free to stay as long as you like.
You like those? Those are my projects. I sometimes try to write books, like stuff for kids. The table is covered in colorful pencils and pages strewn with cute pictures. I sometimes kind of forget what colored, what colors things are outside this place. So I just make them up. I think the kids will find it more interesting that way anyway. It might not be as educational though. I remember not really liking Bla Vlad when I played the demo. Why is he, like, better? I wonder if they made a lot of changes to, the, like, the demo area. I don't exactly have a huge selection of food. I don't get out much. Oh, wait. I have leftovers you can take with you. I hope you like it. I made it for my birthday. Sponge it's cake is my day. favorite. Ew. It's a sponge covered in frosting. Take it? Sure. You got the sponge cake. Sorry if I didn't invite you. It was last week. You can come next year. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. It's an intimidating looking wardrobe. Open it. <gasps> There's a balloon floating in slowly inside. It has a cute little happy face drawn on it. Balloony. Hey, uh, would you mind giving Pops a space? He likes the dark. You wave goodbye to Pops before closing the door again. It's a little table with a built-in drawer. It seems to be locked. It's a flower pot full of dirt. That's my turnip plant. He should be sprouting up any day now. He's really taking his time. But I don't rush him. Are you ready to leave? No. Alright. Take as long as you like. <gasps> Corn! Someone made that for me a while back. It's a single corn from the cornfield out in the ruins. I started that field from one piece of corn. Before I closed off the door to Snowden, something happened. I kept finding corn sitting at my doorstep. Every morning it was just there. I didn't know who was leaving it, but somehow I thought they were my friend. I always wanted to repay their kindness, but I never could think of anything to leave in return. And one day they just stopped showing up. That's when I decided to hide away. But I planted the last cob of corn I had down there. It's taken to the environment surprisingly well. I always found it rather inspiring. Aww. Be careful with that. That broom has been like my best friend. I never thought he'd be replaced by a real friend. Oh! It's a little table with a built-in drawer. It seems to be locked. Hey, hey, oi, oi! Let's look at something else, okay? Ah, ah, ah! Bomberman donates two dollars and says, "Happy birthday, Phil! Happy birthday!" <laughs> Happy birthday! Fuck you. Are you ready to leave? Alright. We got all we needed over here. If that's what you want, I lead the way. What a lovely little gentleman. Well, here we are. Thank you. For everything. You have really helped me out. Because of this, I'm leaving this place. I'm tired of being alone. It'll take a few days to pack up, but I think I'm ready to give the underground another shot. I'll have so much creativity I've been storing up. I'm finally ready to show- to let my talent show! I can publish my novel, I have an organ concert, I might even make another friend! What a world it would be if I had two whole friends. I'll go around and place corn on every doorstep. Everyone needs a little corn in their life! I've eaten corn every day for a year and I'm doing moderately okay! <laughs> Yeah, I can't relate to that. So much to learn, so much to teach. I'm very excited. Oops, here I go again with my rambling. What a little kitty patootie. Let's get you out of here. Oh. He's so autistic. 
It seems the exit has been blocked off. Let's see. Oh! Ooh! There we go. You're all set. Oh, before I forget, I never asked your name. Mind informing me? My name is Clover. Clover? What a nice name. Well, Clover, thank you so much. See you later, friend. How different is Dalv's chapter compared to the demo? I do not remember it being this good. This is really weird. Then again, my memory is pretty, pretty bad. But I like him, so that's great. Friend. Snowden! Alright, I guess we're retracing the steps of Undertale. The original text of the sign was crossed out. Hmm. Now it reads, Entry Forbidden in blue crayon. And this is completely new! Yeah, welcome to the actual Undertale Yellow, or whatever we played the past hour, that was part of the demo. This is the completely full, real ass new game that just came out. But I mean, the, the Dalv chapter was pretty cool. I liked it. Where are the Skelebros at? Actually, this is, uh, this is a prequel to Undertale. They actually don't exist in this game because they only recently showed up in Undertale story. This is before the skeleton showed up. And honestly, I think that's good. I don't think that this game should rely on Undertale's characters to be able to sell itself. I think it should stand up on its own with its own original characters. But wait. Oh, God. How dare. <laughs> Congratulations on being rid of those elders for good. You can even go back if you wanted to now. Since the thought of the fresh air excited. I mean, this is literally underground, Flowey. Well, don't get ahead of yourself. You're still in the underground. We won't be anywhere near your fancy surface air for a while. No, let's get going before my pedals freeze. Hold the head, bud. Crawley? What was your name again? It isn't Bud. It's... Gun... Hat. Gun Hat! It's Clover. Clover. Nice night there. I thought I was the only flower around there. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. I like that. Well then, Clover. Let's get my one. I will see you up ahead. Hopefully somewhere warmer. What a cute little patootie psychopath. Hey, pal. What are you wasting time here for? You are a little scared for you. <laughs> Fuck you. Come on. You can do it. I hope you won't even need a save. Don't tempt me, motherfucker. No boss? Don't this tempt is me. No, us monsters. No possible resource for spy. Nothing to it, pal. Now, get out of here. The Delta Rock. Okay. There appears to be something interesting on this rock. Touch it? It was just some dirt in the snow. You wipe off your hand on a suspicious carving in the rock face. Oh my gosh, is that a Delta Room reference? There's an igloo here. Froster Mint. Froster Mint. A suspicious igloo. Igloo noises. All the 
look different. What do you mean? Oh yeah, the the snowflakes. the snowflakes. I mean, every snowflake is unique. You Sorry for the feeler from Bahelish, I guess. You comment on the igloo's fine craftsmanship. It's an igloo. Appreciative igloo noise. The igloo towers over you menacingly. Kidding, it's just an igloo. Do a little dance. Someone has come out to investigate. <gasps> eh? Oh, hi, can I join? Frostermid seems to be con contemplating hiding again. Dance! Compliments. You compliment Frostermid's hiding skills. Really? Ninja like? Tetris! Nice! Frostermid is doing a crust shuffle. Inspect. You begin giving Frostermid a discerning once over. It looks uncomfortable. That's a little rude, you know? Done. Dance. You start doing a crab walk dance. Frost Frostermid jumps in. Next time I'll lead. Hey, Tail. Would you have a code your own Undertale? Absolutely not. Like it takes this, years. I mean, like this a light game. Like, Frustrum is ready to scuttle on its own way. Yeah! Making an RPG, especially of the quality of this, would take years off my life. I don't know how willing I am to do that. This is a box. It is a stupid box. You can put items in it and they'll stay there. Until you take it out, that is. Then it's not there. And then there are more of these boxes later. <laughs> You can use them to retrieve the stuff that you put in this box. It's super dumb. Sincerely, a box hater! <laughs> Sounds like you thing to say. Igloo, igloo. Oh shit, we already dealt with this guy. Cool. And then... And then, like, would you ever do a Dexels art, like, game? I would one day like to do that, but if I ever make something like as big as this, I would like to make it an original game so I would actually get a compensation for it. Yeah, fair enough. <gasps> Can I be a pixel artist? I always wanted to try pixel art. Do you know how to make pixel art? I mean, I was doing pixel art back in days. Oh, back in my days, when 2019 was um, on the streets, and the only problem of Undertale community and, well, entire internet was Undertale sans fangirls. Yeah. I I'm pretty sure they know. still exist. We not talk about them. But, I would love to try pixel art once again. <gasps> Maybe I should open commissions for pixel art. And practice, and practice, and practice. Pretty sure that, oh my god. Pretty sure that people would just immediately eat up all those commissions. Why? Wait, isn't that a bad thing? Eat up, it means like immediately take them. Oh, I'm not sure about that. I mean, uh, I'm gonna open my commission soon, but. What's going on over here? Hello the there, winner. Bradley! The winner! You do it. Micalibrate the level of puzzle, please. Well, it should hold together for a few years, is that this? And that's good enough for me! Next up, how did you resort?
One thing that I'm realizing right now as we continue to play this game is that... Unlike Undertale, it seems that mo like the general direction that Clover is going in this game seems to be north. If you are used to, like, if you know, if you've played f Undertale fully, you know that mo like you almost always have to go right to be able to progress in the game. But this seems to be, like, changing, like, the map layout to always, like, favor north in your playthrough. Which is kind of interesting. I wonder where we're gonna end up. If, like, we're gonna go north of Snowden instead of, like, east. I think I bought you the hammer for the Super Chan. Oh. Wasn't that day I bought you the rock? We should. Oh, shit, we have to calibrate then. To whom it may concern. In accordance with Royal Guard Guide, Book Section 4, Paragraph 2. This puzzle is intended to impede the progress of an intruder, probably you. To entertain the residents of the surrounding area, Snowden, and appear intimidating to would-be intruders or wrongdoers. I'm unclear what they mean by that, I just, just go with it. To pass by the challenge, you must melt the ice cube. Make sure the ball thing gets to the bottom without breaking, though. Signed, Martlet of the Underground Royal Guard. Martlet. Marty. P.S. If one of the logs gets stuck, just jiggle it a little. I noticed that it was sticking the other day, but you know how to- You know how it is like with DIY projects. Always something has to go wrong. So yeah, just a quick jiggle will do. P.P.P.S. I just realized that you might not be able to reach the log to jiggle it. I mean, not everyone can fly or is freakishly tall as me. Especially if you're a human or something. So just hope that it doesn't get stuck? PPPS? I figure it out! If it gets stuck, just wait! I come around to inspect the puzzle quality every third day. Just hang out there where you are for a day or two. Oh, and hope it doesn't get stuck. PPPPPS? I have been informed that the amount of PSs on this sign is unseemly. I am very sorry for any trouble that they've caused. <laughs> well, this shit do be stuck. Hey, Marvel, do something? I think we have to go some other way. Yeah, we have to go find her. She'll be somewhere around here, right? Uh, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> little do, do a little dance. What are your opinions on this game so far, Phil? Dude! It gives me exactly the same vibes as regular Undertale. The same dumb jokes, the same, like, goofy spirit, the memorable enemies, the memorable characters. Every, every single step and every single new room has something to gawk at. Like this! Like, what the fuck is this? Look at this. Hello there. Hello, friend. My husband and I have been exploring the underground. Many secrets lie throughout these lands. It makes for a great and exotic honeymoon. Unfortunately, we're a bit lost at the moment. He says he knows where we are, but I think he's just embarrassed. Any idea where we, where we could get a map? We're not lost. I know exactly where we are. You feel heat coming from the pile of stones. It's a big and imposing rock. Seemed to be perfectly blocking the cave entrance. Passing looks impossible for the time being. Guess we can't go there. Oh my god. Fucking crabs. So 
So the Snowden chapter seems to be focused on that bird lady. The Ruins chapter was focused on Dalve. So just like the original Undertale, each chapter seems to be focused on a very specific character and trying to help them out. Hmm. Oh, there we go. What you did? I moved the arrow keys around. I. Oh my fucking god. I mean, I I just looked at the big red arrows. I thought it was normal. I... Again, I thought you were stupid. And hey, Sombakuma. Thank you for the two pounds. Oh my god, are you stuck? Oh no, baby! It's a bunny and he's stuck! Wait, a question. Do you ever got stuck like this? No. Oh, hold on. Ahem. Hey, yeah. Can you help me out of this fall? It's been here for two hours <laughs> now. Three dogs for nothing, dogs for so wicked. There is a cold fire on the top! Put on something that will work and I put on two! Oh, a patch? Maybe there's a coffee in the face of this song! Okay, got it, coffee. We need to go get coffee. Poor little guy. So that's just like a side quest. Dear owners of the dilapidated cabin. First, I am very sorry that your cabin is so dilapidated. Like, I don't know what happened to it, but I'm sure it was unfortunate. Second, I am sorry that some of your wood has gone missing. According to the Royal Guard Guide Book, section 42, paragraph one. Oh, it's the, it's the bird lady le leaving these. So long as notice is given to the original owner at least two business days prior, any and all eyesores can be repurposed for puzzles and other diversions. Well, I didn't know how to contact you, but consider this notice. Unfortunately, not of the prior variety, but you know, notice. Uh, people say that it was an ad. How do you? Are you holding up? Thanks, aren't getting any user, huh? It would be nice to walk through there without a hassle. I guess that's not how the, wor the world works. That's monsters for you. Can, can never mind their own business. Oh, I can feel that bitch. If he's gonna betray us by the end of the game, I'm gonna shoot a motherfucker. In any case, you're doing great. Keep it up, buddy. You know, one of the things that even I am seeing that this game does better than Undertale is that Flowey actually has a presence throughout the game. Like, one of my biggest complaints about the original Undertale is how Flowey was integral to the ending of Undertale, but he only really appeared once at the start, and that was it. Like, he was there for the very start of the game, he was there for the end of the Ruins chapter, and that was it. You didn't see him at all after that, okay. except for, like, an Easter egg. I mean, he was appearing every single time behind you, no? Yeah, but who the fuck noticed that on their first playthrough? I did. I didn't. Not many people did, from what I saw of the playthroughs. You know, I just wish that, like, Flowey was a bigger, more integral part of the... of the story. And now this game seems to actually be able to... seems to actually, like, fleshing out his character a little bit more, and I really appreciate that. Like, Flowey was literally, like, one of, if not the mo- <gasps> The fuck is that? In some thought. Insomnitot, up past its bedtime. I don't know what time it is, and I don't care. Aww. One, two. The air is crisp. You swing Insomnitot's tass tassel in front of its face. 
Uh, I'm, uh, I'm getting slipper. Oh, shit. Some that struggles to maintain consciousness. Growing up in Florida, I thought getting the chain stuck to something cold was a myth. So I found out the hard way by trying it on a frozen can. Hey, as is our art gallery. Thank you for the five dollars. I did get my tongue stuck in a frozen object at like at one point, but like I didn't actually get properly stuck, I just like took it off forcefully. It hurt! Crazy. I am not surprised, okay? You attempt to sing a quiet lullaby. And Somnitod drifts off to sleep. Oh, you're a good singer. Aww. What a cute Kill little him. guy. Almost fucking killed me. <gasps> the cup of coffee! What's this? A new customer? <gasps> oh! Bam! Who am I? Nobody of note, you know. Just the best darn salesman ever. Wham! I'm Mo! Anyways, the fact that you tried to get your mitts on this mug could only mean one thing. You're looking for a delicious little something to hit the spot. Am I right? Of course! I know your type! So, you want this here beverage? Yeah. No, you, you said, don't! Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah, behavior. Liquids? So last season. Solids? Pa! A season before. You want to be fresh and revolutionary? I got the latest thing. Solids that used to be liquids. And, you know, haven't been sitting around in the forest for three weeks. I have invented the next big thing here. For the incredibly low price of 15G, you can have your own very pop, very own hot chocolate pop. It was once a boring old hot chocolate, but it's now frozen to the perfect temperature. Have I piqued your interest yet? <laughs> no? Wait, it's basically I slapped it. Oh, you idiot. I need the hot coffee, bitch. Wait, you but I slapped it. You sure you don't want one? You have to keep up with the times, pal. Here, I have an idea. I'll let you look at the at them for free. Call it a holiday special. I don't get a lot of shipments, so I only have I'm one of free? each. Holy shit! Let's get down to business. Ho ho! Here's I'm what free? I got. You got a lukewarm pop and a hot pop, co hot pop and a cold pop. And what a uh, cold one. All right, let's get a cold one. Great choice. Enjoy that pop, buddy. Couldn't stay away. Well, bam! Take your pick. Here's what I got. Let's get a lukewarm one. And let's get a hot one. I love, by the way, that you have a hot popsicle. <laughs> I love that! That's the best! Enjoy that pop, buddy. Much as I love to keep selling pops, I'm all out! Until next time! No out! <laughs> uh, that's the best. Alright, let's go help that bunny. Wait! Are you microwaving your ice cream? I bought the entire stock! Maybe uh, you go. Maybe some disgusting thing I so far. That's what I was giving to you. I was giving you a hot pop. Lukewarm one? This is just a long coffee, but not the Well, I guess we couldn't actually help him with a hot pop. Oh! <gasps> Two of them! Hey, Bursh. You attempt to sing a quiet lullaby, and some Todd looks bored. Know anything more upbeat? One, two, three, four, five, six. The air is crisp. Yo. Oh, fuck. You 
you inform some Todd of the benefits of a good night's sleep, it ignores you. It was all like my parents. The smell of French fries wafts past you. Know anything more upbeat? What do you mean by that? Oh, fuck. One, two, three, four, five, six. Insomnitots, share a cup of coffee. Give me that! You have to kill them for that. You swing Insomnitots' tassel in front of its face. I'm getting sleepy. Yeah, I like that song. Sleepers. Don't know what time it is, and I don't care. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Oh, I wonder how you are. Yawn. Motherfucker. <laughs> oh, no. I like that song. Oh! Oh, yuppie! <laughs> Talk to the airpod! It is literally just an airpod. I read something in a book once. It said, if life comes at you too fast, press X and take it slow. Whatever that means. Alright. Bro's built like a pea. Nothing else, it's just this weird guy? Or not. Hello? Take the ice pellets? Obtain the ice pellets. Ice ammo. Very conveniently shaped ice cubes. They don't seem to be melting either. How thoughtful of them. Well, I can't really attack anything, but... Let's load them in! Your gun is now cold to the touch. So, I changed out... the rubber ammo for the ice ammo. Okay. Weapon. Ooh, John, guess who got the pizza? You got pizza! P Hell pizza! Yeah. Pizza! I'm still mad that Pizza Tower did not win any awards at the Game Awards. No cone! Comes to see if you are made of fire. You're not. No cone. One ski short of a snowmobile. No cone through a wall once! I know a cone mother got mad. Is, are those oranges? No cone is pointed excitedly at something in the distance. It looks to be a tree. Holy oh, shit, tree. That's autistic. Educate. You patiently explain the dangers of an open flame. No cone seems receptive. Fire halt, melt, no cone. No cone, not know this. You good friend to no cone. This is fucking stupid. I love it. God, I missed this. No cone has been enlightened. <laughs> oh, this puts such a good smile on my face. It's a snow castle. How cute. You open the doors. Oh my god. They actually work. You open the drawbridge. <laughs> Your head hurts too much to keep going. <laughs> Aw, oh, come on. That's so fucking lovely. Get the fuck out of here. We're starting our own nightclub. Ow. Why 
When you have friends, you don't need sleep. I agree with my bedtime, so no rules for me. Oh my god. <gasps> it's them! It's the wolf! The wolf lady from Snowden! Humph, 238. Humph, through 239. At this pace, Icewell was ready for a new job in no time. God damn! This bitch is so good. No matter how much he throws his eyes into the river, the pile never lessens. Amazing! And it's just a little cameo, so it's like lovely. God, I fucking love this game already. Holy shit. Holy shit! Huh? You! Too tired, too tired and like, are you, are you okay with pizza? Oh boy, oh dear, a customer. I'm nervous. I'm a whale whale. Mail whale! From the, un from the underground bus service. Haven't heard of us? Uh, we're the best. For sure, just call us your GPC. Yes. So, I heard you are new to the underground. Now you ask, well, where's your guess around? Fucking pink magical flying whale. The underground is great, and it keeps getting better. Mm. But I bought something in the world. You received mail. That was a special letter from us to you. Don't you feel welcome now? I hope you do. Isn't the mail system a wonderful innovation? If you ever want to use it, just come to the station. They look just like this, and they are scattered all about. If you want to receive some mail, find one and give it a shout. We assure you, they are very conveniently situated. Here at UGPS, we're anything but dated. Talking and sharing, all using mail from your underground friends, but that's all that there is- all, That's all for this whale. Now I must be off. The mail mustn't be late. See you later in your journey, mate. Ah, ah, that's great. I like that rhyme. Hello again, friend. Do you have a mail to claim? Let's take a look. You don't? What a shame. If you want to check again, just ring the bell. Until we meet again, I bid you farewell. Yeah! I'm having a whale of a time. I love the design. Such a, a pink magical flying male whale. Howdy. Thank you. I'm not sure you don't remember this baby, so. You know. Colorful. I mean, I'm colorblind. Really, can't, can't go to suckers without getting harassed around here. Hasn't they even heard of personal space? I'm not someone can mail you to ask where. I can't see why we need them. Anyway, let's get moving. Time is wasting. Flower, you piece of shit. Is that Cuphead? Oh my god, it's! Hey, watch it! Ho ho ho! Would you look at that? I think this chump wants to pass. Swig, toast, come over here! What? Yeah, boss? What's up? You need to shave again? We got ourselves a fresh meats! Haha, <laughs> you ain't getting nowhere, small fry! Yeah, no, don't wear. Will you put a lid on it? <clears throat> anyway, the name's Raphael. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, I get it. I'm the boss of their world-renowned gang, the Shufflers. We rule this town. If you want to pass, 
You're gonna have to go through us. You're getting mugged. Oh, fuck off. I get it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No need to start a fight. Let's be civil here. Do you attempt to attack everyone you encounter? Calm down, will ya? Jeez. We oh, shufflers prefer to settle... Oh. We shufflers prefer to settle things in a more dignified manner. You catch my drift? We would like to propose a challenge. A game of sorts. Ah, uh, we'll take this ball here and hide it under one of us. Next, we'll shuffle around. When we finish, you'll have to guess who has the ball. We'll do this three times in a row. You win? You can pass. You lose? We'll sit here blocking you for all eternity. You picking up what I'm putting down? Sure. That makes things easy then. Here we go! <laughs> the animations. Okay. Left one, obviously. Nice eye, kid. Keep it up. Oh, it was spicy. Left. You're doing good, kid. Now don't let it get to your head. It's still left! What the fuck? Bosh, I think the little punk beat us. That must have been a lucky guess. There's no way a glass of spoiled milk like you could beat us. Now, now, Toast. Let's simmer down. There ain't nothing to get heated over. The kid beat us fair and square. The shufflers ain't nothing if not true to their word. Ain't that right? Yeah, Bosh. The shufflers always keep their word. Yeah, always. Now, kid, we'll let you pass through. You've earned yourself a powerful friend in the shufflers today. All you gotta do is remember the name. And we'll be on your side if you even need us. The shufflers always protect a friend, right, boss? Yeah, you got a problem? We can handle it. Yeah, handle. <laughs> Come on. You're in the Shuffler's neighborhood now. You wanna pass through here? You're gonna have to get through us. We've got a real hard game for you. Only one monster ever got past us. Oh, that was you, wasn't it? Sorry about that. You best be behaving out there, kid. Do the Shuffler's proud. If you don't, you might wind up in an old discarded tea bag. Ooh. You catch my drift? You spreading out the word of the shufflers, Rain, yet? It's a pretty nice knowing we got someone out there, you know? It's stressful having to run the gang and run our publicity, too. And remember, you ever need anything, we'll be right there. There's always more monsters that can need an inconveniencing, you get me? Honeydew Resort! Bear! <gasps> oh my gosh! Welcome to the Honeydew Resort. North, the uh, Honeydew Lodge. Northwest. I'm howling. I howl myself for making an illegal joke. Oh no. Northwest, the Honeydew Hot Spring. East, exit to Snowden. <gasps> Look at all these guys. Now, this is what I'm talking about. A perfect place to relax and de stress. Well, not perfect. A bit crowded for my taste. That keeps things interesting. Let's put our old stuff in the box. You still haven't found coffee yet. We have not found coffee yet. Where should we get the coffee? Oh, may maybe in the Honeydew Resort we can get the coffee. And then we have to go all the way back for the dude. Hey, have you seen those loiterers around outside? They keep telling me that they're a well-renowned gang, but I've never heard of them before. Maybe I really am getting to be out of the loop. 
Nothing like avoiding life's responsibilities by lounging around all day. Been here for two weeks? Hit the same spot every day. It's so easy to lose yourself out there. I don't even know if I have a job to get back to. It's pretty great. The music. This way to the hot spring. I need to buy myself some coffee. What are you doing over here? Looks like this legally distinct bear fell asleep on its way to the resort. It has jars of honey tied to its back. They're getting cold. Aww. Look at them. You can probably use the pop. Oh, I tried the pop like two times and it did not work. So let's hopefully get some hot coffee in the Honeydew Resort. Yeah, we can probably get some coffee here, right? Right? God, this music is fucking slapping. Look at all these little cute little unique monsters. You know why they told me to go to this vacation? Well, cause I come off as stressed. But you know why that is? I have a theory, see? Cause there are just so many things in life to worry about. Work, and laundry, and an, an imminent starvation, and so on. Those are important back home, but here? Still important. Monsters pretend that they're not, though. And you know what that is. Despicable, irresponsible, shameful behavior. You know how much part I'll have it in? None. Zip. Zero. Silch. And that's how much you should have, too. I love this guy. Yeah! The store! Welcome to the Honeydew Resort. Oh, okay. Okay, if you want to do it, but do it right, though. Uh... Uh, welcome to Honeydew Resort. Please look around. You got a honeydew coffee! It'll warm you right up! Everything hey, looks good? Pancake. Uh, GB Bear. It's shaped like my face. And a honeydew pin. That will grow, go great on your hats. I only have 20 gold, so let's get the coffee. Thanks, Roger. You might want to speak up a little bit. Oh, This is our has been a family business for years! Um, we, we use local honey and all of the goodies while providing a wonderful place to visit. It was started by my great-great-uncle back in... Or was it my great-great-grandmother? I... Oh. Uh, this costume is simple question! Oh? I'm not cut off for this job! Oh, no! Vanessa don't eat two dollars says the character designs are, un are unbearably cute. Oh? You wanna know? So, um, more about this place? Our eminent. Uh, um, Amenities. Our oh, man to send it. Uh, the honey color, our converted light machine. Oh, and the space here. That's a special one. It was donated to us by a real nice engineer by the name of Chajin. His appearance helped us as well. He worked in the Steamwork ages ago. Then it was, you know, operational. Of course, everyone around here knew him for his generosity and sad smile. I <laughs> always wanted to make people feel welcome. The hair from that machine often reminds me of those days. I hope it does you do. Uh, you were there, but. You burn. Oh. Shut up now. 
<laughs> How's business? Uh, it's better than ever. This is the place to be in Snouting. Some come for the band, some come for hot springs. But the monsters love our coffee the most. <laughs> I don't dare blame one bit. It's a sweet blend of coffee beans, hazelnut caramel, and honey, straight from the forest. <gasps> I've already had 15 cups this morning. The band? The band? Let's see. We have a few acts that come here to play. Weird name says absolute bear failure. It's a very popular one from Hotland. Oh, you should totally hear the new single. I especially love the covers. It's so good and... And... Oh, no. Oh, oh. no. I've just been talking about what I like. You must be so bored. Oh. This is why I don't like conversations. Valve? That name rings a bell. Oh. Oh, I remember. Strange little guy. He would often visit here, sit down, and watch the band. It looked like he was in the trance every time he watched them. I always wanted to jump to him, but. The thought of socializing that much always scares me. Oh, this fucking I can't handle it. I can't handle it. I can't handle this one. Oh, this one character is so fucking If I could master the cover as she's suddenly stopped visiting, I wonder where he went. If you see him, be sure to tell him he is always welcome here. Oh, absolute cutie patootie. I said, I appreciate hmm? you being rude to me. Anyway, <clears throat> my dad would rob me if I bought by them as love strangers. That's what he always told me. Buy items all strangers. <laughs> okay, we can't actually sell our items. Fair enough then. Thank you for being so kind. Oh, I love her. She's cute. Are you enjoying the tunes as much as I am? Actually, don't answer that. You're not. I used to be one of those super fans you hear about. Followed the band around from place to place. Learned all the aliases they want in hotels. Watched them buy their favorite brands of cereal. I reform now, though. Now I'm content to sit and listen. Fucking creepy parasocial! A cooler full of honey, ready to be- ready for drinking. Yum? Hey, kid. The getup. I'm guessing you're from the dunes, right? Oh, New area. Wacky place, that is. I'm probably the only other one here that's been around those parts. Some monsters avoid it due to the dryness and high temperatures. What's a kid like you doing hanging around with those wild guys, huh? Don't look so confused. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> you hear noise, hear sounds coming from the plants. Weird. How's it hanging? The name's Rodney. I'm the leader of our little band here. We travel all around the underground performing for monsters. This resort is our regular gig. Care to hear the tune? Sounds good, friend. Here's one of the monsters that like a little time to themselves. Yeah. What's up? Glad you could stop by for a listen. Mind if I ask you a question? Which are better, minor scales or major scales? 
major scales, 100%. Sad. Sad. I thought it mi I might find another minor scale fan. Everyone I've talked to likes major scales. You can't be happy all the time. Sometimes you need to switch it up. Nah. Fuck minors. Confession time. I claim to be a musician, but I know nothing about reading sheet music, scales, intervals, or any of that. That's why I just hit things with sticks rhythmically for a living. <laughs> Fucking drummers. Hey! Actually, can we go into the back of the establishment? We can! It's literally just the back. Amazing. What do you expect? I don't know, I expected a room behind that? I don't really know. Alright, we got the coffee, so let's go help out that lost bunny. Because we gotta. He's very cute. Bunny! Lobunui, are you there? Yeah, I think it's confirmed that the entirety of the game is leading us to, like, north. Instead of, like, east. Which is, like, a perfect way to, like, differentiate the game from Undertale itself. Because even, even the structure of the game's levels is leading you to a completely different direction from the original game. I really like that. You take out the cup of coffee. Hey, how are you? Coffee. The thing is cinnamon. I need something hot, but not that hot. What the fuck? Really? Oh, he some... wants lukewarm coffee. What? Fuck. How am I gonna get lukewarm coffee? God damn it, Bunui. I did not say, but I... I spoke sugar in the coffee. Well, I can't really select both items, right? Honeydew coffee. Heals 14 HP. It would take a true bravery to drink something this hot. Fuck. Oh well. We'll see how we can get something slightly colder. Escape. Just get third degree burns, Snowflake. Do we got any mail? Hello again, friend. And nothing. Clover. 20 HP. Come, new friend. Right here to our space. Whether you roam or stay in one place, we hope that you have friends with fun letters to send and always a smile on your face. Here's to more mail without any stress. Hope to see you again. The UGPS. Absolutely adorable. Can't believe that we got fucking McDonald's coffee. Yo, you got another coffee? Uh. Oh, I really want that pen. By the way, don't forget to buy our uh, toxic paints and toxic fly brushing. It's limited edition. Buy it at makeshift.com slash creator slash fizzum. Slash fizzum. Yes. Anything else at the back? No, it's just this. What the fu- What? Wait, what? Hello? What? What? <gasps> Hello? What? I think- I think we found it. Secret? A beautiful, delicious-looking golden coffee catches your eye. Take it? I think we found it. Obtain golden coffee. Secret! Secret. Fizznap. Secret. Fizznap. What? 
next time. How much? Secret. What? Just guess. Five hundred dollars? Jail. Fuck. Mom. Halves the weight of your soul, giving you a speed boost for three turns. Half delicious beverage, half transition me metal. Just smells like coffee, though. How quaint. Several micro froggets are enjoying themselves at their very own hot spring. One of them even brought a mi micro floaties. Another sips its micro coffee, then waves at you. Looks like the Honeydew Resort thought of everyone. Aww. What the fuck? I just found it from here. What? Wait. Oh yeah, that's a completely secret room that... Has anyone found that yet? The game just came out. Okay. Well, now we got the golden coffee. Surely that bunny will be happy with this. It's been out in the snow for a while. <laughs> Shay, sure, that pizza was way too much. How big was it? 32 centimeters. What the f- Do you eat all of it? Just half. Yeah, that's definitely too much. That's too much for me. What the fuck, girl? It have devil cheese in it. This is a warm coffee, this is a good house. I'm giving you a golden coffee! This is a You brat! Okay, whatever. People already found that? Well, f fair enough. I guess I'm not the only one. Oh. Uh, uh, I am salty, I am salty. Mm. Oh well, I guess. I can't be the <laughs> only one for everything. Mm, so pretty salty, so pretty salty. Is that the person who found this <laughs> under the yellow secret? Oh, so pretty salty. <laughs> I give this motherfucker a golden cup of coffee and he doesn't even want it. Fuck him. I wish my left hand was as cozy as my right. Normally I have two mittens, so my warmth is symmetrical. But I think my left mitten took a vacation or something. It's just left me. Oh. I, I, I love that the developers of this game, like, 100% understood what made the original Undertale so memorable and, like, awesome. Every single NPC has a little joke or bit or gimmick to them that just makes them likable and memorable. That's the spirit of Undertale that I loved so much. They, like, they 100% captured it. What the fuck is this weird thing? There's a torch on one side, but not on the other. The feng shui of this place is terrible! It's just a rock? Swimming is great for full body workouts. Are you seeing these limbs? I've never been so toned! On top of that, I've dropped a whole goggle size. This is the hottest spot in Snowden, quite literally. I've wanted to come here forever, and this is my fi and this is finally my chance. It was worth the wait. This is complete bliss. Look at the background though. <coughs> yeah. I love the subtle parallaxing effect. That's great. Hello! Are you enjoying the warmth atmosphere that can only be brought by a torch? Isn't it pleasant? Isn't it sentimental? Is it attractive? Man, I love being a torch. Alright, weirdo. Watch your spat! Uh, Nick says, Hi, Phil. Who's that small, sassy brat on top of your head? Oh, no, don't worry about her. She's just here eating pizza. Yeah, uh, pepperoni pizza. Spicy, by the way. Of course. I'm drinking my machino that I left from Hollow Knight's stream. But... I'm hungry again. I should order a pizza. What? You, you've been ordering so much food. I know. It's easy and convenient. Hey, you just order it! Yeah, I ordered this like what? Once like three months or something? There's a difference between ordering like. Didn't you just order a mojito? 
now? What? Hey, Gallium Angel. Thank you for the five dollars. And that rabbit is gonna be like I actually. <laughs> Gallium. Gallium Angel donates five dollars and says, "Watch, you're gonna get the perfect temperature coffee, and the and the rabbit is gonna say, actually, mm, actually, I wanted a decaf. Fuck him. Honey Deer Resort, family owned and operated. All travelers are welcome. Wow, it's colder, it's colder today than usual, huh? If I wasn't extremely lazy, I'd go to the Honey Dew Resort and get some coffee. Bitch." Is it Angel <gasps> ate the pizza and turned into a noyan blusher? She'll fuck up now. Her! <laughs> Look at that fucking girl failure. Bridge slippery during snowfall. No running. Royal guards thinking they're all special. <gasps> oh my god! The face is like a little face at the top! They don't have a screening processes like they used to. How do they interview these bozos? Do you want to be a member of the Royal Guard? Yes. Here's a uniform. You start Monday. Just look at this puzzle. It was perfectly it was a perfectly nice bridge once. I remember what it looked like as a bridge. I would have called it a pretty handsome bridge. Now you can say homemade is charming or whatever. But you can't call it handsome. No way, no way. This girl can fucks just, bridges. Can I just, like, you know, compliment the perspective? How did she become captain of the Royal Guard? Actually, no. That that bird is not captain of the Royal Guard. She's, like, a puzzle master, I think. What the fuck? This the papyrus. Of this chapter. Motherfucker. Oh, but there's a little pillow for us. Specifically on this spot, I believe you cannot sleep on others. Oh. Oh, 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 okay. There we go. Fixed. Strange. There wasn't a handsome bridge last I there wasn't a handsome bridge last I looked. Was it always that way? Where am I? <laughs> what? Boris, hi. Amnesiac octopi. Ten steps to the east, second sign. <gasps> Trihecta wobbles forward. Trihecta. Intimidatingly tall. I'm the king of the castle! What? The bullet patterns were so good! Pull. You pulled Trihecta towards you. Oh, oh. Does anyone hear me? It's not like I'm not even. It's like I'm not even talking. Whoa, whoa! Trihecta begins to sway back and forth. Push. You push Trihecta away. Ah, oh, shit. I'm tired of being overlooked. You guys are clinging on tight, right? Whoa. 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 Sorry, Hector topples over. Oh! Oh! Everyone okay? Wait, 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 wait. It has so much animation and love and care put into it. Try Hector regroups, then bickers. Wait, is it individuals now? Try Hector. That's awesome. Oh. Ten steps to the east, third sign. Ten steps to the west, first sign. That's that fucking amazing. Fair. Ten steps to the west, second sign. That seems smart. I fucking love this game already. You take a look inside the barrel and find some coffee beans. Take it? You got the coffee bean ammo. <gasps> 
We can't shoot the bunny now. <laughs> Imagine. There's no way you could eat them, but they might still be of use. Imagine loading the gun with the coffee beans and going, You better get that fucking tongue out of the pole right now. Or I swear to God! Some leftovers from this puzzle's construction. Man, she's really jerry-rigging these. To whom it may concern, after building the first ball puzzle, I realized a fla fatal flaw in its design. How was how was an intruder supposed to, like, see it? The puzzle was on the higher plane out of your average monster's eyesight. If someone solved that puzzle, they must be very good at guessing. <laughs> in any case, I have created an improvised version. With a new vertical design, you can see what you're controlling. The parts may still get stuck, though. Please refer to my instructions back at the first puzzle if that happens. Sign, Martlet of the Underground Royal Guard. What a lovely, what a lovely gal. Hey, Aries Grimshaw, thank you for the 16 months. Alright, I'm back to the stream. Shit. Got to go with the doggo to the vet. Anyway, 16 months. How, How are, are you, you two, two doing? doing today? I'm doing great! Uh, this literally feels more like an Undertale 2 than Deltarune. Does that make sense to anybody here on the chat? No. Like, I'm not, say I'm not saying that Deltarune is not a good game or that Deltarune is not a worthy successor. I'm just saying that Deltarune feels like more of its own thing, while Undertale Yellow feels like a proper Undertale sequel. Or a prequel, I guess, you know? Like, it's building off of Undertale specifically, while Deltarune, it's like a spin-off or more like its own completely separate thing away from Undertale, you know? Yeah, so autistic about that. I love it! Shit. It's so bad at it. I'll get to it eventually. Yeah! Seven years make this a pre sequel to Undertale with all the love. God, that's great! Shit. Holy shit, seven years, you were such a baby. Oh, I thought I, I thought I could. I thought I could, like, do a little skip in there, like, by pulling yeah, the ball yeah. downward. Do it as you're also the best. Yeah! <gasps> ah! Come on! It was right there. Skilly shell, skilly shell, skilly shell! Skilly shell! I did it too good. I literally did it too good. Womp womp. <laughs> I love the I love the Delta Rune in the background, by the way, of that puzzle. Dun dun dun. Put the ice pellets in there. And put the honeydew coffee in there, and the golden coffee. I mean, are you going to eat a corn dog? I'm going to put just, like, I'm going to get some healing items, but not everything, because, like, I have only four inventory slots left. Oh, dear. We are almost over the here. I'm surprised that guard never saw you nearby, you know? They present sure of the presser, that's for certain. Shut the fuck up, you little psycho. Know that? Wouldn't worry if you run into them. Whatever happens, I wish you luck. Tee hee. Tee hee. <coughs> Here we go. Oh, uh, hello? Sorry, I 
didn't know where my head was right there. This is my summer home in La La Land these days. You look a bit lost. Do you look for directions? I want to. La 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 la. I will let you in on a little secret. You gotta accentuate on the syllables for enunciation. Hey, sorry! I need actual information, Chaos. I know this place like the back of my wing, though. I get, don't get lost much at all anymore. You can get whatever you want to go. Wait. Why is this game filled with girl failures? Um, I'm gonna take a shard in the dark here, but... You're human, right? <gasps> she finally found out, chat. I knew it! I would knew... I would... La 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 la. I knew I would find a human! You must be a human, right? Right? You look just like this guy at the poster so once. She had a head just like you. And he was totally human. So, like. Transitive property. Tran eh? Transitive property. Oh, I hate English. Transitive property? Actually, I think he was from space. Are you from. Are you the space humans? You know what? I will have. Pleasure to ask you questions later. Are you ready for some royal guard protocol? Time to beat her up! I hope you are, cause I memorized it. I just don't get read. Listen, English is hard, okay? Martel of the royal guard has a guard a human. Prepare to upper hand. What's the background? Protocol one: Be cordless and allow your opponent first attack. Martlet, the royal guard is waiting for your turn. A little scatterbrain. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to be helping you, but it was supposed to be your turn. It's okay. You spit out endless stuff like that all the time. I will let you go again. Oh, Martlet is trying to strike a pose that looks professional and imposing. Ignore. You ignored Mart Martlet's rambling. It doesn't look like she's noticed. Uh, I... Uh, hold, hold on. I have a guidebook on me. I'll check what I do when someone does an actual attack. You can just... Uh... <laughs> Thank you, Go for it. Hit me as tight as you can. Martlet is trying to strike a pose. Uh, okay. I'm real sorry for the wait. I'm looking. I'm not the best real card, you know. <laughs> but but I'm really trying to be better. Last week I apprehended this girl. Totally human. Oh, I think it's your turn. A gust of wind blows a little blue feather in your face. Martlet looks embarrassed. Wait, was that the feather that we got on our cap at the start of the chapter? Hey, Valencia. You tap your wrist impatiently. Martlet looks apologetic and tries to talk a little faster. Oh, oh, that's that's so next Moonlit Gamer donates $5 and says, Loads birdshot with malicious intent. Oh, does that cause hesitation? What? Protocol to my attack! Yeah, that was one of her feathers. Oh my god, she's deadly. Oh my god, okay. Calm down, girl. Martlet! Martlet catches herself getting lost in the music. You fake a yawn. Martlet starts get talking faster still. It was a level up. Prepare for the royal court, Gotlet. Oh, 
Oh my god. Okay. 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 She's just throwing shit. Martlet is nervously consulting her royal guidebook. You scarf down the ho the corn dog. You can't help but feel bad for doing it. Your HP was maxed out. Voice acting! I literally said hi y'all! You, you didn't. I did! Everything smells like birdseed with a tasteful hint of vanilla and orange blossom. Tap your wrist impatiently. Martlet looks apo unapologetic and tries to talk a little faster. Like this, intruder. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Dropped her fighting stance. You think I yawn? Martlet starts talking faster still. Martlet. Keep it up, Martlet. Oh, oh, look at her. Oh, she's so. <laughs> Top your foot on the ground. Uh -huh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh my god! Um, hold on, I'm checking this one more time. The bullet patterns! That can't be right! You're not fighting back! I don't want to hurt you. You're all beauty and stuff. Uh, you go and have your turn. I'm gonna check that handbook again. I will at least get some to get some fucking like. Let's try out the hot pop. You eat the hot chocolate pop. It has the distinct flavor of something that was once hot. You did recovered 14 HP. See, when I apprehended that girl, I didn't have this problem. Well, I guess she didn't have me first. But she's scolded me and got real aggressive, like... What are you on about? I'm not human! Clear that father's out how you had. Would you mind being aggressive like her? Nah, uh Insults. You called Martlet a weenie. <laughs> oh, aw, that was adorable. I don't even feel insulted. I feel like a bit honored. You put so much work into that. You aren't making this easy here. There I go. Oh, uh, protocol and all. Oh! Okay! Oh, Bazo! Got destroyed! You lost it this rookie? Step it up, huh? Retry. Oh, you you oh. you get put right back here. Okay, that's perfect. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh the pulse has the disappeared. I wonder. Spamtum G Spamtum donate uh, has been a member for two months and says, No wait, they turned Papyrus into a furry. Holy shit. You know what? That deserves a grab of pizza. I'm doing it. I'm doing it.
Oh my god. Okay, I'm holding. Oh, the HP isolation. Can you stop being a skill show? Everything smells like bird seed with a tasteful hint of vanilla and orange blossom. You forcibly tell Martlet you don't like her clothes. That's not like it. What kind of formal card wears rods like this, Fred? It's not like a straight up old bite here in the heart. Oh. Oh. Martlet! Oh, right, that's my turn. <gasps> oh, right, 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 she's dangerous. Still dangerous. I forget. She's way too sympathetic. Until it is of metaphorical rubble. Okay, masochist, but all right. Crush my mental health like a buck under your show, the fucking mean girl. Okay, yeah, she's a bit of a masochist. Okay. Insult. You insult Martlet's job performance. Mm. I'll just say, do not worry about that one. <laughs> I've kind of been in preparation for a while. One mom is dead, then I can say goodbye to Royal Garden. Oh. And all the icebergs that go with it. The uniform is my Earl Guard discount, and the movies, my nice insurance rates. When they find out how much I hated it here, I I'm doomed! I, I mean, they specifically said don't hesitate. Shit! Oh! Get spared. They said, huh? No, you're here. They want the whole April protocol. Yeah! Illegal friendship! Instead, we'll just get you home before any of them see you. Yeah, she spared me. You will be home in time for dinner. Um, I mean, maybe not just dinner. But for a dinner... She's so adorable! Hey, hey, anyway... We'll bypass the rogue guard to plead your cause to the score. 
There's no way he can say no to a cute little face like yours. <gasps> she doesn't know about the ending of Undertale. <laughs> And I will show you my blood to get you home. Yeah! Um, Jesus Christ, that much was acting. Yeah. That's what an RPG is, baby! And now it is nailed to the kiosk show. post. It says, Hello, traveler. Due to the infrequent breaks, I am prone to snoozing on the job. If you're reading this and I'm asleep, please don't just walk past this checkpoint. That would dock my pay for sure. Ring the bell to wake me up instead. Thank you. Martlet on the uh, of the Underground Royal Guard. There's a notebook on the counter, titled, My Puzzle Bru Blueprints. This must be where Martlet sketches her puzzle ideas. Okay, so I definitely know that past this point, we're gonna probably end the chapter. How the fuck do you wake up? How, how the fuck do you help out that bunny thing? Does anybody know how to help the bunui? The hot popsicle, I already did that. Kill him! Go to the married couple with the coffee. Shit, no, I already- they need a map. They need a map. And they might give you like snow, like whatever the fuck they had. Mm, add honey to the coffee maybe? Let's try that out. Because I know, yeah, by I by the transitive show. property of game design, I know for sure that past Martlet's point, like, you will not be able to come back. What the fuck? Hello there? I don't know where the pudding... The pudding is. Alright. Look at that little snooze. I'm a mimeered. Strange. Alright, maybe if we pour some honey on top of the thing. A cooler full of honey, ready for drinking. Yum? Well, I can't really use this. If I use it, I'll just consume it. Wait. Wait, can you, uh, like, what if you help B? Maybe B will give you something, I don't know. A what? Like, a bee who lost a mitten? <sighs> Comes with honey syrup. Shaped like my face. Honey do pen. I still need more gold to be able to buy the pen. The cold pop maybe could help. I tried every single pop on the Bunui and it did not help. Oh, hey, there's a sock. Maybe it would be nice if I was fired. Hey, don't say that. I'll just go live in the wild and find my own food. That should be everyone's goal in life. Foraging. None of the pops helped. Can you maybe try heating up the lukewarm coffee on the married couple's hot rocks? Well, that would be useful if I had the lukewarm coffee, which I don't anymore. So that doesn't work. Kind of stuck. I really wish I could help the Bunui. Well, I think you just can at the moment. Oh, people will find a way. Just give them, like, a like, few hours. Probably. Alright, well, let's move on then. Yeah, I'll have to finish it in some point. At some point. I really wanted to help the Bunui, but alright. Look at that little what? guy. Is he, is he new? Yeah, we just passed him. Okay. 
De Bonui was kind of a brat anyway. He didn't want to drink the already existing Please coffee. Move. It will be seen as a filthy act at a reasonable price. Thank you, Gluebird, for the ten months. Hey there, so here's the plan. I'm sorry, I think I went that a little overboard, but I can't help it. This is all too exciting. I love her. So I've been saving this for any day. You know, figuratively, we don't really have those. So I behold the empty elevator. In the water sits an old looking raft with just enough room for two passengers. Such a beautiful boat are she's, you know? I can I call her Ava for sure. Isn't that good? Aww, what a girl failure. She's the best. And this dock is broken. My mom and my reserve, this room should lead directly to Hotline. From there, it's a hop skip and Olympio Asgore's castle. And I'm not sure how we get you in, but we cross the bridge when we go to it, right? <laughs> uh, I also wanted to apologize, but, well, you know, <laughs> attacking you, <laughs> I, I meant no harm, honestly, I just have to do my job, is all. Aww. And, well... Oftentimes, I don't know what the right action is until it's too late. So, I know we're just mad and all. But, will you trust me at this? She's trying her best. Yeah. Yay! Don't worry, your trust is in a good hands. I have the expectation. I have the feeling that we're not gonna go to Hotland and we're just gonna crash land into a completely different new area. Always, as the case may be. I got you with my soul. And this means we get to have an adventure. This is so exciting. I mean, nothing this exciting ever happens around here. At least, well, while I've been here, it hasn't. This is actually the exact plot of E.T., except instead of the kid being an alien, it's a human. Think of all the fun we'll have! I mean, there's maybe a chance we'd be fired for this. And lose all of my life's work and belongings, but hey! What's life without a little risk? What's life without a little risk? Hell yeah. So, shall we be off then? Absolutely. Oh well, that Bunui can fucking... ...freeze in hell, I guess. Hey. Ah, <laughs> uh, she got- she got the wings, it's fine, it's fine. Yo! This is the oh, wetlands. Oh. So I was thinking Waterfall, yeah there we go, off to Joker, waterfall. We have this one have sails. <gasps> Ducky! Yes. It's still called a sailing. We should both right, yeah? But woodworking skills aren't to show this. Look at that face. Look at that smug little face. Look at that smug little face. I suppose that's just thanks for mentor. Well, if I all by the name of Chichi, tell me everything. Hey, well, never mind. You have the echo flowers and the water. Is 
pretty big. It's just a little quality assurance questionnaire. Well, you try it? Absolutely. Question one. On a scale from one to three, how would you rate your encounter with the royal guard? Yes, I'm seriously. Well, one to three about what? Like, is is one good? Is three good? Three. Yeah, the bigger number is better, I think. I've never gotten a three before. Aww. Oh my god, my goodness. I can't believe this. I got a three. I feel absolutely everyone. Okay, okay, so sorry. Got carried away. Let's keep going. Question two. On a scale from one to two, how would you rate? That's not a scale, that's a binary question. That was a little play, it's not it. I mean, if, I, if I've got to be honest. Ah, uh, let's compliment her, she deserves it. Really? That is so bad. Oh. Lazarus now has decided to work out with the Royal Scientist. Oh. <gasps> okay, so at the current timeline of events, that should probably still be Alphas, right? Because Flowey is a thing. I mean, it's because I got the last years of station, but still. She picked a few things, credit. Oh. Yeah, it's not Gaster, yes, idiots. Yeah. If it were Gaster, Flowey wouldn't be here. My name's Clover. What do you think? I love it. So, Clover, let's go on Ava. Isn't she great? I told you. Sales make sales like a dream from a perfect lullaby. Nice place. Pretty view. Without a single link. Oh, well, uh, this is a little one, but not that I like. Look at this to bats, the rats, and hey, do you carry the ab abnormal amount of running water? Here we go! Oh, we are wonderful! <laughs> it's just me, oh, the way it's even faster. <laughs> well, if anything. Oh! Oh! Uh oh! That is Hotland. Um, I have been down in the surface for a lot of something. Look at the shadows. Oh. Hey, look at Hotland. This is a little small. Wait, we have to talk here. Slow down. Oh. Oh, well, we're let. Ooh, we're dead.
This is very special or something. God damn, I Don't worry, her chapter already ended. The waterlogged remains of an old chest. You spy a small, dry paper bag cradled in the interior of the lid. Will you take it? You got some trail mix. Fuck yeah! Hey, Chad. Ahem. Chad, on a scale from one to five, how do you rate my one something? A container bearing a strange symbol. The lid is, the lid is bot bottled shut. It's impossible to open. Oh, there we go. Howdy, Glower. What a day this has been. Thanks to that guard, we're totally off course. It looks like she dish you as well. <laughs> I guess it can be good help now. <laughs> as all Undertale players would know, Flowey does tend to talk a lot about being ditched. There's gotta be another road to Asgore's castle here. No. Toss it out for now. Sorry, big big lights. <laughs> uh, throw it out for now, and we'll see where this new bus takes us. A little excitement never turned anybody. Well, except you. Let me heal you up. Thank you, Flowey. Some hefty va boxes lie in the dirt. They seem to have been here for a very long time. A minecart sits lodged into the ground. You have no idea how this came to be. Northern caverns up ahead. Ah, 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 oh! Welcome to a completely Whoa. different area. It's so purple. The West Mines, property of Mining Co. Appropriate for our character, really. Oh, listen to this! Dune Bud popped out of the sand. Dune Bud, looking for some fun. Swip swap. Dune Bud begins to gargle a song. You cautiously pat the top of Dune Bud. They seem confused. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's from the trailer. Shit! Fuck! It's from the trailer. Oh my god! Look at the trail mix. You done the bag of trail mix. All your taste are dried grapes. You recovered 13 HP. Oh, ooh. motherfucker! Did I play for you Uh, jiggle. You shake Dune Bug back and forth. They giggle at you. Ah, wah, 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 wah. Oh. Love these animations. Dune Bud is getting antsy. Ooh, mama! You wave your hand dismissively at Dune Bud. They don't understand. Ooh. Oh my god! Rest in peace, buddy. You brave the hot honeydew coffee. You can feel your taste buds burning off. You recovered 14 HP. Why does this little guy give me some so much trouble? Oh my god, stop! This one is a skill show. Pat? When there's next Miyatopia stream, I want more Miyatopia. Thank you, Phantom, for the $5, but just because you said that, I'm delaying it for another month. Thank you.
I guess sh to shoo. You shake Doombot back and forth. They giggle at you. Oh. Okay. Is there really nowhere to actually... I have never had this much trouble sparing a normal enemy before. Pat the boy. Jiggle in the pat. You give Dune but a few loving pats. They nestle your hand. Yeah. Yeah! Oh, look at her! Hello? Let's get a cold pop and... A golden coffee and that'll be it. We just need to- we need some health. That's what we all need. going on over here you have a watch if you don't that's fine because you know what time it is mail time you receive the mail I truly hope you like your mail as for me I must set sail I love you pink whale Can I get a blush over here? mo letter if you're reading this it means that you had the pleasure of meeting me I'll make this snappy you're not gonna believe it. I'm selling a new premium product for half off. This is just spam mail. I know what you're saying. I would gladly pay full price for your products. I appreciate that, I really do. But this ain't it the time for high prices. Just find my stand and I'll give you the juicy details. Huh? Where is my stand? I don't even know myself. I should probably not go find that. Good luck. Thank you, Mo. Hmm? Hey, Bobux man, thank you for the five dollars. Warning, sign ahead. Trigger warning. Warning, danger sign ahead. Shit. Danger, sense from ahead. Take cover. Oh, that's actually a sandstorm. Oh. Shit, okay. Run, 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 run. What is that thing? Doggy? No! <laughs> Doggy. <Fuck. laughs> I almost lost words. Distraction successful. Hey, model. Thank you for the five dollars. Sadly, I won't be able to enjoy stream because I want to play for myself. But I hope you have a great stream and enjoy. Thank games. you. 
Thank you so much. Hope you're enjoying this game as well. If you want to, please play this game by yourself. It is wonderful. I'm not up to anything suspicious, okay? There is no treasure behind this wall, okay? Don't rat me out, okay? The paint is still wet. This X was here before I arrived, okay? I'm just waiting out the storm, okay? Get off my case! Okay? Please! I'm just waiting out of the storm, okay? Get off my case, please! Okay. This has just the same amount of heart and soul and effort and loveliness as Undertale. I'm fucking obsessed with this. Maybe you need some dynamite. He has dynamite. <gasps> Shit. Also the music! What the fuck is this creature? I can't stand stand sandstorms like this. In Chapter 3 of Deltarune, there was supposed to be a section, like, like, of cowboys that got cut from that game's chapter. Oh, look at the bonui! <laughs> but if, like, we have this game and we have this game be, like, the, cow the cowboy slash desert slash, like, old west chapter, like, I'm more than fine with that. So, hot. Shit! <laughs> I don't really mind that the Chapter 3 cowboy theme got cut. If it means we still, like, get to play it in here, in this game. This m you know... This might as well be official in my eyes. The Bunui was another distraction! Look at his little dumb little face, I love him. Oh my god! The Wait, sandstorm was it. the sandstorm was made by that fucking fan! You shouldn't turn it off. <laughs> Bro, what's your damage? Can't a monster cool off every now and then? You're such a killjoy, bro! Oh, I love this. It's probably better to leave it turned off. Sorry, I guess. I get cranky when I don't get my fan time. I like, found it here, so I decided to put it to use. That's great! Holy shit, let's go back and check on the other guys. That's awesome! Let's go back and check. No. No thank you. I said no thank you. Don't assault me. This is so good. Alright, what about this? Doggy. It was just doggy. Doggy. Oh shit, this is bad. Oh shit, this is bad. Oh shit, this is bad. No, you're bad. Oh, okay. Oh no, oh no, 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 $5 if you die? No. I'm just waiting out the storm, okay? Get off my case. Please. Oh, uh, he doesn't he doesn't want to leave the storm, okay. I think the cool motto. Uh you made mine or Phil's. She made both. Oh yeah, right, I did.
Don't worry about these pups. Worry about these pups, they're kind of actually pretty dangerous. Wish I had some armor left. Oh, I could have bought the honeydew pin. Oh well, hard mode, I guess. Oh my god. I couldn't stand... stand... I couldn't stand storm that sandstorm. What? <laughs> Heal thyself. But I have... I only have the golden coffee. Oh my fucking... I only have the golden coffee left. No, because that wasn't the fight that you batted on. How careless. Well, there's always next time. Ah, oh, shit, I'm back in here. Welcome back! It's okay, we can keep moving. That is death count number two. Thunder real my hero. Nah uh uh. God fucking damn you. Oh, I'm actually safe down here. Not anymore. I'm actually relatively- fuck. Give me some cold pops and give me some coffee and leave everything else. We already, like, read the letter, so... At this point, sparing is faster and less dangerous. Depends on how many steps the enemies take to spare, you know? Fuck. Doggy. Doggy. The fan activated again. Time travel. Oh, there's actually two distinct paths you can go on for this section. That's kind of neat. Fuck! Yes, stupid. Speed running. Look at that little bastard. Bitch. Bro, what's your damage? Can't the monster cool off every now and then? You're such a killjoy, bro. I was just at a save point too, god damn it. Oh, thank you, Flowey. You know, one thing that I, it's kind of weird to say, but I think people will understand. This area feels weird, not because it feels fan-made, but it feels a bit too good compared to Undertale. Like, the sprites here, like, look at this tree. Like, the quality of these sprites are kind of, like, far and above what Undertale itself had. That's kind of weird to think about. Because Undertale is a really good game, just, like, the, the quality of the sprites is not really that good. Also, hello, Mo! Oh? 
BAM! Guess who it is? That's right, it's Mo! Long time no see! How have you been? Don't ask so bad. We don't have the time. I'm here to make you a brand new offer! A hot climate calls for a hot item. Check it! Oh, <gasps> That's right! I went all out this time. This is a real delicacy around here. It's called water! Catchy name, I know! Lucky for you, I'm giving out free samples. Want the glass? Okay. Coming right up! The animations of this guy! One moment. <laughs> If you know your boy Mo, you know I planned all of that. Here's my real product, iced tea. It's like the sequel to water, way better. Now, I'ma be real with you. The tea doesn't have ice in it, particularly. It started as a glass of ice, but that melted. All I had to do was throw tea, a tea bag in there and whammo! Don't worry, it tastes better this way. Here's what I got. Well, I would buy it if I had any money, which I don't. Come on, pal! I know my pitch was a little sloppy, but I'm really trying. If you change your mind, I'll be here. Finally, water too. I love you, Mo. Alright, well, if we get some money, we'll be able to come back here. Ooh, Sir Slither has a proposition. Real. Slither, trying to get a leg up in the world. Why are you avoiding my greetings? Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. Is it pottery? Oh yeah, it is. Sir Slither does his iconic side eye smirk. But Believe. You buy, you buy into Sir Slither's fancy words. Something feels off. Yes! We're gonna go far, you and me! Get that bull! Sir Slither lost access to his bank account. He wonders if he could bo borrow yours. No. You step away from Sir Slither. He seems displeased. Come on, mate! Don't leave, him, leave me out to dry! You hear some jiggling as Sir Slither rattles inside his pot. You ask Sir Slither just what he can help you with. I'm an excellent travel companion, I am. Okay, so if you stay in the corners, you're safe. Very good. You step away from Sir Slither. He seems displeased. Come on, mate. Don't leave me out to dry. It's not a random stranger, it's a random snake. It's racist. Sir Slither looks up, uh, up you up and down. Okay, believe. Something feels off. Booba! Ugh! <laughs> You can trust me. Swear me, man. Believe. I knew you'd see things my way, human. Fuck. The margin for error is very small. Yes, we're gonna go far! Ooh. Keep challenging, maybe? You ask Sir Slither just what he can help you with. 
I'm an excellent travel companion. Keep challenging. Oh, this and that, odds and ends, you know. Fucking hell! Ugh. Oh! I can help you cl climb out of a rut. I can. I'm an excellent travel companion. Okay. Very tough enemy to spare. Maybe keep doubting. I guess keep doubting. You step away from Sir Slither. No, but I already did that. Yeah, there has to be a specific order, right? Is the game good? I just got here. It's marvelous! And also harder than Undertale. You refuse to let Sl Sir Slither become the main character. Also for Fine! Like, but you're missing out big! Also, for some reason, this game is full of girl failures. Made for fail. Which is great. So Slither can't convince you. Yeah! Got some money out of that. Should probably heal up. Oh? Well, okay. Oh! Oh no! Clover! Okay, that was a good way to, like, make you pay attention to these. Fucking tumbleweeds. Fucking, Fucking hell. Fucking skelly show. Fuck! Just keep running at it until you pass through. Hell. There you go. The fuck is that? Is that bullet on my Cactony comes to share his pain. Oh, hey there. Cactony lacks physical affection. These needless needles are such a curse. Oh my god. Cactony gives you an empty look. I mean, I guess you have to touch him, right? You give Cactony a careful pad in between the two spines. Did this mean you care about me? Oh? Foo! Oh. 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 Cactony feels love for the first time! He is so yippee! Yippee! What is yippee. that? It's a gold mine. Oh, lordy, okay. Are we gonna meet a gold digger for chapter three? Hello, what are you? Hello? A miner. Watch it! I have places to be. I got a call about a job in Snowden. I was supposed to be there yesterday, but the walk is really far. Wasn't feeling up to it. Oh well, on I go! It's a miner! Bye-bye! You spot a dark, dislodged stone among the pile of rocks. Take it. You got some flints. Flint ammo. I mean, more ammo for combat, I guess, but it's not like we're gonna be using it. 
East Mines. A heap of fallen rocks blocks your path. What an inconvenience. A, coin. a set of cubies dividing the miners' personal belongings. Notice a discarded belt buckle lying in one of the compartments. Take it? Fuck yeah! You borrowed a steel belt buckle. Armor! Finally! Give me that! You attach the steel belt buckle to your belt. Your pants feel sturdier than ever. Several racks line the wall, ready to bear various pickaxes and hard hats. As a set of a set of kubis dividing the miners' personal belongings. A bow tie, a snow globe, trivia books, cobwebs, all very useful. We have 36 we have 36 gold. We should probably go back and get some like stuff from Mo. You should look for a safe first. Nah, we're gonna be fine. Never mind, these things are a nightmare. But it's just like it's a baby. A baby, a very dangerous baby. A baby with a gun. You you literally have a gun. Baby with a gun, baby with a gun, baby, baby, baby with a gun, baby with a gun. Stop giving children fire armor. Baby with a gun, baby, 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 baby with a gun, baby with a gun. Let's get some green tea. Uh, yeah, now we only have 16G. If we can get 40, we can sell out everything in Mo's shop. Which I would very much like, because he seems to only show up in later chapters if you sell out everything he had before. Alright. Dad, stop saying this is over the gun. In case of the conveyor belt ceases to work, fix it. Oh, <gasps> look at this creature! Haven't seen you around the mines, friend. Welcome to the greatest place in the underground. I love it here. Everyone is so nice and works so hard. We're all a real family. Oh, look at this creature. You a new hire? If I were you, I'd turn back now. I've been working this job for 12 years and I've about had it. I'm probably the only monster that does their job around here. Like I like that you can actually see him working while this one is just standing with a pickaxe. That's awesome. La criatura. La criatura. Oh! Hello there. Ah, it's a slime. I'm outraged. In case of fire, use stairs. A piece of wood is lodged in between the elevator doors. I could fix this poor elevator. Shit, I need an item. How, 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 how are you gonna get to my station now? The elevator door is jammed, man. Jammed! Hmm. In case of fire, use stairs. But where are the stairs? The conveyor belt sending several rocks and gems to a sorting machine. A large, dirty sticker can be seen on the side. Assembled by Steamworks Engineers, 2000. Hmm. What can I do for you, friend? Elevator. Oh, fiddlesticks! I've seen a few pickles in my day, but this is certainly one of them. Tell you what. I'll give you my trustworthy pickaxe here, if you... Win a monster trivia game! Oh boy, this will be fun. All you have to do is answer these questions three correctly. You only get one try, so do your best. Question one. Who is the current royal scientist? <laughs> Choose the correct name. Asgore, Dr. Science, and Alphys. Well, you know, as, a, as an Undertale lore expert, 
It's obviously Alphys. Correct! Question two. What is the what is most monster food made out of? Obviously magic. Good job! Final question. How many more souls does Asgore need to shatter the barrier? Pick a number of souls! So this is a prequel to Undertale, so it should be two. Congratulations! You really know your stuff. Here's my pick as promised. Nerd. Fucking nerd! But we gotta pick, pick X on return. This was all there just for the fucking lore fiends. You use the pickaxe to hack away the, the wood. Amazing. The pickaxe broke. <laughs> yep. This is awkward. Yep. Bye bye. He's adorable. In case of water, swim. One day, the Empress of this minor uniforms are very interesting. Yes, I'm the boss around here. So excited! You got some smarts. Thanks, Elevator with Daisy. Bowl charges near you. This is oh, Toby! He was there for a split second. Bowl, a fragile facade. These cracks are my battle scars. Beware. Up, nope. up. Nope. Yup, up, yup, up, up, yup, up, yup, up, yup, up. Ball is applying super glue to its head. Console. You ask Ball to open up and be genuine with you. But I, but I'm tough. <gasps> this is so smart. Bull is beginning to put the pieces together. You tell Bull that he's cool the way he is. Really? You really mean it? You tell Bull he's cool the way he is. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. I know, I know, I know, I know the megal megalovania pattern. I know how to do that. Clean. You use your bandana to wipe away some of the mud and bowl. He sparkles. Oh, I didn't know it could reflect so much. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Bull is ready to discover his true self. Amazing! Oh, look at this. <laughs> Just in time. I'm Thank sure you, you. I'm sure you noticed all this mining mumbo jumbo lying around, yeah? Well, corporate said we have to solve puzzles as we work to exercise the old noggin. They even made the foreman lock the door until the work's done. Pretty unnecessary, if you ask me. Seeing as I'm on my permanent smoke break, could you solve it for me? You look like a smart kid. Give it a shot. Fuck. Okay. Um. That seems good.
Not bad. Okay. Put the triangle peg in the square hole. A long, a lonesome safety jacket hangs on the wall. You got the safety jacket. You donned the stunning highlighter, yellow jacket. You're all ready to take care of business. I lost all my TNT. I have to tell the foreman. He'll fire me, I'm sure, but it's my fault. I would go tell him right now, but I lost my hard hat as well. I can't protect my dome from hazardous rocks outside. Today isn't my day. <laughs> well, goober. A set of mostly empty cubbies. Nothing too interesting. Got the hard hat. Gotta push it to the boy. <gasps> you, you found my hat. You're a kind soul. I don't have anything to give you, but I am eternally grateful. You got eternal gratitude! Oh, this kid is happy! Oh. This game warms my heart. Holy fucking shit. Caution, falling rocks. I don't think a hard hat is gonna help with that. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, great. Yeah. Uh, me, 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 me. Me, 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 <gasps> What are they? You notice the UGPS logo on the crates. It appears they can handle more than just letters. I just adore mining! Mine, 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 all day and night. Gonna find a whole bunch of sparkly gems. What is this? This cactus does not need love. The shelf is lined with several books, some educational, some recreational. A book titled Gemstone Fever catches your eye. Read it. The underground has been the home of to thousands of gemstones. Yet only four types have been discovered. The Swelter Stone, hue, yellow. The stone emits immense heat, some depending on its size. It is also the brightest stone, frequently used to illuminate various underground locations. The Glacial Stone, hue, blue. Opposite of the Swelter Stone emits a frigid temperature. This stone is abundant in cooler areas such as Snowden and Waterfall. The Aromatic Stone, hue, green. This rare stone smells like apples, that is all. The pink stone, hue, pink, in the name. No trade for this stone has been discovered as of publication. You sift through the book and catch a couple more facts. With the temperature stones having higher quantities in certain areas, they can be a large factor in determining their location's climate. Gemstones do not have much monetary worth within the underground economy. Instead, they are often utilized for their traits, jewelry, and other decoration. The largest gemstone to be discovered is located in the dunes. It is approximated to be as big as 10,000 hard hats. You close the book and put it back. You are now dizzy with gemstone fever. <laughs> oh! Wolf girl! Yeah. What up? You visiting? Or are you lost? I'm just visiting. Oh well, there's not much to see. The cave's a real mess. She does contain some beautiful stones though, I'll tell you then. Hope you enjoy your visit. Thank you, ma'am. Hello and welcome to the coal mines. Mining coal mines. I wasn't expecting visitors. If you have an inquiry, please take it up with my assistant. Gilbert, please, we've been married for 27 years! You can handle the questions yourself. Certainly, dear. <laughs> if you're gonna ask about the hot conditions, I'm ordering more glacial stone cold packs later today. 
And if you want to ask about the falling rocks, I'm going to investigate this soon. No need to worry. Everything is just fine. So, what is it? Firing. Someone isn't doing their job correctly? Well, oh, never. They deserve a good slap on the wrist. They do. One more mistake and I might put them in the timeout corner. Uh, I'll, I'll send Angie down to confront them. You won't fire them, will you? Well, of course not. The only monster I ever fired was the health inspector. <laughs> fired him before he arrived. <laughs> Hello there. My name is Angie. I'm the receptionist of Mining Co. How may I help you today? Oh, yeah. I'm aware of the dangers that lie outside the mines. I could investigate, but my husband, Gilbert, needs to take some more initiative. I asked him to do it, let's see, six hours ago? Ah, baby steps. Anyway, I've heard that several hazards have been seen around the dunes. I hope that those wild, those wild east monsters pulling pranks. They tend to step out of line every now and then. I can't help but feel that they're a bad influence on Moray. Ah, these matters don't pertain to you. I apologize. This business is more important than it may seem. It isn't easy for monsters to find a job these days. For that reason, we hire anyone who applies. All except for children. I think that's illegal. <laughs> You have a good journey, dear. My was so scared. I heard it could get rocky. <laughs> good, good one, dear. I've been waiting to say that. That's my Angie. <laughs> oh, I take great pride in these lines. Been supervising them for around 30 years. Here every single day. I did take a week off when my kiddo was born, but I was right back at it when it came, when time came. Strangely, the program support for that week was above average. If you ever see my kid out there, tell them that their old man misses them. <laughs> Aw, these two are great. Why are the characters like, the characters feel just at home with the rest, with the original ones? What are the bunch of goobers? I love them. Hey, Happily married couple. Fuck yeah. This thing sure is ginormous. I hope this really leads to the exit because this guy just stopped in here. Is it the right bell? An empty cart sits on the rails. Hop in. Are we gonna do some Donkey Kong Country shit? Is that Resident Daryl? This is not Resident. Oh! <gasps> Aww. Yeah. This game has fucking soul put into it. You see that? That's all right there. Wallpaper material. Hey, look at this asshole. Hey, thanks for saving me back there. Now I can stand in place at a higher elevation. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, bo oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Oh boy. Ah, shit. Okay. Um. Okay, that ought to work. And then do this. Oh, shit. Yes, yeah, my one. Am I? Not really. 
sorry, but I believe in you. Okay, that works. Good. Now, how about you? That should be good. Lovely puzzle, actually. Pass has been opened. Some stale fruitcake sits in the bucket, left over from a mining co holiday party. Fucking take it. You got the trash fruitcake. <gasps> Look at little Linky. Is that virtue? Hello, visitor. Did you venture it through the whole mine? What a journey. For your troubles, I'll let you in on a little secret. You see, we aren't mining for gemstones at all. Those things are everywhere, practically worthless. We're actually mining for minerals like this one in front of me. They're used for building materials around the underground, you see? They're also very... <gasps> you saw nothing! <laughs> Let's get nothing. We got pretty good so far. To the mountaintop. Cool shades recommended. He ate it. What the hell's going on here? Would you look at that? I get all the same things hustle from here. Heh, <sighs> let's go. Once a shell here with praise is steadily overblown. See, she is what they call a boss monster. Then she has special traits, more powers than others. When you take him down, his soul will stay intact. But only for a moment before... BOOM! You win. I heard the guy is immortal too. Can't hate a second. At least, not anymore. Well, huh? Oh, that, that line, not anymore, is actually... ...really fucking dark if you know how boss monster reproduction works. Poor Flowey. What, what can I know? Bossmanses know how to cling the light, that's for sure. Can I... can somebody answer? Oh, what essentially what happens is... A boss monster is a special type of monster in the underground that is essentially, like, built to be royalty, built to be leaders of the entire monster society. They are supposed to be immortal until they find a partner and they, you know, have a kid. And the moment that they have a kid, their magic transfers to the child to make them grow, which makes them old, right? But the thing is, Asgore and Toriel lost their son. So what? now Asgore has to live out the rest of his days, immortal days, alone without a wife or a kid to pass down his immortality to anymore. And the Wait, kid so, so, who's so saying that he, like, he, do, he didn't lose his immortality. Essentially, it's 
you, he passes down his magic to his son throughout the years to make oh. them to make him grow up, right? But since the kid died before he could completely grow up, then Asgore stays immortal, and Toriel left him. Toriel left to the ruins. So now Asgore is immortal and alone and just with no one else to talk to. Because he's like the only boss monster left, aside from Toriel. And Toriel hates him. Mm. And the one, like, telling out the story is Flowey. Which is perfect. Hey, don't you have all of that info scary, y'all? Immortal doesn't mean invincible. And still, a human cell is more powerful than boss monster cell. Oscar may seem intimidating, but it's also. The dog is afraid of you, Drew Bushower. Uh, showing your true colors, huh, Flowey? Yeah, just thought I would be very, very powerful. What's to come? <sighs> this bitch is gonna totally betray us at the end, isn't he? I'm just waiting for it. Yellow did exactly what I wanted original Undertale to do. I wanted to have more interactions like this with Flowey before the end of the game. This is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted with Flowey. Actually getting to talk with him and like see him throughout the entire game before he inevitably betrays us. A class rock dropper 900. Technology is amazing. Hey, Das Tom, thank you for the donation. What a little shit. Oh, what is that? Is that Asgore's castle or? The oh. <gasps> Hello there! Halt! I, El Bailador, have tasked myself with confrontation! The air is much too quiet, amigo. Much too dreary. You make no noise when you move. You lack rhythm, feeling, fervor. If I did not know any better, I might have mistaken you for the sentinel of silence. I mean, we are. <laughs> no, 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 this will not do. You must prove to me that you are what you have, what it takes. What it takes to live a life of richness. I challenge you. To dance! Holy shit! To truly find oneself, they must ignite a passion within. Let us duel! Holy shit! I want to see your spirit of fire! One, and two, and... Okay! It's time to dance! El Bailador! El Bailador, the definition of passion. Oh, that was much too simple. Let us try this. What? Oh shit, I have to stay there. Okay. All the flashing lights are making you dizzy. Heating up! El Valador glides around the dance floor with ease. Uh, smile. You begin to enjoy yourself and let out a grin. El Valador smiles back. The passion! It's gross! Look at that cat smile. Smells like disco. What does disco smell like? 
you clumsily spin around. El bailador appreciates the effort. Aha, yes. This is what I live for. All right. You begin to enjoy yourself and let out a grin. El Violador smiles back. I love without hands is empty, I say. Okay, that's a bit difficult, but all right. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. You stop dancing and look at Bailador. This upsets him. Others say that lands can dance can also take out way left. I do not see what they mean. Ow! You clumsily spin around. El Bailador appreciates the effort. A world of solitude and silence, that is not for me! The underground is much too depressing, you see. Oh my god! I'm not good at rhythm games! El Bailador flexes his huge muscles. Golden coffee? No. Green tea. Let's drink the green tea. Tastes toxic! Your HP was maxed out. I mean, as green tea should. We are trapped within a barrier with no hope for freedom. A sad, sad situation. But it is not sad for I. Holy shit. The sounds of a thousand trumpers echo, echo around you. You begin to enjoy yourself. We must make do with what we have. Find time for activities that makes, most ha makes us happy. I am outgoing because happiness is not a quiet virtue. I often encourage other monsters and hope that it is contagious. Okay. What if we just stare at him? Stop dancing and look at Vailador. This is what upsets him. Even if Master Kind is cursed with this grim state, we must stick that stick it out to the end. All the way up to the finale. Holy shit. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Surely you can dance better than this. Fuck you, Flowey. One, Anna, two, Anna. All right. Killed by rhythm games. This game is free, by the way. I just want to point it out. This is a free fan game. It feels like I should be paying money for this. I paid $10 for Poppy Playtime. And I can't play it.
How is this free? Toby has had has to get in, like into contact with the developers and like sell this somewhere, right? Surely it's not that difficult to canonize this, right? Look at that. Look at the love put into it. Can I please just throw money at the developers' faces right now? Maybe. If there is a place to donate, I will give my money. I you said you spend it too much? Yeah, but this is basically... I should pay for this. I should pay when you... Like... Ooh. Toxic! Okay, perfect! I'm not, I am not a rhythm game player. I'm just saying, I'm not a rhythm game player. Grungo the Omniscient donates still also says, this guy gives me strong that vibes. Oh, you have proven your passion, little one. I apologize if the dance stren was strenuous to your health. Sometimes having a fun means a few doctor's visits. <laughs> uh. However, it seems that you do not love dance as much as I. Perhaps I you find happiness through other means. I have never considered for s that for quiet monsters such as you. Ah well, I at least hope that your day has been brightened. I wish you a fulfilling journey. Farewell! Bye bye, weirdo. Awesome. So, are we gonna die in the end of all of this? Don't worry about it. Okay. You got a dimensional satchel. Oh, fuck yeah. Satchel out. No idea who that guy was, but he's awesome. Yeah, he just showed up and just like asserted himself and then left. Face? Honey. Looks like we're back on solid ground. That's my chair was a door. But a bunch of sluggers. Anyway, skip all the breeze, buddy. And we just We just cleared the entire thing up anyway. There's a note attached to the cactus. 50% off on all of our product. The S in product is cur crudely scribbled out. Opening hours, Monday to Friday, 8 a.m., 8 4 p.m., Saturday and Sunday, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Lunch break at 12 a.m. to 12.15 p.m. Attention, gift shop ahead. And this is what the boulders were, like, covering. <gasps> Shut up! Don't say it! Don't say it, chat! Don't! Don't! Okay, good. Step right up! We got a blue sail glowing on! 
It may look like we're quite almost sold out, but not quite, but quite the contrary. We only order one stuck mug. It has been on this trusty self for 13 years. There we go. Someone said it. God fucking damn it. Demand is depressingly low, but so take the advantage of this offer now. Only 40 G, bucko. Wait, seriously? I mean, yes, of course. <laughs> go fetch it off the shelf and I'll ring you right up. <laughs> Enjoy your shards of glass. No charge anymore, buddy. Break it, you do not buy it. Take the monk shards, yeah. Obtain the glass ammo. You cautiously load the glass into your gun. Phew, no, cu no cuts. Oh shit. Guys, stop, stop saying, stop saying it. They, they're, they're gonna keep saying it. <laughs> it took them a while to notice. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, you are the first one to notice. I, I was the first one to point it out. What the fuck? I expected, yeah, I, I expected worse of you, Chad. Whatever. <laughs> Since you bought the mug, I'll have to sell the shelves themselves. All right, weirdo. Thank, thank you. Can't believe that baked Jumbo Josh was the first thing that I thought of. Oh, <gasps> look at the little mic cart <gasps> toy. Oh, look, look at the scorpion girl. Uh, Bunui scorpion. <sighs> this playground used to be so fun. Ever since my playmates stopped showing up, it's become boring. I wonder where they went. It's an empty swing. Hop on. Yep. Of course, well, being here often. Thanks for sitting with me. I hope you can be friends. Yeah. Introvert girl. Kicking our little feet. Oh. Rosa approaches from the flower bed, twisting a flower in her hand. Lexigo challenge. If you want a flower from me, you gotta prove yourself. We're going into a flower chapter. I am very scared. Rosa bursts into laughter, but you have no idea why. You ask if you can have one of Rosa's flowers. I don't know. Can you? Ah, oh, shit. Ah, shit. Ah, shit! Give me that one! Thank you. Rosa gives you a thumbs up. Yeah. Look like we're getting close to the exit from this place. Aside from those mines, that has been pretty friendly to us. <laughs> Great. Oh, thank God. Thank God. I fell. I left you all alone in that cave. Girl failure. You have to break the tears for yourself. Points at you. Girl failure. I'm a horrible friend. No, don't be like that. Trust me to be your own guardian. I was a child for that. I, what is wrong with me? Calm down. It's okay. Care of yourself. 
I can barely fucking hear her. I'm sorry. Sorry, my neighbors are like, you know, it's kind of late, so... That is understandable. Shall I take over? Uh, yeah, you might as well. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Chad. The crash just happened to be so fast. When I saw what had happened to you, I panicked. I flew over to the sandy landscape and found this town. I soon realized that I couldn't risk getting others and other monsters involved. They might have questioned me and I cannot creep secrets. They could have turned us into the more sinister royal guards. So, uh, I sat by the cottages for an hour thinking of what a piece of garbage I am. <laughs> Aww. I then got the courage to travel back to you and apologize, but here you are. So I'm deeply sorry. Forgive! Thank you, Clover. You were very kind. Anyway, we should move on. I decided that I won't leave your side now. I'll follow you wherever you lead. You just endured some crazy underground shenanigans, though. I don't understand if you need to rest for a bit. If you want to hang out, hang around, that's great! I didn't get to sightsee all the way over here. Oh! Well then, friend! Shall we be off? <gasps> Party member! Welcome to Oasis Valley. Home to the largest body of water in the dunes. This monster is too busy quenching their thirst to speak. With eye-catching water like this, who could resist? It is pretty green. Hello, darling. How are you doing today? It's a lovely day, ain't it? Is it always this hot and humid, you think? I just moved here from Snowden, so I'm not sure yet. But a local like you would know, right? I've got a question for you, actually. Do you develop some sort of spectrum of hot around here? You see, like, not just hot, but blazing hot versus sweltering hot. You know what? You look busy. We'll talk later or something. Talkative. Oh, <gasps> look at the crabs! I do not have any treasure hidden within my shell. Why do monsters keep asking me that? Pinch, pinch. Hey, <laughs> hey. Beware of my pincers, traveler. We are not caged within these fences, traveler. It is a choice. It is nice to live in a familiar place with a pack. It is also nice to be fed and take and be taken pictures of. Oh! Holy shit! This game is immense. I love it. Above the table is a painting of a larger salter stone. It's almost as if the heat leaps right off the canvas. Wait! That large fucking circle at the top of the mountain was like. A sunstone? Oh, that explains why this place is like a fucking desert. Visiting what from the wild. It's basically a, a stone that glows heat, so it's like really caught. Uh, it's like a sun, but it's a rock. Visiting, uh, visiting from the wild east, are you? I must say, I haven't seen your face around these parts. Welcome to my abode, young one. As you may notice, I have a knack for the preservation of life. Grass is very rare here. For any to grow, there must be a source of water close by amongst the ground. I try my best to keep my own little patch happy. It's one of my many hobbies. You found 30G in one of the pants pockets. Take it? No. <laughs> sure. Got him! I mean, I ha I am running low on gold. The dunes didn't used to be like this. Rivers, trees, plenty of grass painted the area. Lush and beautiful. This was years ago, of course. The memories often escape me. It's hard to blame anyone for the loss of those things. Poor miners had no idea such large stones could kill an ecosystem. No one did. It was a new discovery at the time. I suppose it was a nature's will. Oh, so they mined the large stone, the large sunstone in the background, and that caused the entire area to become a desert. Oh. Hello, traveler. Would you be interested in having your fortune told? Only 5G per fortune. 
Now, you may be thinking that pr that price is a little low. What quality fortune from an unexperienced fortune teller costs 5G? Well, your suspicions would be correct. See, I'm a fortune teller in training, so I'm selling tiny fortunes. Aww. Practice, you see. So, can I interest you in a bite-sized fortune? Okay. Let us see what the world has in store for you. Oh! Oh! Oh dear! The fortune seems to indicate that you're in for a tumble! Oh no no no, it looks like a big one too! It will happen very soon! Hang on! Oh! Tumbleweed! I guess I got a little excited and missed the second part. Sorry for that scare. Looks like everything is fine after all. Aww. Aww, nothing bad ever happened to this Nothing Clover. bad ever happens to Clover. Let's see what the world has in store for you. Hmm. Ah, yes, here we go. A very specific reading, too. These are rare. In approximately two minutes, it will be 1817. Well, I hope that knowledge is use is helpful. You bitch. Hey, yeah, she's right. It's gonna be 1817 for you. Yes. She read my computer for that one. <laughs> Actually, I, I would not that. like to waste my money on this. If you change your mind, I'll be here. Otherwise, I may never get better. Okay, but what if she gets better though? You know what? Yeah. I will. I will go to. I will go back to Mo and buy his stuff, because I really like Mo, and then I will waste the rest of my money on the fortune teller. Maybe she will also react to Mo. <gasps> Wait, can you react to the girl? Oh, Nar. Ah, uh, yes, I see, I see. Your IP address is... Prints out the IP address on her eyes. Wait, if she's around, do we even get attacked by any monsters? I guess not. Huh. Yo, Mo, my boy! Bam! Welcome back. Here's what I got. Get the iced tea. And get the sea tea. The alphabet must have 25 letters now, because I'm fresh out of tea. I'm sure we'll meet again. Thanks for believing in me. Mo out! I love him. Mm. That Mo is sure not an odd one. I would have talked to him, to him, but I don't know how legal his business is. Our conversation would have turned awkward very fast. I like that she has dialogue for that, in case you didn't have money before to get to Mo. The developers have just as much, like, attention to detail as Toby. I wonder what other unique dialogue she has. Yeah, all the monsters here left. Sit on the swings together! Oh my fucking god, you're so fucking right, though. Oh my god, hold on. We need to sit on the swings together. Special dialogue. I like that she also has a sprinting animation. What about this guy? Does she have a special dialogue for him? Since you bought the mug, I'll have to sell the shelves themselves. No, she doesn't. Oh, you can't sit with her. That's fine. Fucking Naruto running. Tried to save with her around. That is a fantastic suggestion. What? Is she gonna react to Flowey? Because Flowey shows up if you try to save, so what up? No! 
Flowey does not show up. Okay, I like that detail. He just never pokes his head out of the ground. We got a lot to explore over here. Okay, let's waste more money on the fortune teller. Why? Because I want to see her fortunes. What the world has in store for you? Hmm. Gah! I have never seen a fortune this dark before. Are you sure you want to hear it? What am I saying? You have a right to hear it. Um, hold on. Let me still myself first. Okay. Oh. That's true? Question mark? But do not worry too much. There is no time given, and well, everyone dies eventually. Maybe I'm seeing a hundred years from now, or two hundred. That is even better. Yeah, we are playing a prequel to Undertale. And as we all know, Asgore did get all the human souls, except the one, except the red one, so. I don't know how we're gonna go with that. Okay. A large ordinate gate. Unfortunately, it's locked. Okay, if we're gonna be a, oh, sorry, if it's gonna be a cat shrine, I'm so I'm so done for that. Cat shrines may be possible. I think like all like, even though Toby Fox is a fucking dog, I think like most Undertale players are cat people. Have you, have you given up your life of being a wrangler to experience modernism? I highly suggest doing so. It is the most prestigious life you could choose. Chick architecture, light switches, latte machines, it's all here. Once you indulge, you can't stop. I remember this game working more efficiently in the past. The air pressure seems to have been tampered with or something. Considering this table doubles as the AC, that ain't good news. Spend 3G to play. Oh! <gasps> oh! Mew God. Mew Love Blaster. Mew Mew Love Blaster. Dash to safety. Give, give it all. Avoid sadness. Spread joy. Toho? There's some Toho shit. That's a little lovely. Adorable. Mew Mew Love Blaster! See you later! <laughs> what about this one? Out of order, please stop feeding it money. Can we put money into that? Yo, what do you want? I'm in the middle of a gaming sesh. Oh, <laughs> you're a kid like me! I bet you're good at these machines. Maybe. Have you tried Mew Mew Love Blaster? It's addicting. I suck at it though. I hear there's a final boss, but I've never seen anyone reach it. But you could totally kick its butt. No. No. Phil. No. Uh, I we, know what you're thinking. Yeah, about. yeah, we need. We, yeah, 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 you're right. You're right, you're right. A child's drawing depicting uh, three uh, three happy monsters. My precious Why family. Why encourage Why? him? We're gonna be here all day if we do that. I would sell you Sorry, something, I really but I'm on strike. The owner needs to better himself. That's me. I'm the owner. <laughs> God damn it. 
Dad, do not encourage him. If we have some spare time, we will do it, but not right now. No. Free hugs. <gasps> Oh. Hey, dude. I know you'll say no, but I'm selling free hugs. Darn it. You already read my sign, didn't you? I hate myself. No! <laughs> no! This is funny. no! No! No, no, no. Hug. Hug. No, don't bother asking. I'm closing shop, okay? This was a dumb idea. Even if you did hug me, which would be sick, it would probably kill you. Not intentionally, of course. That'd be a crime, and I hate crime. Oh great, you might be a criminal, and now you definitely won't hug me. Just walk away. It would be better for the both of us. You still want a hug? Bro, you need to learn when, le when to let go. If you won't leave me alone, the hugs are no longer free. In fact, they're very expensive hugs. Whatever amount of money you own, they're like triple that. I'm honestly not sorry. <laughs> no! No! Bake sale! Bake sale! <laughs> Come eat food made by spiders for spiders of spiders. All proceeds go to spiders in need. God fucking damn it, not you! Okay, I still kinda wanna hug, but I'm, I'm, in, the, I'm in this way too deep. Ignore my existence, please. Muffet's still on the business! Okay, I kinda still want a hug, but I'm in this way too deep. Ignore my existence, please. I don't wanna! Come on! Ah! Alright, give me my fucking spider donut. You're most gracious. Have a nice day. Ah, uh, come on! Ah! Fine, I guess. I want to hug that cactus. God damn, dude, that's sad. A sapling sits within the ground, new to life and unsure of itself. It is full of potential but has yet to reach it. One day, it might. Huh. Some kind of ancient inscription. For me. Can't really play it. No, <gasps> male. You have a watch? If you don't, that's fine. Cause you know what time it is. Mail time. Mail time. You receive the mail. I truly hope you like your mail. As for me, I must set sail. I fucking love that whale! <gasps> we can talk to her! There's so much to see in this town. I'm getting some strong Honeydew Resort vibes. After I get tired of keeping the peace every day, I may move here. A mighty fine retirement plan, yeah? I will... Check out my mail. Shuffler's letter. To our later shufflers recruit, Toast here. There's someone out in the wild that we forgot to warn you about. This scruffy fella with a blue hat. Don't interact with him or support his endeavors. I won't tell you why, cause this letter reads cooler as a mystery. Now, I'll let you swig. I'll let Swig finish this. He gets upset when he misses out on the writing letters. Yeah, upset. Swig. <laughs> Ooh, hey! Clover! Remember how I told you how I apprehended a human last week? That's her! Aww. Is that fucking red? Huh? You still think I'm... Your captain did explain to you that I'm not human, right? Please tell me she did. Oh, I'm sorry, I just thought... No, 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 no. I'm sorry, it's just... <sighs> I get it often. It's totally fine. You wouldn't believe how many grumpy monsters I deal with. Not that you're a grumpy monster. I'm just... I'm sure you're very nice. Um, anyway. So she's canon to this... game. Wait, who is that? 
Red is a character from an Undertale fan game that was extremely popular back during the early days of Deltarune. Essentially, she was a custom fight, one of the earliest ones, like, to exist. Like, you- like, there wasn't much in the fan game, it was just literally her fight. But it was so unique and cool and, like, really well put together that she ended up getting hired by Toby Fox to work on Deltarune. For, like, bullet patterns and stuff like that. So, the creator's character is actually in this game. That's amazing! What's your name? It's Clover. Huh, no, not you, silly. It's her. Uh, actually... How about Red? Yeah! That's what your colleagues have kept calling me every time I get falsely apprehended. To be honest, I hope that eventually I'd be caught enough that you'd all recognize me and it'd stop. I might just be wiser to join the guard at this point. <gasps> because in the- because in Red's fan game, she becomes a royal guard. Join? That would be fantastic! I'd be glad to show you the ropes of my job. You could even help me build puzzles. That might be a code violation now that I think about it. Ah, it's fine. What? It can't be that easy to get in, right? I mean, they let me join! <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Epic cell phone, I guess? Unnecessarily mean to yourself. Oh, damn. We'll figure it out. Me and Clover have some important business to attend to. But I should be free next week. You can find me doing my duty around Snowden any day. Oh. You're serious. Huh, I mean, haha. <laughs> uh. Sure? Sounds like a plan. See you then. See ya. Why is this game filled with girl failures? I love it. Sorry, I'm not home. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> Bitch! Okay. So, Undertale Red is canon to Undertale Yellow. Fair enough. Is that a fucking cactus, Snorlax? Sorry, buddy. This path's blocked. I ain't moving no matter what anyone does to provoke me. You wouldn't understand. Girl boss behavior! <laughs> girl, girl boss behavior. Bitch. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Oh, I left all my G at home. Would you lend me one? Sure. Thank you. Hmm. I wish... That Clover will make it back home safely. Now you have me and a wish on your side. She's adorable. The, the dunes wishing well. Hold a G close to your chest and think of what you want most and toss it in. You never know, if enough monsters wish for something, it may come true. Oh boy. What if we talk with her while we're like near the girl boss? We should probably get going. Awkward cough. I mean, you don't know, this is a fan game. You don't know if Clover's gonna make it out, right? Right? Ah, I see. A knock base with a with iron nails holding it together. Oh sorry, I was nerding out for a second. Sure, it's a cool wagon. Huh? <gasps> Hang on. I think someone's coming this way. Who the fuck? Guys, look here! Someone new has stumbled into our humble town! This 
this better not be another joke. Oh! For once, don't look like it is. Who the fuck? Hiya, strangers! Oh, hello! Uh, we're just passing through, though. We mean no harm, I promise. Oh, that's what the last guy said. Let's just say he is one with the wind now. Oh my gosh, you are. <laughs> I'm just getting around. You were shaking in your boots there for a second. <laughs> you sure got me. Now watch him very fun, Edward. I can assure you that we are del a delight to be around. Nothing you can't handle, I'm sure. Ah. Uh. Ugh. Why do you even, why do you two insist on scaring away every monster you meet? At least Mooch never sta oversteps her bounds. I never. Well, um, it was a pleasure to meet you four, but we'll be going now. Oh, holding right there, Missy. Oh, are my pals giving you trouble? Come on now. That ain't a way to treat guests, isn't it? The name's North Star, and I run this town. Not alone, of course. These fine monsters are my posse. Together we are. Oh! The Feisty Five. Our name stands for... Fearlessness. Excellent. Intuition. Stickiness. Toughness. Youthfulness. Justice. Uh. <laughs> the J is silent. Anyway, now that we're introduced, I'd be glad to give you and your buddy a tour. Hold on. Your buddy. Are they a... human? Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I won't say no. I knew it. There ain't no doubt in my mind that this kid is a real, living, authentic human. Sorry about this. I gotta seize this once in a life opportunity. Ed, fetch me that kid. Draw sure thing, boss. Oh. <laughs> Wait! What are you doing with Clover? Ah, Clover is it? That's a mighty fine name! To answer your question, Feathers, Clover and I got a... got, got a town to run. Don't Feathers me! You're speaking to Martlet of the Royal Guard! I can, I can and will report you to King Ascor for this abrasive behavior! Ha, your Royal Guard? That's funny, cause I don't see anything to indicate that. No armor, weapon, badge? Oh, yeah. I left it all in my person's stallion. Ah, oh, please! Don't bother trying to fool us. He's right. I love these sprites, by the way. I am truly sorry about this, I really am. But business is business. Together, we'll be the Feisty Six! The alliteration? Shh! Clover, I can't go up against these guys. Don't worry, I'll figure it this way out. I'll figure a way out. Star, should we be doing this? Port Martlin is upset. Don't be a busky, old Moray. When the, when's the last time something exciting happened around here? You've got a point. <coughs> this town's full of excitement, especially now. Let's go, bud. I, don't, I like they don't even want to kill me. They just want to be like my buddy. Oh, and feathers. Welcome to the Wild East. Clover, no! <laughs> I have an announcement to make. This game just keeps getting better and better and better and better and better! This little feller here is Clover. Uh, Star? What the hell are you doing bringing a human in here? Choroba, shush! 
Now, I know what you're all thinking. But trust me, Clover here ain't no greenhorn. They know what they're doing. Just look at that hat. Actually, this could be fun. Dina, hit me. Oh. All right. No more heckling from the crowd. Hmm. Ladies and gentle monsters, as Soroba said, Clover is a human. Ooh. I know, exciting stuff, a real honor. Now, I would let Clover tell you all about their life, but I've been studying up. I'm a bit of a human expert, if you didn't know. He's a fucking nerd! Oh my god! Oh, great, here we go. Here we go indeed! Did you know that humans use monsters for transportation? It's true! A large four-legged monsters. They put a seat on top of them and everything. They're called horses, Star. Oh, so you know about them personally. That's quite impressive. Did you also know that humans are fireproof? When they're feeling accomplished, they ride monsters straight into a huge fiery sphere. Oh my god, they're all just so cowboy te movies. The fucking movies that like fall out of waterfall. These bitches have just been seeing cowboy movies. So that's why they're like this. So the monsters burn, right? Most humans aren't fireproof. Star, are you saying my friend Horses was killed by a fiery sphere? No, uh, well, uh, I'm not quite sure. I'll ask Clover. Do the monsters die? <laughs> no. See? Everyone's fireproof. <laughs> Anyways, did you know that? Look, Star, I, I don't think I, I don't, I, you don't need to keep this up. Because it's all true, every word. I knew it! I'm pretty darn good, aren't I? I fucking love this guy! Fuck! Ooh. Are you having fun? You're the best! Yeah! The only sheriff for me! <laughs> Look at him! Look at him blushing! Look at him blushing! Well, I reckon we're done here. Y'all can go back to your daily lives for now. As for you, Clover, it's about time to see you see what this town has to offer. I would give you a personal tour, but if there is one thing you have where you you have where you come from, it's freedom. Take your time exploring. Talk to the townsfolk. Enjoy yourself. I'll be waiting here for you. Give me a shout when you're ready to start training. Holy fucking shit! Let's go. North Star is the coolest! One time, a construction bee team was demolishing a building in New Home. But uh-oh, an infant was in the way of the building as it came crashing down! Suddenly, North Star appeared and wound his lasso up. He wrangled the skyscraper without breaking a sweat. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! For saving its life, the building gave North Star one million G! True story! True story! Is that the fucking whale? Oh, you're Clover, am I right? Your name has come up once or twice. Hmm? You look confused. Oh, right, I'm not rhyming. Yeah, that's just a company policy. It gets a little tiresome sometimes. But other than that, I have no complaints. That's a great job. Wouldn't trade it for the world. I'm a little worried, though. These days, those fancy cell phones are all the rage. I don't know how long the mail service will... Oh, me. My, oh, my. My breaks come to an end. See you next time. There's letters to send. Bye-bye! I love you, pink whale. I want this to be canon so fucking badly. I'll come right out and say it. Yes, I am a finger. Oh. I came free with the last shipment of bottles. Several monsters are enjoying a nice, fair game of poker. 
How do I keep losing? <gasps> Howdy, human! Take a gander at my wares. Hard-hitting stuff is off limits. You wanna know? Oh, this place? It's pretty fun around here. I heard it was established some years back when the Dunes gained its name, if you get me. I should be polished on its history, but Star don't talk about those days. I was looking for a friendly environment to share my brewing skills, so here I am. Chat, stop being horny! There ain't terribly much to do in this town, but that only makes it more close-knit. Every day has been pretty predictable until you showed up. I'm eager to see what Star's planning. I love how every character is like interconnected and have like relationships with everyone else and they all like have th these friendships and like they all know each other from a long time ago. Like you can tell this world is like vibrant and like they're it's alive. It's more than just like you running through areas, you know? All these characters like have relationships with each other. It's great. Aha, my snakes? I get this question a lot. These fellows are my pets, real reptiles, not monsters. Their names are Anne, Sammy, and Bert. Underground still houses some critters from the surface, like birds and insects. I found these west of here, hiding in a crevice of sorts. Some monsters think keeping pets is strange, but I think it's cute. They give me someone to talk to when business is slow. Can I leave? You can leave at any time. Won't hurt my feelings. Oh, I see. Star's trying to keep you here since it's a big deal and all. That ain't right if you're wanting to go. I try not to infringe on Sheriff Business, but I'll ask him about it soon. I'm sure he means well by it. Yo! I'm so glad! I'm so glad that these characters are like actual people and not just like villains of the week. That's exactly what Undertale is about, too. Like, all the characters in Undertale, if you go by- if you go through it as, like, a regular game, in every single chapter, every character is just, like, a regular-ass boss. You know what I mean? Like, if you go through- if you go through, like, the- the Waterfall chapter, for example, you will just beat Undyne and then continue moving through the game. But if you actually give the monsters a chance and talk to them and, like, learn about their lives, they actually become, like, fully fleshed out people. This- this fan game is exactly what Undertale is about. Learning about these characters and their lives and, like, seeing how they're, like, actually just good people and, and like, they're just fighting you because of, like, because they don't know who you are. It's the best! I get a feeling that he ain't as tough as he likes to play up. But then again, maybe he's just clumsy. His whole posse is a hoot. They frequently host parties here. He definitely knows the right kind of monsters to surround himself with. Not to mention Soroba, his childhood friend. I get a kick out of her and Star's antics. When she brings her daughter into town, it's basically two against one! <laughs> now that I think about it, it's been a while since I saw that re little rascal. We really need to get the whole gang together again. Oh, this is great. Oh, I can't get adult soda. I don't have any money either. Nuh -uh. Shit. Nah. -uh. Can you sell your like ammo? Let's try that. Actually, the saloon isn't always this crowded. It's happy hour, you see, half price drinks. But you don't know what you don't know that, so they'll continue to sell you full price drinks. Let's try to sell something. This is a bar, not a marketplace. Try blackjack down the road if you want to barter. Fair enough. Blackjack? Horseman? What do you want? What's wrong, buddy? I'll tell you what's wrong. <gasps> My life's a wreck! Wasted, woeful, washed up! I was supposed to make it big! I was gonna be a big time producer! You know, show business! I couldn't tell you where it went wrong. I studied hard, I graduated middle school, what else do you need? Stuck my way into a gig booking at a joint in Hotland with a with potential in my eyes. One day this robot fella rolled up to me and asked if I, I've ever produced an artist. Now I'm a great producer, 
make hot beats on my computer every weekend. I had the talent, but I lacked the vision. I told that one-wheel television they wouldn't make it in the industry. What an idiot I was. They soon garnered a following and totally exploded. Not literally. Maybe. Look, kid, I'll tell you this. Sometimes it's like we don't control our lives. Fate has a cruel way of teaching us lessons. Yes, Chad, it is medicine. Have a little foresight and try not to grow arrogant like I did. Don't you forget that. <laughs> Talking about setting up medicine, huh? What an introduction, right? Hope you didn't have any stage fright. Stages can be scary, all wooden, occasionally making faces at you. Glad that that guy didn't have more than one line. Are you wearing traditional Japanese clothing? Is that a fucking... Is that a Shrine Maiden outfit? You there, human. You okay? No. About what I expected. I apologize for Star's antics. He's really into human culture and whatnot. You show up here and he flips out. I mean, it is quite unbelievable. A few humans have wandered into the underground before, but they never set foot in these sands. All that to say, I'm glad you did. My name's Saroba. I'm a friend of Stars, but not part of his posse. They're a bit too... rowdy, for my taste. May I ask your name? Clover. Oh, because she's a kitsune! I didn't know, I thought it was just general wolf girl. Welcome to the odd ground, Clover. Your attire is surprising, I must say. But, um, I won't press you on the matter. I'm afraid Star is going to drag you into this into his activities for a while. You must have places to go, correct? The castle, the barrier. You probably want to go home. If I'm being honest, I haven't seen Star this ecstatic in quite some time. Maybe you should entertain him a bit. Roll with his punches. I'll see what I can do about allowing you to leave. I know of a safe path to Hotland through the... Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Talk to you later, Clover. It was nice to meet you. I like ya. There's an entire ass town, huh? <gasps> he got a hat! Cody! Cody! Because my greeting has. This is like my greeting has found its home. Like it had a disguise. This area is pretty populated, so I think this should be safe. You getting separated from Mark Light is pretty lucky, but. I hope this star guy doesn't hold any hair for long. I may have to turn. If he does. What? Inter. In, inter. White. Right, I'm sorry. Hiya. Subtle job sitting on that stool. I have a feeling that you'll be the talk of town. We're gonna have so much fun training together. <laughs> anyway, see you later. I'm sorry, child. I'm trying my best. This town is quite a spectacle, is it not? Uh huh. I would bury myself in its sand if I could. Yup, yup. Hey, I can. Sorry for being so forceful earlier. I'm just doing what Star thinks is best. This whole thing snuck up on us, that's for sure. I'm optimistic about it. I like that every single one of these guys is like a cool guy. None of them are like evil. Who's living here? Some kind of berry plant. You notice a few berries are missing. The couch not fit for a thrift store. These cramped living conditions are bringing back unpleasant memories. Ooh. You turn the TV on. 
this is your favorite channel. Ooh. Clover, are you all right? A few videotapes with custom labels stuck on them. My favorite movie, smiley face. My second favorite movie, smiley face. Don't watch this one, zero out of 10, sad face. A target with darts of various shapes and sizes stuck to it. You push the hammock. Its sway is hypnotizing. A surprisingly clean kitchen. Impressive. A surprisingly clean kitchen. Weird. You haven't seen any cats around. It's a kitty bed. There's a hole in the floor. How comfy. How many people live in here? I don't know. A closet with some cleaning supplies inside. They all look brand new. Welcome to Wildy's Clinic. We put the hospital in hospitality. They call me the doc. Are you sick? Hurt? What is your diagnosis? Uh... Oh, a shy one. No problem. I have just the boost you need. For an upfront price of 30G, I can overcharge your health. It is an experimental medicine. But who is said it? I was qualified? Camp Fortress Driver? Is it Camp Fortress Driver? We're gonna get an Uber charge. Well, deal. I'm gonna need the exact payment, sorry. Could I keep the doors open somehow? I am missing a lot of money. Right, I'm here for the free wheel spots. After I check my shelf in, the dog said that he went run out of wooly pops yesterday. Mama. At least I have this trophy bed to chill me up. Sleep as fuck. Maybe. Oh well, yeah. Uh, about Mowgli. I totally get why you'd be upset, but I can explain, I think. See, if she is a royal guard, that would cause problems. She threatened to report Star to King Ashgore. One thing leads to another, and the world is just in flames. Well, maybe. I'm sure Ashgore would understand, but there are others. The hair of the royal guard in particular. Hopefully you didn't have a run-in with her. Oh, she's the same species as, as Undyne. I mean, I've never met her. I just heard we look alike. Aw. Hey. I don't know if you're aware of this, but... There's a fun card game set up in the stable. My friend runs it while I oversee the... Profits. You should try it out. <laughs> Clover! I knew I could count on you! So, me getting out of here... Any luck? Soon. Let's no. hope. Thanks for being positive. This is super ridiculous. Anyway... That's Sheriff North Star, was it? What a jerk. I tried to fight for you. I really did! His hooligans were too strong and tossed me in here. Knowing that, I don't think Force will be do so much. There's gotta be a level-headed monster around here. One that knows this is unjust and will free me. When that time comes, I'll... I'll... Oh, who am I kidding? I couldn't press charges or anything. I talk big, but we're cornered. Ask or, or another guard finding out about you would be the end. Ah. Oh. Well, North Star seems to be pretty enthusiastic about all of this. Maybe by playing along, you can gain his favor and set me free. I don't know, just playing it cool for now. I'll be here. Ugh, what a day. <laughs> oh, she's a cutie. You gotta get me out of here, kid. I have a family, hopes, dreams, TV programs I've missed. And do nothing bad, I swear. You have a boy, we just set him free. What the fuck? Bunch of horsemen? No, 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 say. For I am a horse, each and every day. Ah, uh, I crunch upon carrots and munch upon hay. 
What a shy horse I am, so please go away. That's a horse one? Shiny okay, I'm, I'm not acknowledging that. Greetings. That's a horse one. May interest you in a game of six shooter. It is a simple card game of the matching variety. It costs 3G to play with a potential profit. Intrigued? I literally only have four dollar. I will explain its rules, so listen carefully. A stack of 36 cards will be split into 20. What? And then laid onto the table separately. There are six card types, each with a different familiar face. You must match the cards of the same face, but only if they are touching. Once two are matched, they will be removed from the grid. Two more cards from the reserved 16 card deck will replace them. Your goal is to empty the table by matching every card. If you win under 45 seconds, you will be rewarded 25G. Under a minute, and you will be rewarded 15G. Any time after that will allow you to break even with 3G. If the deck is empty and there is no possible message left, you will lose with no reward. Do you understand? Wait, so it's a oh, fucking yeah. Candy Crush? <gasps> it's fucking Candy Crush. Um. Well, let's see how smart you are. None at all. Yep, that's gonna be one of the embarrassing clips. What the fuck happened there? Uh -huh. Yep, one of those. Oh. Neat. I think I still lost on time. But I got 15 G. Okay, we can make some money and use it around town. Well done. Would you like to play again? Then let's play. I was here for a ride. How was your day, Shai? Also, I like that the cards are like the gang. That is beautiful. Another one! Another one! Oh, why are you such a gambling addict? So they are going from bottom right to top left. So we gotta do it like this. You're a gambling addict, you know that, right? Don't worry about it. As long as we win, it'll be fine. Yeah, this is what they, exactly what they say. Oh shit, that is super difficult. How did I get it right the first time? Oh, it just came to crash. I've never seen this type of, type of minigame before. Holy shit, I nailed it. Eat my ass. Under a minute! Stall, stall 15G, okay. You have to do it under 45 seconds. Oh, 45. 
One time. One, one, literally one more time. I guess I should gamble in medic. That's enough. That was fun, though. Okay. That's actually very All unique. Right. I've never seen this type of minigame before. Coulda won that. I had it. I fucking had it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you, sleepy bum? You played yourself. All right. Only one way to go. Kitty! Howdy! You got any of that... Any of that good catnip? I've been dying to try some. It's what I would say if I were a dirty bandit! <laughs> you were almost tricked. I could have caught you and turned you into the Feasty Five. <laughs> Be more careful, partner. Two boxes of rubber bullets sit on the desk. Best leave them for someone who needs them. Got junk? Sell it right here at the Blackjacks. Today's okay, special. Hell. Yes? Will you, will you do a tennis and crowd? Not at this stream. Depends on how the ending of this game goes. Fair enough. An unfinished game of Go Fish lies on the table. Guess they followed through. Oh! <gasps> a fancy but dilapidated building. This, conf this confuses you. Greetings! Take a gander, just don't For touch Earth? anything. Can't believe it, everybody. Fucking wow! That's costly. That's all the money you don't have because you're gambling at it. You 55. I was hoping you wouldn't ask about them. Ah. Oh. Young hooligans are all they are. Hooligans, I'm forced to put up with to keep my business afloat. They have no respect for the fine arms I produce, always wheeling them around like they're some child's toy. However, I have learned how to benefit off their behavior. I'm the only monster around that provides such quality weapons, so whenever they push me, I push back and threaten to clone shop. They always crumble and end up paying far more than the weapon they want is worth. A little money is worth a few headaches, haha! Ah oh, yes, my gallery of babies! Ah, uh, that sounded strange, ahem. These beauties are all crafted from the highest quality materials. I forged them myself in my personal gunsmithing room. Not only do I make them with care, but I also care for them! I start my mornings by polishing the horse stock until I see my reflection in them. I also know how to handle these bad boys. I'm way better shot than North Star, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, oh! You fucking died. Ah, uh, I, I, I saw a bandit in my rafters. This game is awesome! The Wild East gets many visitors each day. There's something about the aura here that some monsters can't get enough of. 
Now don't worry, I'm not selling ultra deadly weapons to any passerby with enough G. I make sure my wares are tame enough to be not to not be lethal. I myself am not one for violence. Well, used enough times consecutively, they could be lethal, but then again, a ballet shoe could also be a lethal be lethal used enough times. Look, don't question my morality too much. I am not prepared to speak about it. I heard about this town some years back. I had mastered my smithing capabilities and was looking to open up shop. As it turns out, there was an empty building here, so I thought, why not? Seemed like quite the perfect town for such a shop. Do I regret settling down here, resulting in endless torment from five demonic junksters? <laughs> Every day! But everyone else I've met is quite pleasant, so it balances out. Hmm. I wish you good travels. Let's uh, let's see if we can sell some of our stuff. Let's put the spider donut CT. Let's put all the. Let's put all the, like useful healing items in our bag, yeah? and take out the patch, rubber ammo, coffee bean ammo, ice pellets, and still buckle out. Thank you. I will make sure to good use good good get. Thank you. I will make sh sh good use of this. All right. What do you got to sell then? Gunpowder? No, 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 not silver ammo. It's not like we're even gonna need them. Fancy holster. Eight defense made from leather. And a wild revolver. You're too young for the wild revolver! Mm. I can't I'll buy a tree. I'll buy a fancy holster. You proudly equipped a fancy holster. You're ready for anything now. I wish you good travels. And now let's go get some drinks. Got junk? Sell it right here at the Blackjacks. Today's special fancy holster. Great for defense! Now we should be good to buy some drinks. Can we buy an adult soda? No. -uh. A feisty slider heals 30 HP. A little baby burger. Root beer. Root it's fa beer. it's family friendly. And ice water heals 15 HP. I have bad news. Root beer. I guess I think we are minor. We have- we are sadly underage. Alright, let's buy some of this treatment then. Hello again. Need a boost? Alright, let's begin. Little bit of this. And... done! You gain 15 extra HP. Thank you, come again soon. 35 HP! Let's make sure not to waste that. It's okay, Clover will grow up eventually, right? <laughs> right? Can't can wait to see Clover go to college. A giant lock prevents your exit. Kind of overkill. What is this? An old necklace discarded in the sand. Looks expensive. Taken? You got the necklace. It's a broken but dazzling necklace. Can't be worn, but could be worth something. This seems like bait, but all right, let's go sell it. Wait, maybe it's 
for someone. Like, maybe someone needs it. <gasps> this has to be baked, right? Probably. I can't sell that. Right? She's gone. Yo, North Star! Are you ready to begin? That seems too important, Phil. Keep it for now. Yes, I will! Did you talk to the townsfolk? Explore every nook and cranny? You're gonna need to if you wanna be a good deputy! That's right, kid! I'm heavily considering you for my coveted sidekick position. Now, don't get too high and mighty just yet. To be a deputy, you, you gotta know how to wrangle the horses. Oh god, not that one! Me and my posse are gonna show you how it's done around here. I wouldn't drag anyone off the road and give them a special treatment. You'll have to prove your gunsling skills to me. That being said, let's go meet up with the others. Not that horse! All right, everyone, come here. What you want, boss? Ooh, are we going to start begin training with Clover? Precisely, Moray. I thought we'd start with a classic game that involves pacing. You mean what I see you doing every night outside the house? Back and forth, whispering to yourself. What? No, 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 I don't do that. Some monsters have unique ways of getting their thoughts out. Other monsters. Look at him! Look at him! Look at the picture boy! He's such a precious boy! Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> Can anyone correctly guess what game I'm hinting at? Oh, oh, I know. Yes, Mooch? A duel! Bingo! Oh! Mish is one. Dangerous duel. <laughs> nah, uh This is all wrong. Oh, what you mad here? Clover doesn't look right. Look at their hat. It's tattered and practically decomposing. And that iron in their holster. What kind of pea shooter is that? Cool it, Ace. I'm sure they tried their best. No, no, no! Ace has a point. What kind of host am I if I don't spoil you with gifts? To the weapon store! Mission one? <laughs> Dress to impress? This is actually like reaching like above Undertale levels for me. <laughs> of course. All Blackjack doesn't like doing business with me. I have to borrow his wares and, uh, break or lose them. Look at him! Look at that boy failure! Open up, Blackjack! Don't make me use force. I'll make the law so I can legally shoot down your doors. Get off my property, North Star. I told you I wouldn't even shit you a gumboy. Oh, come on, partner. Oh, look at him! Look at him! The sprites here are like, mwah, mwah. I don't even know what a gumball is. And those last transactions were ages ago. I'm a change monster, you hear? You left one of my premium revolvers last week. Frolicking in your sandstorm and whatnot. Look, I promise this is a different scenario, Jack. I won't even step inside. You can meet me out here. Hmm. Don't worry, Clover. He's coming. Take a speed. Of course, sir. I was just gonna ask you to sell a god to this child. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Oh! <gasps>
I fucking love North Star. Oh, what a fucking good character. This is like a child, you see? I was joking! They're just a very small but very tough monster. <sighs> I'll give you 400G. Well, why? <laughs> Wait, why didn't you open with that, kind patron? Come inside with me and I'll fetch you the paperwork. You see? I had it under control. Wait out here, Clover. Good with a wood fucking character! Young and young. Can I get a yeehaw? Yeehaw! 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 <laughs> right, moving along. Let's see what you got. Take this trusty six shooter as a gift from me. Get a wild revolver. <gasps> Carefully aim at the dummy and take your shot. Don't worry, it ain't a lie or nothing. <gasps> dummy. Just a dummy. Let's practice your shooting now. You attempt to speak to the dummy. North Star is confused. Uh. Actually, that's good. Intimidation. Intimidation of your opponent can decrease our focus. Good thinking, Clover. The dummy does nothing. You intimidate the dummy more. It does nothing. Let's practice your shooting now. Oh, shit. It's alright, partner. Try again. That's a different fight mechanic that I've never seen before. Mind to find job. Give it another go. There you go. One more. Oh. Not shooting! I'd say you're a natural. I'm impressed, kid. Yeah, definitely past this part of the training. I gotta go tell Saroba about this. She's a big doubter when it comes to you. Let's ride on! What the fuck is with that? Did you see that transition? Yeah. I never saw that before! That's awesome! What a uh, fucking sea transition! Okay! I love that! Saroba! Guess what just happened? You locked up another royal guard against their will? Hey. Feathers was serious about of a serious roadblock to all of this. It's only a temporary solution. I don't feel right doing it, I swear. I'm just giving you a hard time. What did you want to tell me? Oh well, Clover just passed their first round of training. They are quite the sharpshooter, almost as good as me. Really? A child! <laughs> no, no, no! Don't disrespect the kid! Clover can hold their own and then some. I know, I'm just like... Very impressed. Oh hey, I almost forgot about the hat. I have a spare somewhere in my house. Clover, wait here while I fetch it. Maybe while they wait... You should get to know them, Saroba. Should be fun, right? Sure. I can... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just freaking out about how good these characters are. Sounds good. Be right back, partner. Hmm? Tell me truly. Are you into all of this? Yeah, yeah! That's nice! I've never understood it. But if it makes monsters like Star happy, it's fine. This whole thing is like a dream to him. It's kind of goofy, but it is nice to see someone so passionate. However, passion can go too far. You wouldn't believe how much his partners talk to me about him. Really kind folks who own a farm up north. It's actually very lush there, if you can believe it. And the corn they grow? So good. Corn? They used to give me, to give my husband, Chujin, baskets full 
every other week. Anyway, I trailed off. Where was I? I'm back! Turns out I had one just your size and in the same color. Oh no, it's... It's like Destiny or something. Here. You got a nice hat. <laughs> wow! I couldn't even tell if it changed if I were standing from afar. Looks great! What do you think, Sarova? I think it's nice. Isn't it? Well, I'd say this mission was a great success. Go on, take a break, Clover. I'll be waiting for you. What a fucking dork, I love him! Giddy up, partner. This town has plenty to see. Oh my god! Mo! Wham, what up? You're probably wondering why I'm here, right? Surely a monster of my status should always be out there hustling. Well, here's a tip from a pro. Always be your own boss. If you ever feel like you need a break, take the opportunity. I'm always traveling back and forth, making dough, being cool, etc. It's an exhausting life. Am I wrong? You're right. Ain't it I? Ain't I always? That's rhetorical. Look, moral of the story is, don't overcomplicate yourself, okay? That's about as wise as I get. Don't get used to it! I think a thank you is in order. You just received some high-tier gifts for free, no less. I do have an eye for that sort of thing. Howdy! I will play Lisa the Painful in the future. Also, I'll make sure to turn you up a little bit. I'm sorry for being so quiet. Oh god! Hold on. Uh, sorry. There we go. That should be good. I will I'm play sorry. Lisa the Pain. I will play Least the Painful at some point. I just need to find the right time for it. Stick him up, partner! This is a robbery! What? You got 20G? What? Darn! I always get that part wrong! I'm sorry, Chad. Ugh, this place has like no hygiene standards. Yup. I don't think these sheets have ever been washed at all. Yup. Not to mention the food, it's barely passable, yup. You could find more stuff fresh in the dump, yup. Oh, uh, sick? No, -uh, I'm just here to complain, yup. Asshole. Yup. <gasps> he got freed! Wait, hey. what about the bird? Hey, go away before I get caught. I mean, I was released by Star, yeah. No problem here. What happened to the jail? She's still there. It's so boring here. Can they at least give me something to do? All I have is brainstorming puzzle ideas in my head. Thank you, Chef Torte, for the super chat. I recently had an idea for a third molten rock puzzle, so that's fun! Okay, it isn't fun. But it's interesting is the noise I heard a little while ago. I heard a loud snap, which awoke me from my nap. Before I realized what had happened, the other prisoner was gone. I tried to talk to them when I first arrived, but I got no answers. So now only I am in the jail. I have no cellmate to talk to. All in all, this day is going fantastic for me. Oh, hey. I'm in here to give Marcus some food, that's all. It's in meal time, but I in, but I thought she would enjoy something. So you don't need to worry about her. I'll make sure she's treated as well as one in jail can be. This is for the best.
Missions here can be a real tiring thing. That's why we have a designated nap time. It's a good way to recharge for future servings of justice. Now that I think about it, nap time should be after this next mission. Hope you enjoy us. It's still empty. I guess everyone of like the the gang lives there. I think every single one of them. I think you can actually like guess which one, which the, like what their beds are. Like the hole is for the big red guy. This is for the for the undine like fish girl. The hammock might be for the dude with the hat. And this is probably for Star, right? You press on the mattress and watch your hand get swallowed by the memory foam. So soft. Man, I think maybe this is probably for the squirrel girl? Or maybe the squirrel girl lives in the fucking cat bed. I don't know. Wait, I think you can match the colors. No? Uh, I mean, not for the guy in the hole. Not really sure. Nice. Let's go see if there's anything new around here. Hello. It's kind of irritating that last mission was postponed. It ain't like Star to overlook the dress conditions. I guess we can chalk it up to him having his f his plate full. I'm surprised he got you such a fancy upgrade. We didn't get that kind of stuff when we first joined. They're jealous. Jelly, jelly, jelly. And nothing else here. The pendant is still in my possession. That's weird. There is nothing else to talk about. Alright, let's continue the mission. What a weird chapter. And a really long one, too. Howdy, howdy, Clover! I mean, you can see why this took seven years to make, right? Yeah. Ready for round two? Swell! Seeing as the original plans were altered, we got catching up to do. Let's gather the others. Ah! They did the thing! They did the thing again! Group up, everyone! Getting a bit of deja vu here. As you should, buddy. Thanks to Ace's keen eye for fashion, we took a little detour. Great job there. Thank you, Star. Clover looks much better now. I agree. Clover looks like a real real wrangler. For sure, for sure. That new gun is awfully shiny. Had to shake Mr. Blackjack down for it. Yeah, I was real tough too. Ah, oh, this guy! This guy! Put old Jack in his place, I did. <laughs> you could have sent me to get it. You know I'm the best negotiator. We might bend the rules a bit, but we ain't bandits. <laughs> totally. Let's get to the mission already. Right you are, Ed. What other mission would it be than the one we skipped before? Get ready, Clover! Mission 2! Dangerous duel. It's time for us to duel! Do 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 You mean duel. That's what I said. No, you pronounce it with a dual instead of a do. Boss, have you been skipping cowboy grammar class? Dual, duel, who cares? Tomato, potato, <laughs> all that. Y'all need to quit interrupting me so often. Upsets my frontier sen. Where was I? Oh yeah, it's time for to participate in a carefully timed shooting competition. Mooch! Provide Clover with the designated tool. Here's a BB gun for the duel. I'll, uh... Take care of that six-shooter off your hands now. Mooch? Bring the gun over here. That's what I was gonna do, Moray. Eh? Get off my back, will ya? Alright, it's finally time to go ahead and he- Wait. What is it, Ace? 
What could possibly be so present to interrupt the mission again? You forgot the safety glasses. Gee, boss, you could have hurt Clover. Oh, Right. I take responsibility and apologize for the oversight. Bring the glasses here. I want the pair with the blue flames. Red flames clash with my uniform. Oh, it's like it's like a it's like a paintball like game. Now we're in business. These are just kids playing around like cowboys in like the, their their playground. This is fucking adorable. All right, Clover, we're gonna take ten paces and turn to face each other. When you hear the draw sound, grab your gun and shoot me as fast as you can. Here we go. Oh. Oh, too bad. Let's try one more time. Oh. Star, star, are you okay? Pretty much the opposite of that. Oh, star, I'm so sorry. Who will you give your inheritance to? Not you. Ah. Clover, this was your... Emotional trauma test! <laughs> this, this job ain't all sweet. Sweel stoners and rainbows, you understand? You might end up hurting someone. You must carry that weight on your back. Hope you did I didn't scar you. Anyway, you pass. I'll be waiting in the saloon again when you're ready for mission three. I'm seeing good things in you, kid. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. I have two news. Good good news and bad news. What is it? Good news. I have a story to tell. Bad news. It's a bad story. What is it? I dropped a mug on my foot and I think I got a new brush. Jesus. Another one? Honey. Yeah. Are you gonna be okay? Look at that turtle! I love this place. It has a great sense of community. There's not much like it anywhere else. There's a new friend to make every time I go outside. Never too many friends for all Cooper. I've been wondering how the situation will affect my job. Oh, that's right. I still have my handbook. Let's see here. In case of injury, illness, or imprisonment, loss, loss of this handbook, or another misfortune rendering you unable to perform your duties, Please report to the leader of the Royal Guard immediately. Failure to do so? Oh. <laughs> Poor little birdie. Let's just say that that book wasn't very helpful. As it was take care of yourself, I'm trying! <gasps> Look! Saloon, saloon gigs. There's Metaton on Mondays. The gang, the 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 honey, the honey hotel gang on Fridays. The the lizard dude is wanted for thirty gold. The mug, the mug gang is still there. Not wanted, nor work. Mo, you have the announcement of the duel with the glasses. Aww. The horse is still there. They're just dumb teenagers having fun. Hey, I love um, that. The horse is here. <laughs> the duck just replaced one of my pincers. I feel funny. <laughs> I feel hilarious. Wanna hear a joke? Okay. Okay, so there's this stone pillar, right? I ain't it ain't your average pillar though. This one has a drawing of a cat on <gasps> So, <laughs> does that make it a caterpillar? <laughs> Man, I'm good. Are you that same motherfucker? Grill from yourself. the beginning of the game? Grill yourself now. God damn, the callbacks. What's up? I mean, howdy, human. Don't tell North Star about this, but I have a secret. When everyone's busy or sleeping, I sneak out. I go down to the Cafe Dune to... Game. 
Your kid is totally rad, you dig? I'm a gamer at heart, but a cowboy at skin. I even struggled to keep up to keep my accent on. You should try being a gamer, human. Maybe you could top my Mew Mew score. I hear one of the arcade machines used to be named Luckman. They changed it because, well, I'm sure you know why. Monsters kept scribbling the word bad in front of Luckman. Do you think they'll ever invent another video game? Kind of missed opportunity to only make three. Ah, 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 ah. <gasps> the guy! I'm not up to anything, I swear. Can't a monster appreciate a fence in peace? I'm so attached to these characters. Why? They're even. I was totally right about the positions too. Even the fucking squirrel. I was even right about the fucking squirrel, by the way. And yeah, Star sleeps always here. Right, Phil. I was totally fucking right though. You're so so smart. He's in a deep slumber. They're fast asleep. You press the mattress. He's talking and he's taking a nap. She's probably asleep. Probably. And let me guess, like, Star just like sits down on this couch and just watches cowboy movies all night. This this is like a found family type of thing. This is adorable. All right, Star, what do you got? Oh, <gasps> it's the foreman! And this weird smiling friends character. So you're the new kid, huh? I heard a toast while graving about you and all. Not to burst your bubble, but I could totally go toe to toe with you. I know for a fact I could win an arm wrestle with you right now, no training. If I wanted, I could snap all 13 of my fingers and get the deputy position. If that upsets you, I'm not sorry. Haha, <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't cross me if I were me. You have no arms. Don't be ableist, Phil. Bro, aren't you the big young to be hanging around here? Blah, 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 blah. Not to judge you or anything. I'm in town visiting my little Moray. My lonely wife, Angie, is running the mine while I'm away. Not sure how efficient my boys will be without me there, though. Anyway, it's a risk worth taking. Wait! Is she? Your daughter is like the... It's the one, the, 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 the fish cowboy girl part of, like, like of, of the gang, like your daughter? Angie often threats about Moray living down here. I've heard these wild east fellas are real serious about everything. Mori originally thought it, it is a being human-like pound. Said it was for a roleplay or whatever that was. Seems like it's shifted into something very different nowadays. I guess my kid is happy. Can't play too much. <laughs> <laughs> so... The fish people at the mines have a daughter and her, like, the daughter became part of the... The, fu the, 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 the five. The Furious Five. Welcome back, partner. We're about halfway done with your training. They grow up so fast. Ready to continue? Follow me. I fucking love that transition. You know the drill, team. Ain't no time to be lacing around. The Feisty Five. What the fuck happened to them? Oh, yeah, they're sleeping. Uh, hello? Where is everyone? Star, what is happening on the west of end of town? Huh? Would you care to explain? What? Is anyone in danger? Well, no, probably not. They are? 
By George! This must be an attack from a vengeful Virgil. What? Vengeful Virgil? Who's that? Saroba, come on! We drew his wanted poster last month. It's on the news board. I saw it. You helped me find the thumb thumb tags and everything. Uh. Oh yeah. Well, you better go and stop him then. What are you waiting for? That's the spirit. Let's put a stop to this, Clover. Mission three. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Vengeful Virgil. Huh. You sure you saw something troubling here? Look down. <gasps> what? <laughs> hey, I did not sign up for this. Get me out of here. Ed, keep it down. I need to focus. How in the heck will I solve this col colossal conundrum? Just untie them. And risk being tricked into a booby trap? Touching those ropes is exactly what Virgil wants. What? This is scary, Star. I'm afraid you must choose which track to- <laughs> Which track? <laughs> the train travel, Sean. Yeah, choose, Ed. Mooch, you're dead to me. Unless- Unless Star chooses you instead. Is this the fucking trolley problem? <laughs> That's cool, man. This is all too overwhelming. I can't do it. Then have Clover choose. Of course! Clover, don't have no emotional attachment to y'all. Should be simple. Don't you think this is a bit much? Nah, it's easy. Choose to leave the track as is. It won't be your fault, but many monsters get hit. Choose to change the track! It'll be by your hand, but only Ed gets hit. It is literally the, the trolley problem! Holy shit, I love this! Not as much of a sacrifice. What did, I do? what did I do to deserve this? We're out of time. If only we could have untied everyone. Fuck you! If only. You gotta choose now, Clover. <laughs> choose, Phil. Trolley problem live on stream. Alright, fine. Save the others, I guess. <laughs> uh! Clover, how could you? Is this about me carrying you earlier? Did it hurt you? Now, now. In defense of Clover. They just wanted to. They just <laughs> saved many lives. Guess that's true. Clover proved that they were willing to sacrifice to be a hero. Quite noble, don't you think, Saroba? <laughs> oh, these guys are so fucking stupid. I love them. I love them so much. Are you crying? I love this. Sorry, this is... It's been so fucking long since I since I felt like... Since I've played, like, an RPG of this fucking caliber. It's just like, oh, it's so good. Quite noble it's indeed. It's so fucking old. This was a test of your judgment. I'd say you passed, buddy. I'll be in the usual spot for your final task. Ha! Uh, huh. uh, <laughs> so you're around. Are you gonna leave them? Is anyone gonna untie us? <laughs> nah. -uh. Okay. Okay, my patience is only so strong, Clover. I hope you are not planning to actually stay here. This boss is up below you. Fuck you, Flowey. I heard you said that you make a run for it when the time's right. Try not to let yourself distracted from the real mission. Oh, 
Hold on a second. Yeah, no, I think we're good. Any anybody new? Oh, <gasps> Bunui! Hey, it's you again. Nice to see a face around here that's seen places other than this desert, huh? I live around these parts, but it's not always like this. The wild these is changing, something's in the air. North Star and his gang are doing their best, I suppose. Oh my god, the train guy! Oh hey, you're the human star brought to town. Apologies if I scared you back there. You see, I'm the only- I'm the best actor in all the Wild East! I warned Star I'd go all in. Poor Ed must have been terrified. The fucking train is in the fucking hospital. Is that the mug? <gasps> hey, what you look at that? If it ain't our fresh recruit. How's it going, kid? You giving out the shufflers a good name around here? You know, it's tough being a world-renowned gang leader. I gotta run around the underground every now and then. Make sure we're being properly represented, you know? You ain't getting respect like, like us by lazing around, kid. Alright, Clover, what you got? Howdy. Man, I am excited for this. Have you done everything you've wanted? Caught some bandits? Saved some lives? I think it's time to finish this chapter, boys! Pretty enough, uh, Phil, I think you might like this. Hmm? What is it? This. <gasps> this is perfect! I'm gonna show it on stream. Look at this beautiful piece of art. Ignore the flower in the background. What? Look at that beautiful cowboy. Oh, I like that the that the that the that the leather strip around the hat is like the the, the hair mouth as, as well. This game is oh, fucking you did, beautiful. Oh, the flower. Don't worry, don't don't worry, don't pay attention to the flower. Look at the cowboy though. Amazing. Thank you. Mm. Let's fucking go. You're not playing me enough. Final call. Let's get on over here. Are y'all ready? Actually, there's something we wanted to talk about. Yeah, about the general work environment. Maybe later. Let's keep moving. Ooh, they're getting really pissed at him, actually. So, Glover, I actually tricked you. There is no fourth mission. Well, there used to be, but we cut it out of the regiment. Anyway, you passed everything! You are now the proud deputy of this fine town. Wait, deputy? I thought this was for a normal... This was for a normal spot on the team. Clover is far too special and skilled for a normal spot. <laughs> Star, this is hardly fair. Life ain't always fair in the Wild East, bucko! Ooh. They passed their training like anyone else. That was training? We barely did anything. That last mission was especially awful. <sighs> Calm down, will ya? You're killing my good mood. I have to run the mines to get Clover's badge. I was too busy with everything that had slipped my mind. You five have fun. I'll be right back. Oh shit, we might get fucking... Mm. Oh, ah, that's just peachy. You're getting this attention and all. How come you waltz in here and Star instantly makes you a deputy? We didn't get this kind of treatment. We had to go through weeks of lasso lessons, lessons, lessons for short. For me to become part of the team, Star made me walk around with a snake on my boot for a week. It was rubber, but the rashes it gave me were unbearable. Yeah, he, uh, he made me big pocket monsters by the oasis. Star didn't make you do that. <laughs> I love her. Know what? 
This ain't fair to any of us. Clover needs a challenge. We need to see if they're truly worthy of joining our squad. Finally, some real excitement. Feisty Four, here we come! Ho ho ho! Finally! It's been a while since a duel. Ed. The Dream Team. So you're the new deputy, huh? And you shouldn't have a problem dodging this! Oh my fucking god! Oh my god! Calm down, bro! Moray leans on Ed to rest up. Distract. You point at the hospital frantically. They don't notice. <gasps> Hello? Hello, Clover? I'm very sorry about this, but I've been bored all day. And of course, just like Undyne, she also has a sword. Uh, Undyne has spear. Ah, uh, yeah, right. Smells like teamwork. Smirk. You smirk at the force antics. They're trying. Hmm. Good luck. Oh! Mori sharpens her their blade. You hold your ground while the chaos unfolds around you. Quit hogging, Clover! <gasps> it's my time to shine! Oh. Ace is practically is practicing sleight of hand. You smirk at the force antics. They're trying. Oh my god! Let's see if you can pass round two, kid! What the fuck? This is a complicated boss fight, okay. Nice attack, Edward. You're doing a good job as well, Clover. Ready for this? I, just, I remember this. Fuck! You throw sound into the air. Your clothes are dirty. No, no, quit holding back, everyone. Use your trump cards. Huh? Ooh. Fucking Jevil bullshit. Why is every single attack unique? Oh my god. Steady. You hold your ground. <gasps> Mori, let's team up for an attack. No, oh, I would be honored. Oh shit! Why is this actually the best fucking fight in Undertale history? Okay. Ugh, fuck! We ain't done yet. Get ready for my strongest attack. Oh, hey. Oh, man. What in the actual gosh darn tarnation is happening here? Oh. We felt your training was lackluster, so we gave Clover a real challenge. I'm disappointed in you for eight weeks of lessons for this? I ought to lock you away with feathers. Sorry, what's going on? 
You've been different. A real meanie. It's true. This hasn't been any fun. What are you all blabbering about? This is the most alive this town has ever been. Uh, why does everything have to be a spectacle, huh? I'm as the old North Star, the fearless leader. The monster who could make their own fun in the little things. This new star is selfish and reckless. Or should I call you by your real name? Ooh. Should I? Starlo? <sighs> What's with all the shouting? What's happening? Seems my posse don't respect me no more. It's not that. I just want you to take it down a notch. You kind of throw us around for this human business. That isn't what friends do, Star. I know what this is all about. Y'all just full of envy, overflowing with it. Clover shot circles around you and you just can't accept it. Clover has nothing to do with this, it's you. No, Star's totally right. Clover is super skilled at everything. In fact, I think they could carry the whole squad on their own. Who needs us when you got the powerhouse deputy? What are you saying? I'm saying that I'm done. I resign from the Feisty Five, okay? Really now? Ooh! It'll still be the Feisty Five without you, so go ahead. I'm leaving too. I don't want to work under a big-headed sheriff. Seems like life dealt you a bad hand, Star. I'm following them. Sorry, Star. Please work, work on yourself. Forgiveness is only one apology away. Oh! Fine! I was considering firing y'all anyway. Saroba, you understand, right? They're all being ridiculous. Starlo? Uh, They're right. Uh, you have changed a lot from the monster I once knew. Uh, I tried to brush it off as you having fun at first, but... Uh, this Wild East thing has damaged your personality. Uh, I want to see the real Starlo. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's North Star to you. <gasps> Can we leave? <laughs> Boxo says, Oh, his head is shaped like a star. <laughs> and I mean, yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's. Um, <laughs> um, okay, yeah. kind of awkward. Can we leave? <laughs> Everyone is gone. I got no posse, no friends. I. I need to think. I can fix this. I don't want to leave. What are you? I was afraid things would escalate. But I am not f f fully used to by now. This is probably a good time to get out of here. It's all gone the way too far, don't you think? <laughs> Whatever happens, I wish you luck, Clover. I kinda overheard what happened outside. I, I, I knew I shouldn't feel this way, but... Maybe you should go after the sheriff, Clover. I know he did some mean stuff, but he's out there all alone now. You've gained his trust, so maybe you could sort out the situation? And, uh, we still need him to let me out of here. Of course. Me, 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 
Leave me alone, I've had enough of this town. I swear no one here really gets me. No, they don't understand the level I'm at. I can stare at someone and they'll feel true fear. Well, not everyone. If you think you're so tough, then why don't you prove it, he said. Alright, yeah, maybe I misjudged how strong a left hook to the cheek could be. Yeah, maybe I should have taken on someone smaller, but it's all part of the plan. I wasn't even using all my power. Alright. <sighs> Even the music changed. I can't tell you about the whole train thing earlier. I love playing the villain, but I never considered how others felt. Oh! <laughs> Maybe in the end, that's what makes the real villain. Starlow. Starlow. Howdy. Is Hopman Starlow around to his parents or something? Looks like you will have to come for him. Do what you do best. I know it's written for you. Oh shit, here we go. Buddy? Buddy? Why did this happen? I did everything in my power to entertain. So monsters wouldn't have to worry about being stuck down here. At every turn I tried to cheer Saroba up. I just wanted Kanako off of her mind. I'm trying my best to honor her memory. Aren't distractions what's best for all of that? You. Why'd you follow me? Are you still my friend? Hold on. <gasps> this all happened after you showed up. Ed specifically mentioned you as the problem. That's right, I was just being a good friend. I, I fucking made, hate him. I made you who you are, yet this is what I get. Let's face facts. I couldn't keep you here forever, kid. Word would have gotten out that the feathers had, had been locked in, eventually. Feathers. Wait a minute. Royal guards like her have a ton of status. They gain that status by doing the king's work. I'm sure... I'm sure everyone would come back if I did the same. I'd be revered not only in the Wild East, but the entire underground! I'd... Clover? You've been an excellent deputy, but... As a lawman, what I'm about to do is embedded in my soul, my true duty. Don't make this difficult for me. That's Just bullshit. hold still. Let's fucking go. I know I'm better than this. A dignified sheriff would face their opponent fairly. However, you're no everyday bandit, so get ready! Hoppa! Okay! Starlow! The Almighty Sheriff. Huh, even tied up your skill. I'm sure... I sure have an eye for talents. Fuck! Starlow's lasso grips you tightly. You chomp and pull at the lasso, but it only gets tighter. Still. Part of me wishes that things could have stayed the way they were. Uh! 
Startle less and grips you tightly. You narrow your eyes and everything becomes letterboxed. <laughs> Why do you have to step foot in my town? Just a few hours ago, everyone was getting along. Now, well, we're here. Holy shit. Smells like leather boots. You squirm inside your leather cage to no avail. This is the only way to fix things. The only way I know. Quit squirming so much. Clover, you gotta understand. Oh, oh, oh. Starlow's fingers itch for a six shooter. Come on! Give it up already. Oh my god, <laughs> the train! <laughs> Fine, I didn't want to use this, but I got no choice. Goodbye, partner. Bitch. Stay still! I don't want to hit my lasso. Oh! <gasps> Maybe. Somehow. How can I do that? Oh, I see. Yeah! Look at what you made me do. That last was made from premium materials. Fuck you, my boy! No! No way! Outsmarted by a deputy? At least it's a fair showdown now. Time for a real duel! <laughs> duel! <laughs> I'm gonna miss our time together. I mean that. Starlo keeps two steady eyes on you. At first I was truly happy. I thought you were the real deal. Fuck. Fuck! Well, how are you doing worse when you're untied? The spider donuts! Don't worry, Spider did it. All my sacrifices, all the naysayers. Those didn't matter anymore because I had, because what I had was special. Fuck. Oh my God, the slow mo. Red Dead Redemption reference. But now I've realized the truth. The sheriff stuff. It's worthless. Holy fuck. How am I doing worse when I'm not tied up? Well, wow, this is what I told you. We all tout justice, but true underground status is only secured through pain. Monster Kind's hero is a title soaked in blood. <gasps> fuck! Oh, please! Starlow grinds his teeth together in frustration. Necklace? Can I use that? Eh, worth the shot, right? In the end. Oh, I get it, the pun. Worth a shot. I get it. There's no way that the necklace is gonna do anything! That's armor. Well, I do need some armor. I cannot use this item. Shoo. One. I have one left in my chamber. 
I'll make this count. <gasps> He's tearing up! Or he shoot himself? Don't say that! What? He was like... Surrender. Uh, can we do that? What? You lower your weapon and raise your hands. What? What are you doing? This isn't fair. Starlo, stop this right now. <gasps> Who have you become? Because this sure as hell isn't the Starlo I grew up with. Saroba. Now it's not a good time for this. Don't kick me while I'm down, please. I'm sorry, Star. I know this is weighing heavily on you, but listen. None of us hate you. The real you. We adore you. What we hate is this false, reckless persona you've created. I have my own baggage. We all do. I don't even know if I have a room to say this, but... Bring him back. Bring back the innocent farmer I once knew. I just wanted to be appreciated, revered by all. I was trying to provide a slice of the surface where we would have none. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not even telling you to quit running the town. Just don't let this identity consume you. It isn't healthy. Very well. Clover, I'm terribly sorry for attacking you. I do value your friendship and the time we've spent together. You have a very... have every right to make fun, but... Oh. <laughs> this is who I really am. I'm not a real sheriff. Just some nobody farmer. Wait, now I like him. Don't say that, Star. You may not be a real sheriff, but... You're the best sheriff I've ever known. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. As opposed to I'm kinda cool. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Darn right. But... This whole show wasn't only for some personal power trip. Hmm? I also did it to cheer you up. You might have wanted the old me, but I also wanted the old you. Because of Kanako. I I appreciate that, Star. I believe I have business to take care of relating to her. What do you mean? I must tell you something. I suppose Clover should know as well. As much fun it is to have duels and catch bandits, there's a pressing matter looming over me. Let's go to the old Steam Wars game. We'll speak there. Come on. I guess you're really part of the team now, Clover. You heard her. Holy fucking shit, this chapter! Clover, Clover! So... <laughs> do not, do not, do not, do not, please! Do fucking not! No, no, no! So, I have, no. I have good news and bad news. I'll start with the good! <laughs> Turns out, the wife of that old friend I told you about is here. Her name is Siroba. You probably met her already now that I think about it. <laughs> she broke my shell lock with a with a, with, with a fake magic stuff and let me go. I also made sure she knew I wouldn't tell Oscar about this. So now that that's taken care of, the bad news. 
I'm about to go back on my word, sadly. Get fucking called out, by the way. Wow. Girl failure! Girl failure! Girl failure! Wow. I know I just said that I wouldn't leave your side, but then, you know. This crazy detour happened, and I also realized I threw my job to the wind to travel with you, but since the imprisonment took up so much time, I have to go back. If I don't at least clock in, the royal guard will grow suspicious. Plus, Ava is totaled. It was their property. It'll only be gone for a moment. To f I'll only be gone for a moment to fix my mistakes. So Roba encouraged this decision, so don't worry. She told me that she would accompany you on the journey to Hotland. So hey, it all works out. Again, I am so, 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 so sorry about this, but... I'll see you later. Oh boy. Bye bye, bird brain. Shut up. <laughs> oh, that game read you like a fucking book. And that's the only one who howdy. Who's, who's saying this? Shh. Yeah, you're not gonna be a part of this, buddy. I mean, I'm not the only one who's saying, oh yeah, I have bad news and good news. At this rate, you will be able to convert and score himself. I think we're in the end game. Oh, <gasps> the fucking corn farmers! You attempt to turn the pump, but the handle won't budge. Sorry, can't take long. I'm preparing for my harvest. Must be one of those wild east folk. Hmm. No, I didn't say anything. Fucking corn! Welcome to Sunnyside Farm. Ain't much, but we call it home. My name's Solomon. You must be from Starlow's town, huh? I have mixed feelings about it all, if I'm being honest. The boy rarely talks to us. It's a shame. He probably thinks we hate his life choices, but that just ain't true. It's just a because of him that our farm stayed in business during the old drought. His little town attracted monsters to this area after most moved away. I believe deep down that saving the farm was his true motivation, I do. Aww. Hello there. Oh, hello, little one. Are you a friend of my son's? It's always making new friends. I can't keep up. In any case, make yourself at home. So this is the farm where Starlow came from. Ah, oh, yeah, I, I get it. Like the the fucking the moon and others. I thought. Yeah, the moon, the the the, the sun and the moon make the star. Huh? 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 I I've been huh? away for way too for way too long. A dirty hat similar to Starlow's rests on the rack. Always good to have a backup. A painting of a lush valley surrounded by mountains. This is fucking adorable. A picture of Starlow and Saroba as teenagers. <gasps> I love him. I actually love him as like boy failure way more. <laughs> <gasps> this is basically Undertale 2 for me. I'm sorry. I'm just legitimately I can't handle it. This Are you just, crying? It's just it's so fucking good. I just can't. <laughs> oh my god! This was his old kid room! A desk displaying Western memorabilia and sewing a sewing machine. The pieces of fabric under the machine have been left unfinished. A thick farmer's almanac written by Solomon sits on the dresser. It has been several sticky notes. It has several sticky notes poking out of its pages. A double decker rocket ship ready to blast off into pleasant dreams. <gasps> Yeah. Dude? This 
I have le legitimately. What the fuck? How is this so good? How is this so good? I know. Okay. I'm just having the best time right now. Do you want a break or something? No. All right. The sun and the moon make the star boy, and he goes on to become a sheriff in the town. Oh, <laughs> oh. There's another star. This one, like, this is probably his brother, right? Hmm. This is legitimately just Undertale 2. Like, there's no way. This is what I originally imagined an Undertale sequel to be like. <laughs> Hello there. Hello again, I have some news. You can now ship yourself, if you choose. Hi. Shop, shut up. Ship myself? Hi. What could that mean? Transportation, all for free. If you want, if you want to travel, give me a call. We will set to the skies without a care at all. No, I must go, but don't be nervous. Just ring the bell for our service. What? Ship yourself. No. <laughs> <laughs> the cellar is locked. Must be where the harvest is stored. This is just... Oh my god, this... Oh. Are you okay? Yes. I am. Hello, greetings, hip hip hooray. What can I do for you today? You have a watch? If you don't, that's fine. Because you know what time it is? Mail time! You receive mail. I truly hope you like your mail. As for me, I must set sail. I love you, pink whale! Dal- oh, We got a letter for Dal- from Dalv! Oh, Dave! Greetings, Clover. Life has been a treat since we last saw each other. I packed up all my belongings and set out for Snowden. Recently, I found a nice place to settle down. I think uh, you'll like it, haha. <laughs> and all of the neighbors moved out with me. I'm not too sure where one which each went, but I, I know they're doing very well. I also... I'm also taking art lessons from Penilla now. <gasps> Penilla! She gave me uh, the cold truth and said that my art needed lots of improvement. It stung at first, but then I remembered that you should always aim to improve yourself. Ah, look at me rambling again. I hope the mail service doesn't charge extra for that. It was nice to talk to you again, even if it's over written text. Please visit me in the future. Life is getting a lot better. This game is good for the soul. Where in the world would you like to fly? Just choose a place on the UPS sign. You can go to Wild East, Snowden, Dunes, and the Oasis Valley. Oof. <laughs> I am not gonna do the genocide route. Are you fucking kidding me? Wait, why? I love this character so too much. There you are. I was about to come looking for you. So, the steam works. What the fuck? May I ask why we're here? Because of this. <gasps> That's a fox mask. The mask Kaneko made for you. Yes. You see, Clover, Kaneko is me and Chujin's only child. <gasps> Chujin is your father! You 
haven't seen her around because she... Hey, everything's gonna be okay. I know how tough you are. You can move past this. I'm positive. There's no need, because she's alive. I feel her presence. As we speak. The lab. Precisely. Clover, you may not know this, but there- <gasps> Oh, no, 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 Final chapter, let's go! Ooh! Clover, you may not know about this, but there is a lab in Hotland. An inquiry for the fallen down! Was set down some ago! Some time ago! I didn't know what else to do. In my time of despair, I sent Kanako with them. It's been far too long! <laughs> I must travel to the lab to find out where my daughter is. Oh, 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 okay. What are you, what, are you okay? Okay, exposition what time. Exposition time. Why is everyone so freaking out? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I know you're not an Undertale fan, so I will explain this in the best way possible. Mm -hmm. There is a lab in mm -hmm. Hotland that you yeah, did we're not husband. No. There's what? a there's a true laboratory inside of Hotland that you did not go to in your Undertale playthrough. I didn't. And some fucked up shit happened there with people's corpses. Some uh. dead monsters were sent out by their families in hopes that they will be able to be revived by the experiments that happened in the true lab. What? Like her. She sent out her daughter into the true lab in hopes that she would get help. Uh -huh. They didn't come out right. And we're gonna have to go back in there again now. That is pretty much like the darkest chapter in the original Undertale. Oh no. You've been in a rut lately. It was tough to watch. I am not fucking ready for this. So why travel through the Steamworks particularly? It's the quickest route from Hotland to Hotland from here. Nothing but abandoned rooms, as far as I know. I have Chujin's old passcodes for any locked doors as well. Solid plan. If you need me, I would be happy to accompany you. I don't know how ugly things may get at the lab. You need to stay here and take care of the town. I believe you owe your posse an apology. You're right. I'll take Clover with me. They've proven to be skilled on several fronts. An excellent choice. I trust Clover to deliver your to deliver justice out there. All right, we've discussed enough. Let's get moving. All right, time to see some melting monsters. I'll see you later, Starlo. Whatever happens. Remember that this is for Chujin's legis legacy. Oh, Clover, before you go, uh, I forgot to give you this. You got the deputy badge! Right, he went to get at the mines. Despite a few hiccups, our little adventure was a blast. I'll be seeing you around, partner. Fuck you. I love you. Yeah! I'm so proud. Oh. 
Time for the end game, boys. Remember, I'm in charge. Stay close by, and we'll reach our destination soon. A broken but dazzling necklace. Can't be worn, but could be worth something. What the fuck is this necklace for? I'm still gonna keep it, but... Uh. Also, he didn't actually give me the badge as something I can wear. Fair enough. God, the fucking jump scare when I fucking read the word lab. I still don't get it. Y'all get it. If this, if this game is still as consistently good as it has been like, a, like for a few hours, you'll get it. We don't have all the time in the world. I see something. Follow me. Like, in any other fan game, this would be, like, a cheap, like, reference to the original game. But this game has more than earned this. You know what I mean? You've more than earned this moment. Guess I should have expected this. In its prime, this was the main power source to the underground. That, obviously, was many years ago. Until we breathe life back into this thing, we can't progress. There's some kind of console here. Maybe one of Chujin's codes will work. Give me a second. In the meantime, you can wait over in the corner or something. Can I show you the necklace, maybe? Cannot use this item. Okay, so we're not at the true lab yet. We are still at the steamworks. But the steamworks should connect to the true lab. What? Oh, no, not one of these puzzles. Uh... Oh! Okay, thank god. It was not like a Resident Evil one. <laughs> RE2 remake flashbacks. <gasps> that looks like such a true lab fucking door, holy fuck! I don't get it. Is You'll get it. Okay? No, it's not. Eh? Wait, how the fuck can this also be here? <laughs> okay, whatever. Why are there hearts everywhere? I almost got it. Didn't think this would actually work. I'm doing all the work for you, bitch. Oh. <gasps> Now that you're mom, you're wasting your time, buddy. I am kind of scared about you now, because... Ooh, I don't think you're going to be happy going into the true lab. The way these monsters have only brought you misfortune. I feel like following that latest order won't end any differently. I am actually... Like, okay... We're gonna go into the true lab, and I have no idea how Flau is gonna react to that. Especially with that lab business. 
Let's try your best to... Oh, thanks a lot. And, you know, that gets sidetracked. Hopefully we can talk soon. Good luck, Clover. Ah, 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 ah. No, not happy, not happy, not happy. No, 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 no. Not happy with that one. A pair of cargo jeans is stuck to the table. It's been there for a while. The smell of the old, unwashed clothes makes you feel queasy. The chute is clogged with strange-looking plants. <laughs> Doors jammed shut. You find a stick of beef jerky inside the machine. You got the beef jerky. You peer inside the chamber. Far too dark to see anything. Far too dark. Okay. <laughs> Where are we? I left at the boss fight because I had to go do things. We are going to the true lab! What? I know, right? Oh, shit. Lady? It's working. Wait, what have you been up to? Oh, I wasn't actually doing anything this whole time, was I? Ugh, alright. You're clearly more capa capable of problem solving. I suppose you should lead the way from now on. Just head west from here and we'll eventually re reach Hotland. What is this fucking synth wave? Turn this shit up, boy! Steam what luck. Turn the power on and the whole facility goes insane. Since you're now the leader and all, how about you run ahead and turn the steam off? I think I see a switch over there, so no problem, right? Don't worry, I'll catch up. Back to this shit. Come on there! See? No sweat. This is beautiful! I like this place. Reminds me of a... of a... of a area what in was, one what shot. Was running, what was running on top? I have no idea it could be literally anything. Excellence in Engineering. Award Dr. Rutherford Oscar. Decency in Engineering Award, Professor Daniels. You tried in Engineering. Award Mr. Chujing Ketsukane. Uh, he never told me he won an award. Uh, I'm proud of him. Aww. Greatness in C. You can't make out the rest. What? Oh. Axis model 014 ready to guard and protect. Intruder spotted. Steamworks Eastern Branch. Wait, who are you? Axis Model 14, ready to guard and protect. Just said that. My vocabulary is exp not expansive, ma'am. 
Okay. Well, I wasn't expecting anyone to be here. If you let us through, we'll be out of your hair. One, I do not have hair. Two, I cannot allow you to pass. You have trespassed on private property. You have also utilized machinery without permission. We're just heading to Hotland. We aren't malicious in the slightest. It was us who woke, this, who woke up this place. Isn't it nice to have power? Well, it is nice to be operational again. It is also not nice. I am the last of my kind to police this area. All of my comrades have rusted over. I always knew that I was the best, but I am also lonely now. Oh well. I will now trap you in a cold, dark room for which you might perish. My husband, Chujin, used to work here. I have permission. Don't make me hurt you. Haha! Uh -huh. Chujin? <gasps> my creator? Huh? Sorry, I do not see him present. Goodbye. Uh. Wait! <laughs> I love that every time that Clover falls down or gets grabbed, it's just like a fucking squeaky toy. Can't say I was prepared for that. I knew my husband was an engineer, but he never told me about that guy. He mentioned a robotics project. He could net him a promotion, but... He stopped talking about it after he quit his job here. Ugh. I would have used force to bypass Axis, but I'm not sure how. He may be the last remnant of Chujin's talents. It would be best if we could just avoid him from now on. In any case, we're pretty lucky that he's the only guard butt around. Wait a second. I have an idea. He mentioned how he was lonely, right? But what if we fix that? We use scraps lying around here to forge him a companion. He doesn't seem too, too bright after all. Maybe that's all we need to distract them. How about that? What do you think? Great. It's the best plan I could think of. So... We seem to be in some sort of storage room. Look around for parts we can use. Shouldn't take many. <laughs> you want to use this? We only three more objects. Oh fuck yeah. Two more and we can make this thing. Hold down. Oh! <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> we we both Hello. saw it. Hello, kitty. Hello, kitty. Is this a good pick? Definitely. Yes. One more object should do the trick. Mm. A TV. Is this your final choice? Okay, let's build a robot. <laughs> Oh my god, it actually kind of kind of works though. Hold on. I want to have a kitty robot. Can you put a Hello Kitty ball in it? Absolutely. Coming Yay. right up. Okay, let's see if you remember Hello Kitty's ball placement. <laughs> you can rotate it. No. No, you can. Let's go. Let's go. All done? It's simple but recognizable. Not bad. Oh wow, it actually kind of looks like it. That takes care of that. You're kind of creative when you push come to shove. All due respect to Chujin's work, but this might just fool Axis. I'll hold on to it for you. Let's get out of here, yeah?
could have also used the clock. The vent has a few screws loose. You finagle it open. Can't say that was fun. Let's be extra cautious from now on, okay? Fuck. Why is everything so orange? Pink. Oh. Another robot? Scrub a dub dub. Sewage in the tub. No way, we can't fight this thing. What if Chujin built. You know what? We'll talk later. Let's find a peaceful way around them. Ah! I'll do my best to provide defenses for us. Hygiene is not there. It's not in their vocabulary. Scrub a dub dub. Switch in the tub. Fucking hell! What? What? <gasps> Slippery! Oh! Look! <laughs> uh. Question. You ask Jandroid, Jandroid what their primary directive is. To rent the underground of soap. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Smells like poor choices. Clean. You offer to give Jandroid a scrub. They seem offended. This guy would fucking hate Oshawad. I mean, Washawad. I forgot the name of the original monster in Undertale. Washa something something. Ew! Soap? Washua. There we go. This guy would fucking hate Washua. Ugh, it's a dead end. Looks like we're gonna have to. Ooh! The floor is lava, travelers. I am sorry to say I failed the game some time ago. However, you do not have to. I will ferry you across the lake. This bot doesn't seem malicious. That's new. I say we give it a, give it a go. Thank you for your trust. With my help, the floor will not be lava. It will just be a floor. Oh my god! Shit. This is so stylish! There we go. The topmost paper is a handwritten letter. To King Asgore. This project, while exciting, will be quite the undertaking. We will need mining code to provide... to work overtime to provide the necessary materials. Furthermore, a meeting was conducted at the factory. I'm happy to report that everyone is on board. There already are many great robot ideas floating about. Cooking, cleaning, recreation... The motivation is through the roof! Though one engineer suggested we take this further with a protection bot. I am quite unsure about that proposition, but you have the final say. That is Chujin. In any case, we will see this completed. Professor Zen. Deltarune-like. Yeah, this is bordering on, like, Deltarune-ass quality. Someone fucking hire these people. To make something official, please! Watch a step. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. I still have 11 health. Flow is not gonna be much of much help here, is he? You don't have- you need to have skill if you can just beat your head against the problem. No. If it works, it works. 
Yeah. Mm hmm? I didn't even know I we needed to do that. This is actually way better than the final area of Undertale, actually. Is <laughs> the, the final one? The final one is... The core. This is like a more funky neon version of the core. <gasps> no, I'm, asking, it's, I'm asking if this one is the final one. This is the final one, yes. I mean, it just kind of feels like it, you know? Are you lost? A little bit, but don't worry, I can find my way home. There we go. Oh my god, it's right there. This game surpassed Deltarune in terms of mechanics. Dude, this is this is just Undertale 2 for me. I think this is like an improvement. Obviously, the characters of Deltarune are like iconic, but like the, the set of this cast is just like so fucking good. I can't wait to see, like, an entire fucking fan art community develop around this. Alright, can't really do anything around here. Why did we chose Yellow Soul, specifically? Because the Yellow Soul is the Soul of Justice, which is the second coolest one, apart from the Terminal- <gasps> Mo! It's your boy! Mo! How'd you get here? I got contacts, all right? Eyes all over the ground. Enough chit chat, though. It's business time! As you know, I'm always scudding around for the next big thing, right? Right? So I was on my way here and spotted a bunch of glowy plants on the wall. First thought that sprung to mind? Taste them! And I'll let you, and I'll tell you what, that stuff hit me like win. Best cuisine y'all has ever experienced, truly. His head is on fucking fire. Huh. You got something? I ain't done with the pitch yet, miss. This is important. But, like I was saying, <laughs> like I was saying, plants more like pleased. I even molded them into recognizable food shapes that Vis that for visual appeal. Oh. <laughs> visual appeal is half the battle, I'd say. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna buy you a product if it looks ugly, right? <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> this is fine. But you would. I know it. Oh, Mo can always count on your business. <laughs> you okay? Never better! Now, where's my stand? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, uh... Have a few products left in my pocket. Don't go yet! Here's what I got. Moss salad. Flour stew, grassy fries. Okay, we have to buy the moss salad. Ew. You got some moss salad. Appreciate it. I will come back for you later, Mo. You're great. Wait. Oh, we can't even go around here? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Got it. Was that a Delta Rune reference? You have reached your destination. Thanks for the help. Let's keep moving, Clover. If you need another ride, I'll be here. Moe's hat is now trading for 210 keys. <laughs> oh, 
fuck. Oh shit, you actually look quite threatening. Escaped convict spotted. Steamworks office branch. <laughs> Fucking run! Why you leave me? What happens if he catches us? <laughs> Clover, the lockers! Follow me. I like that one, it's like slightly smaller for Clover. Oh. Thank you, Shy Mike. How? Shitty AI. This guy means business. My husband was one hell of an engineer. I just wonder why he kept all of this from me. Could have just left some sort of off switch, right? The robot. I totally forgot about the, our plan. Oh, sorry, next time we see Axis, we'll try it for sure. <gasps> Found ya! Oh. Axis, oh. uh. hold on a second. One. Uh, one million seconds! I do not have the knowledge to count that high. What is this about? I have a surprise for you, a special one. I will admit, you have my attention. Proceed. I have for you your uh, very own robot companion. A sleek, top-of-the-line model. No. Not in the mood. <laughs> My eyes are only set on your appre apprehension. Goodbye. No! You're making them cry, Axis! Come on now! Robots cannot cry. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, it was worth a shot. Plan C it is. Ooh! I am immobile. If you want without surprise, it wouldn't have gotten messy. Do not mock my judgment. I will return to capture you. With new hands! <laughs> bye bye asshole! Oh. Oh, I'm spent. Next chair we see, I'm taking a breather. Guess the robot didn't work. There you go. Definitely what I needed after that, all that madness. Oh, little guy. I wonder what Starlow's up to right now. Probably on some feisty, feisty five quest with a smile on his face. I do envy him to be wrapped in optimism and fantasy. Most might act cheerful, but life down here, it's hopeless. That's why they look to the king for reassurance. They believe once he gets seven souls and breaks the barrier, he'll easily be able to overthrow whatever awaits on the surface. A rather foolish outlook, if you ask me. Who knows how the humans have prepared for retaliation since then? But I digress. We should handle our own problems first. I can't imagine what Kanako's going through right now. Yeah, about that. You haven't seen my Kanako yet, have you? 
Here, take a look. Oh! Look, girl. Look at that smile. Definitely her father's. Gifted like her father, too. She's a... She didn't deserve this life. I truly wish things could be different. But that's not what fate had planned. I apologize for my vagueness. I prefer to keep bad memories to myself. Anyway, the lab shouldn't be far from here. <sighs> we will get to the bottom of this, Clover. In the meantime, you can scout ahead. I'm gonna go rest a bit longer. <laughs> Vendy model, zero one, scanning customer. Unauthorized child detected. Go away. Why, why, why? Your attitude. Code line 327. If a customer determined unauthorized, treat them with the utmost disrespect so that they will not buy up the company's snacks. My disrespectful state was initiated when I scanned your doll face. Bring a Steamworks employee ID next time to experience hospitable mode. Until then, you may still purchase items, but I will tear you up, tear your self-esteem apart while you do so. Loser. <laughs> the Steamworks, what about it? The Steamworks are only the finest in monster science and engineering. No big deal or anything. Structures built from the toughest steel and the greatest minds, sure to stand the test of several millennia. Searching for a more advanced facility would be like searching for the corner of a circle. With quality machines such as myself at every turn, lives are improved every day. The Steamworks. Tomorrow means the surface. Oh! I am not a propaganda machine. My creator made sure to specify that. Access. Searching for access in the database. Access. Latest model. 014. It's a robot built to act as a royal guard. Production goal. Create an army of access robots to protect monster kind from humanity. Production status. Discontinued. That is all of the information I have on this robot. If I were to be helpful, which I will not be, I will tell you to ask an engineer in the factory wing for more information. Where is the factory wing? I cannot tell you. You're not authorized. Not that I trust you to find it out on your own, since you are, in fact, an idiot. My god. My snacks are up to the highest teamwork standards. I ensure the employees' designated mealtimes are as enjoyable as possible. Because of my popularity, I often run out of inventory to which my creator restocks every Monday at 8. That reminds me. My last boot up was yesterday. It was a Sunday. Dr. R.O. should be stopping by at any minute ma now. I simply cannot wait. Oh, I have a bad news about that, buddy. But that is none of your business now, is it? I cannot buy any of these. Yes, buy. Thanks for nothing. Jesus! An old bottle with no message inside. The message is clear. Ah. Uh... Ah. Yeah, talk to me. <gasps> Still? Watch it, Clover. We don't want to alert any outsiders, especially workers under Ascor, like the UGPS. Your mail will have to wait. Put my mail. Okay. No mail. Howdy. Boy, am I glad that Fox ID got your own for you for a bit. The people I have to talk to my pal has been a torture. I am so fucking scared of you. Now, I know. Throw up you into the lab to her, but... Come on. Captive monsters? Talk about a conspiracy net. 
Ooh. I mean, it's like you don't want to follow my advice. Remember your real mission, Chloe. The five children you set out to find in the first place. How do you know that? There's no need to visit that teeny lab, you know. Us are still out there, threatening human lives. Keep your head in the game. This is our journey, not Saboris. Sarobus. Sarobus. Hey, what up? I think I'm ready to go back into things. Lead the way. I wonder if we're gonna have a choice between listening to Flowey and listening to Saroba. Whoa! Gusek has come to share some tunes. Gusek. Music drives the mood. And now for our sponsor, Bullet Patterns. Ah, oh, shit. Not this again. What? Oh, I had a shield. Ow. I think it's Saboras. Oh, sir. What was her name again? Saboras. Saboras. Like magic or whatever. You move Gusek's needle to a new, calmer record. Wait! I. Oh? Music blast battle music from its beak. You close your eyes and tap your foot to the music. Music joins you. This is nice. Gusek is lost in the music. More steam, fantastic. One more time, Clover. You got this. Just fucking rush through everything, fuck it. Fuck it. No hit, no hit, no hit! No hit! Fuck. Oh, nice! That last part was clean. Oh! Hello? I like this place. Uh, Holy! Uh, what happened here? I hope this stuff is okay to touch. Oh god, is this is not what I think it is, Ryan? Is that mold? Various types of plants sit within several containers. The smell is unnatural. Is this all monster dust? Hmm? You peer into the box and find a bucket of nails. You got the nails. Nails. Small pointed pieces of steel. Could be, could be quite effective if fired at high velocity. I mean, sure, we can load them in, I guess. A grown over bot. They're much more silent than you're used to. To Science Division. Employees have reported the generator is showing more wear than ever. The engineers predict the machine won't last longer than one year from now. I need you to speed up the testing of alternate power sources. The underground depends on him. Head office. To head of office. More tests are underway, both biological and mechanical. We don't know which direction will ultimately best be best for monster kind yet. However, the chemistry lab did have a breakthrough regarding a white plant. I'll get back to you on that once further testing has commenced. Science division. 
to head office. I think we've got it. The white plants have proven able to generate electricity at a fantastic rate. The only issues are that they grow four times faster than normal flora. And once their power is drained, they wilt into a dark, sticky substance. If this is greenlit, we will need a new division to tend to these plants. Otherwise, working conditions will suffer greatly. Science division. The plants should suffice as a temporary solution. I've heard one of our top scientists is working toward a new compound. One made from a special energy. <gasps> That's determination. It could be the key uh, we need. Uh huh. Much more time is necessary to develop it properly, however. Wait! Are these the determination experiments? As for the proposed greenhouse division, I have an idea. Cheaper, more efficient, and trustworthy. I'll send you some blueprints shortly. Thank you for your time and research. Head office. Is that a turkey leg? A grown over robot. <laughs> you notice a small hat resting on top of them. Oh! Rolled up blueprints lie in the box. We take a look. Gardener. Appear inside the box. Nothing of interest here. You appear inside the box. Nothing of interest. Oh shit. I'm sorry. Shit. What was that? I. Hello? Am awake. Oh. Oh. Gardener model O2. Status damaged. Oh, hello there. Was it you who disturbed the floor? Ah. Uh, I ask you to please have more respect. Uh, we apologize. Won't happen again. Do not worry. Seeing that the child is so young, it is forgivable. I will report the incident as a level 303. Eh. Uh, level 10 offense. Level 10 means the termination of the trampler. Uh, hey! Uh, farewell. Uh, Ooh. Uh, Ooh. I'm stuck, Clover. I need to find a way out of this fast. How the actual fuck Gardener slams her arms into the floor in agitation. Oh, I can cut the things. I have incapaci incapacitated your options. I ask you to cooperate with me. Oh my fucking god, oh my god. Gardener looks down upon you, twitching slightly. Accept your offense, Trampler. Shit! 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 You must learn that plant life is important. More important than you. I am so fucking dead. Smells like lawnmower clippings. If you do not yield, I will call for backup. Okay, that was an easy one. What? You are a handful. I'm gonna count to three. Rest him, bitch. Bah! I had to stop right there! <laughs> 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 this bot made me this tough, but you're tough, tougher. But you're tougher. Fuck! That's the bot where you came from. This is a nice gimmick! 
Holy shit! Act. You must learn that plant life is important. Oh, come on! Gardener. Attack 12. Traps offenders for easy apprehension. That is... <laughs> Great hostility is blossoming. <laughs> Fuck! Oh no, not this. <gasps> Come on! Rest in peace. Oh, not that attack! Oh no. Who knew a robot could be so cold by it? Oh, just cold. This thing's getting even weirder. I don't know. Okay, this might be the first tough fight of the fucking game. Mercy? Okay, just. Free up the item box just in case first. Learn the pattern! Learn the pattern. Not that bad once you learn it. One. Okay. Okay. Why the fuck? Arrest him, bitch. God, I can't really use the spare option, can I? Fuck it, the golden cotton. No. Beef jerky. Yeah! Calling him back up. Oh, <gasps> hello there! You call for help, gardener? Correct. This trampler does not value the greenhouse. What is the offense level, miss? Termination. Level 10? I mean, of course. We are sorry, offender. Gardener serves you to serve termination. They know. I just said that. So, attack! It's only getting worse. Don't stop your efforts to free us. This is cute as fuck. Oh, they have a gun. A tiny little gun. Keep it up. Fuck. Fuck. Please stay in your confines. What? Alright, one more button to go. That's <laughs> Moss salad. You brace yourself and eat the moss salad. The texture can only be described as <laughs> insulation esque. Holy fuck! Almost there, one more.
they're not even like throwing it at you. They're just throwing it out of the bucket. Way to go. I'll do what I can do to help us escape for good. Cleverly done. You have gained my respect, but you have not gained my mercy. Bots, attack! Oh shit, thank you! What? Adequate job. Thank you for your help. Oh, she's so sweet! Give us a call anytime. Even just to hang out or something. Or not. It's not a big deal. Offense level. Antagonize. You criticize Gardner for bugging out and attacking you. This does not help anyone. Just you and I again. It is too bad I cannot grow tired. For you, that is. Shit, I have to use the coffee now. SP? Oh, you missed it. Seriously, man. Hey, it's okay. Here, a flower to cheer you up. Oh. Oh, thanks. Mind if I attack a little? By all means. Oh my god! He has a gun! Yeah! Run! This guy has a little gun! <laughs> plead. You plead with Gardener, and it seems to have an effect. Offense level lowered. Fucking grenades! You're so dead. I am. Okay, the coffee's really helping though. After that, the head office will give you an award. Excellence in ruining Garner's day. Deserved. Oh, that was fast. Rest in peace. Shit, fuck. This a tough battle. Okay, phase one and phase two. Okay. Just not, just don't get hit. You already know the patterns of the phase one. Not that big of a deal. Free the item first to make sure that you can heal. Most of these attacks, as long as you learn the gimmick, you can mostly get by on scathe. Fucking hell, every time. This one fucked me up a lot. Fuck! Oh, fuck. I love these little guys. Heal. Moss salad. <sighs> All right, doing good.
Yeah, no, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. We just have to... We just have to watch out for the little boy with a gun. This is fucked. Plead. We just have to survive a couple more turns. Maybe. Oh no, not this asshole! There's just a little guy with a gun! He's pulling the Glock out! <laughs> Uh, fuck this! Good. Two... One... Wait. You... Oh! Oh! What happened? There seems to be a gap in my memory code. I'm sorry. Ooh, I think that did the trick. You're pretty clever in intense situations. I'm impressed. Yeah! You won! That's a cool ass monster. I was about to do something. Oh yes, I remember. Sending level three report. Response negative. I apologize, allow me to call again. Hello, creator? Are you there? I believe my creator may be playing a practical joke on me. Signaling Steamworks head office. The line you're contacting has been disconnected. Where is everybody? Oh, I have allowed immense overgrowth. I understand. It seems my day has passed. Cancel report and reinitiate hibernation. Oh. I am sorry f for inconveniencing you. I do not know what the world is like now, nor do I wish to. Oh, no! Life was much better. Not knowing. Keep moving. Don't step on the flowers. Good fight, though. Whoa, hello. What? Telly Vest tunes in. Can't live with or without one another. <laughs> uh, it's pretty good. Go nap. You begin to drift off to the dismay of Telly. Hey, buddy, I'm still here. What? Those fancy little lines. You know about them, right, Phil? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> You begin to drift off to the dismay of Telly. But you're still here! 
Oh yeah, well you talk how you used to watch something and those like call what the set tapes I believe. VHS tapes. You helped Tully finagle her antennas <laughs> to find some programming. <laughs> Just what I needed. <laughs> Bitch. This reminds Telly what time his favorite show airs, but she only makes fun of him. Telly finds a show she thinks you'll love. Look at him go! Huh. The little man is going at it! Holy shit, he did a backflip! Telly Vess, hope you enjoy the program. Hmm? Uh, Two paths. Uh, Hold on. Uh, That's simple. Uh, I've seen it on Chu Jin's work uh, uniform. Let me try one of his codes. Uh, nope. Uh, Ugh. Uh, I only have one left, but I've already used it. Uh, Here it goes. Hey! The universal success sound effect of the of the Undertale universe. Seriously? Same code as the Dunes game? With this kind of security, no wonder Axis is so vigilant. After you. Using the same quote twice, motherfucker. Oh, hey. Hello? Rusted through. The sign says, if the receptionist is unreceptive, check with the robot control station three floors up. Robot control station. Clover, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, you sound out? Listen! If there's some sort of breaker box for all the robots in the area, you can shut Axis down and get to the hotland as planned. It's worth investigation at least. Wishing everyone a productive final workday. Huh? Feel free to take pictures with your creations, as they must be left behind. As always, thank you for your contributions to the Steamworks. A robotceptionist, frozen in time. It holds an expression of melancholy. Tomorrow means the surface. Good morning, Stairworks employees! Hope you're ready for another day of productivity! Today, we are boxing and shipping goods out into the underground. Uh, hello? Are you sentient or pre-recorded? Hello, new hire! Yes, I am fully sentient. Trapped in this two-dimensional rectangle for all eternity. Right. Can you unlock all the doors of this factory? We are in a hurry. Sorry, but each morning we do a little thing called... EARN YOUR FREEDOM! Complete a full shipment and you'll be on your way. What the fuck kind of policy is that? When there's a quota to meet, ethics go out the window! <laughs> Haven't you worked a job before? Did <laughs> a little company reference? Of course, but I don't work here. So you're trespassing? And that- oh, okay, fine, we'll do the job. Clover, this bot might have connections to Axis. Seems like we gotta do what it says to avoid unwanted attention. You can work this thing, right? Push the start button and we'll get it right over with. Okay, I don't really know what that means. What are you doing? Put the red items in the red boxes, and the blue in the blue boxes. 
three strikes and you're out. Your machine's broken. The second conveyor belt doesn't even move. No. Yes? No. Screw this. <gasps> Clover, you box the goods and I'll toss them into the chute. Teamwork, right? Something like that. Let's give it a shot. Hmm? Blue. Red. Blue. Blue. Red. Red. Nothing. Blue. Red. Blue. 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 Oh, that was it? Shy Mike donates two dollars and says, "The Kara smile, Kara smile, Kara smile." Oh, it's just a normal smile. Get over it, dude. All right, onto whatever awaits us next. There was a human-shaped lamp. I didn't even notice it. Ah, oh, fuck. Fun. Hello again. The shipment is almost complete. One final step, and you may have the passcode to the exit. All you- Yep. Sword colored packages. Got it. Pretty obvious. Look who paid attention, learning colors in preschool. <sighs> Not by choice. I'll take the drop chute on top. You man the platform. Good? Good. Hmm? Ready? Here goes nothing. Oh. 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 Wait, what is she doing? I'm just doing all the work. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Oh, fuck, shit. Oh, fuck, 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 oh, can't spell it without steak either, but that has absolutely no bearing on the situation. Let's see how you did. Aw, oh, you barely scrapped by, but that's what performance reports are for. Fuck this machine. Hey, it isn't our fault that the system is so impractical. Why does it take two giant steps to ship a few packages? Why can't we sort the colors when boxing them in the first room? Beats me! <laughs> you know, but for being built by such great minds, the Steamworks are pretty awfully convoluted. It takes a MASSIVE IQ to understand the complexities of the Steamworks. Your brain probably isn't even advanced enough. Says the wall-mounted GIF comprised of three pixels. You know what? You can take your little pat- <laughs> Ah, oh, just give us the code. Of course. The passcode is 1779. Got it? 1779. Yeah, thanks. No, thank you, employees. Thank you for making the underground a little brighter. Fuck this guy. Ah, fuck. Metalworks Emergency Escape Plan, or MEEP. In case someone sets the room on fire, do not use the elevator. 
evacuate down to floor 01 or use a passcode to access floor 03. Uh huh. They really looked this place up tight. Well, if the code was found nearby the first floor, let's take a look around. 60G sits abandoned in the machine. Take it, y'all! Yeah. Holy shit, I'm fucking rich! There you are! Oh, You seriously want to do this again? Yes. Remember the explosion that incapacitated you? Yes. I retrieved brand new hands. I am unstoppable now. Look at some- Shush. Do not resist arrest any longer. Stand still and let my handsome hands shine. <laughs> Fuck. Hey, Clover, this way. My vision. Initiating super flashlight. Stealth sequence. Typography box hindered. What do you mean? Oh. This is most un- This is bad. Oh well. Unlike them, I have eyes. Stealth sequence. Okay. Need to stay out of his view and keep quiet. What are you? <laughs> I love this bitch. As I was saying, there's gotta be a code around here. Once you find it, head for the exit. That's my girl. Hell yeah. Rusty machine, one's used for shaping gold ore into coins. Doesn't seem to be functional. <gasps> Fuck. Why, why, why? A large collection of familiar stones. Unfortunately, nothing in the pile catches your eye. An empty elevator. Shaft lies before you. <gasps> oh my god! How? A2 D3 B3 C4 2, 4 2, 4 Three... Three? Uh, Shit! Oh, two... Three. Two, two, four, three, okay. No, two, three, four, three. Two, three, four, three. Nice! Thank you, Azazel. No, thank you, Chad. Let's head upstairs. Fuck this guy! How have you been doing these days? Not so good. I could say I only speak in 15 characters max back there. It's kind of bummed me out. I'm sorry to hear that. Glad you got your full speech ability back. Thank you. I do like talking. Wait. Wait! Are you trying to distract me from my mission? No. Oh, okay. Can I ask you a question involving the security of the Steamworks? Yes, I am security expert. Why is it that some doors require a passcode to unlock, and others require a Steamworks ID? <laughs> Two-factor authentication. Huh. That's not how it works. Yay! Cool. <laughs> Almost there. <gasps> Look, it's the Windows 98, like, tube screensaver. Workstations. Oh, you're so old. Shut the fuck up. Okay, well, <laughs> probably another code to find. You know the drill.
You're awestruck by the absolute pipe pandemonium on display. How do they do it? An old PC sitting on two desktops. The image on the screen gives you a nostalgic feeling. <sighs> an old PC sitting on two desktops. Many sticky notes are posted around the smashed in PC. We've placed your computer. We've replaced your computer six times now. Please control your temper. It's just solitaire. The note on the powered off PC reads The future is bright. Hang in there. Downsizing imminent. But definitely not for the employee who's reading this. You're doing a great job! It must be the manager's office. Surely they had access to all the passcodes. Let's check those file cabinets. Hold on, look here. Performance reports for all factory employees. A, B. Oh, January 16th. Mr. Chujin pitched his blueprints for a guard bot of sorts. He called the project Axis. March 19th. Axis model was presented to King Ascord, but was swiftly rejected. The poor thing couldn't stay powered up for more than six seconds. May 10th. Axis model 04 backfired and shot one of its gloves at the king. This is getting embarrassing. July 23rd. Axis model 07 refused to enter the throne room. Asgore gave Chujin one more shot after incessant pleading. I know he's a smart engineer, but if the next showcase goes south... Nine twenty-three. Well, this is it. Model 08 booted up and seemed to be stable for a moment. That was until a malfunction occurred and sparks began to emit from the body. In the chaos, one spark leaped onto King Asgore's- <gasps> Leaped into King Asgore's flower bed. A fire ignited, but it was swiftly put out. Please leave. Leave. And do not return. I apologize deeply. But as we are, us monsters simply aren't ready to bypass the barrier. You know this deep down. I know you do. Access is the solution you need. The solution we need is a reliable one. One that won't set fire to our homes. If this is about my- <sighs> It isn't. I uh, thank you for your service to society. But I'm afraid Monster Kind's freedom belongs in more capable hands. Aww. Capable hands, he says. Look at Axis now. The true realization of Chujin's vision. He far exceeds any model Asgore ever saw. And you know those capable ha who those capable hands now belong to? The scientist who has Kanako. Dr. Alphys. <sighs> a while back, she built a robot too. One so lifelike, it got her the position she has now. It must be real impressive. So impressive that Asgore kicked the other visionaries out of the curb! I understand now why Chujin never wanted... never shared this with me. He must have been absolutely gutted hearing those words. Screw the royals! 
the politics, all the red tape. This, Clover, this is why the mission is so important. You can't trust these close-minded gatekeepers to do anything right. Not for a second. Let's go. I am ge I am going to be so fucking mortified once we get to the true lab. Rector B. Oni. Engineer certificate. A dilapidated desk with several ripped up notes strewn about. Among the notes sits a piece of paper with one writ one thing written on it. How do I tell them? Not really any passwords around here. Okay then. How the hell do we get that password? All of them got fired after... Man... I mean, I can't really blame Alphys, but... Still. Oh. Today's- <laughs> Yeah, it's still fucking dumb. <laughs> I s Fuck. I- I interacted with every what? single item except that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 7116, okay. Oh, this bitch. Hello! Welcome! I welcome you into my body! Where would you ever- where, where ever would you like to go? Top floor. Did you say basement? Get us to the roof! Out of here! Whatever! <laughs> I carry a negative opinion of you. Heading to out of here. Oh my god. Sorry for all the outbursts. All of this is... It's a lot to process. Bet you're pretty tired of learning about me, so... What about you? You're not exactly a talker, so I don't know much. Why are you here in the first place? Did you simply trip and fall into the underground? Oof. The five humans. I see. You wanted to find out what happened to those kids. A noble mission takes guts. I'm assuming you haven't found them out yet, though. Well, we know where they are. We have arrived to out of here. Well, uh, better get moving. Not you again. Ah, oh, shit. Da -da 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 da 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 Watch it, Clover. We don't want to alert any outsiders, especially workers under Ascor. Your mail will have to wait. And this is closed. Raito says, man, she's such a bad bitch. I love her. I mean, she's a pretty bad bitch, though. Mm? Don't worry about it. Oh my god. Ooh. Whoa. I'm guessing this is our ticket out of here. Just have to, um... Why don't you take a stab at it? 
Technology and I don't exactly mix well. Fucking boomer. A daunting array of screens and buttons lie before you. You press one of the buttons. Robotics control status functioning at 78%. Awaiting input. Main directory. Oh my god! Loading pictures. Estimated time remaining nine hours. Hmm. Games? Feature blocked. Custom message. Trying to play video games on the job? Please report to the head office. We have a pink colored gift for you. Docs. Error. Information classified. Installed something something processor Ultra Mac Turbo. What the fuck? Installed physical memory 500 megabytes. <laughs> <laughs> Graphics card error. Select your option. Emergency shutdown. Shut down all helper robots within the vicinity. Attempting shutdown. Could not complete task. Okay, so this entire machine is a big piece of shit. Oh, just kidding! Oh. <laughs> Emergency shutdown complete. Uh. Motherfucker, why everybody- Every fucking machine in this fucking place has to have, like, a sense of comedy. Uh. It's unfortunate access had to end up this uh. way. Maybe I should... Uh. No. I wish Chujin's project would- Could thrive, but a line had to be drawn. Can't dwell on the past any longer. Uh. Let's go. Oh, that's fucking ominous. The furnace. You spot some gravity granola inside the machine. You got the gravity granola. Yep, this is the core. Hey! Who did that? Clover, you can hear me, right? I'm gonna try to blast a hole in this thing. Nah, uh, uh. Nah, uh, uh. It's gonna take a lot to break through. I do think we were almost free from this place. Just look around for a switch or a keypad. There's always one near doors. Main power source not found. Initiating emergency backup power. What was that? Did I just hear Axis? Hugh! Ooh, man. You tried to shut me down. I have had it with you and your friend thwarting my plans. I am this close to directing all my steam into my rude finger. Wow. And yes, I am yelling. My, typograph my typography box just lacks the exclamation point character. A shame, but at least I have question marks! Clover, I don't think we can outrun this guy any longer. Please try to find a peaceful way to outwit him. I'm sorry, but I don't want Chujin's creation to be smashed to bits. Outwit? Maybe. Outgun? Never! I am ticked off and out of non-lethal options, so prepare yourself. I am attacking now. Why is there a garbage can on the left? What? What? My programming is preventing me from attack. It says you are not a current threat or resisting arrest. Ugh. Forget this. Here, I will make you a threat. <laughs> Hold this, it suits you. There, now you have a drawn weapon. Loopholes are wonderful, are they not? Now time to die! <laughs> okay. 
axis. Today means the surface. Oh my. What are you doing with that lid? It was not supposed to be useful. That is cheating. It smells like an unfortunate barbecue. All this fucking music! You pull out your shirt and repeatedly and repeatedly repeatedly in hopes to beat the heat. Your effort fails. Shit. You tell Axis he's not great at his job. If he if he could frown, he would. Teko bar, do you have to piss him off? I'm great at that. <laughs> what was that? What did I say? It's not a word. Why did I say that? All right, we have to piss him off. Great. What? Ready your trusty shield for whatever awaits. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. <gasps> oh! Beef jerky. Do that. You have to aim properly. How do I aim? Try to move while while you like try to recoil. Oh, like that, but on the other side. Breakout. Yeah! Wait, this is your doing. Of course it is. Do not shock me again, okay? It's gonna change. Oh shit. This fucking music! Axis pinches the end of one of his gloves and releases the air. He finds it amusing. What? Oh, shit. <gasps> I am starting to regret giving you that lid. Could you please drop it? Just kick it into the fiery pit below us. Simple. Granola. What the fuck? What? Oh my god. Ooh. I guess the coffee. I don't have anything else. I might die. Holy shit. Unbeknownst to you, I've brought a backup plan. 
Portable generators. Infinite battery. Good luck. Holy fucking shit. Clover, I'm almost through! Whatever you're doing, it seems to be working! Keep at it until he's out of juice. Uh, I can hear you. You two think you're so smart. Haha. I do not run on juice. <laughs> In fact, I do not run at all. I roll. <laughs> Obviously. Oh, shit. I, I'm one hit from dying. Come on. I am so... I... Fuck. <laughs> Brush yourself off, Brush Clover. yourself off, Clover. It's time to put an X in XO. Axis. Uh, my bad. It's all right. I only have two healing items. I make this so much harder for myself. I'm mean, as usual, I do. to laugh at Sam in his grave. I mean, that's my entire job. I just laugh at him and he pays me. Sometimes. You! Yeah, this is breakout. Kind of. By the way, I kinda think I finished with my price list for my commissions, kinda. It's gonna be just a sketchy one. Nice! You know that you can move in place, right? That makes no fucking sense. Like, mo move like, like left right, left right, now just spin. No, I can't. The moment that I stop, I fucking get killed. Yeah, fair enough. It needs to be like one continuous movement. Fuck. Hey, you're there here, Erwin. Loving fuck. Like that. Oh my god, that is so fucking scary. <laughs> Seriously? I'm reaching unheard levels of ticked. Level 7 at least. Your fault. That's level 7. Let's go. What the fuck? I, I need, I need. <sighs> no, I think you're good. I think no. you're good for now. There, the, there's way too many... There's way too many unexpected attacks. Screw you, screw you, screw you, screw you! Oh. 
Oh, my God. <gasps> Death by metal and magic. Oh, come on! Really? One more. Oh, there we go. And there we go. Good job holding your own while I was occupied. I am one hit away from dying. Axis seems pretty dazed. One more shock should do him in. Bitch! Unless she gives you a shield, how does it Yeah, she gives you a shield. Beep beep. Shutting off strenuous emotions to save power. Ah. Uh, what did you do to me? I don't feel an utter murderous rage anymore. I do not know what to do with myself. I suppose I will stare blankly at you until you do something. Axis is staring blankly at you until you do something. Wait! Ah! Oh, the fucking necklace. Plan B. You ask Saroba to present your metallic creation. Uh, of course. Uh, hey, Axis! What? What? Uh, How do you feel about second dates? Like a calendar? <gasps> what is this? This feeling? Uh-oh. Soulmate located. Perfection personified. Where has this beauty been all my life? Holy! The shimmer, the complexion, the curves! Ayo? Ayo? Okay, that's enough. Clover, let's, uh. Let's, let's, let's get the fuck out of here. Absolutely no standards. Oh no, wait, he is in love with Hello Kitty Girl! He's a, he is in love with a Hello Kitty Girl. Rest be on a poor fucking soul. This Rest motion, be a soldier. It feels so nice. I must thank you for opening my eyes. I had no idea such wondrous sights existed. I'm glad we could finally reach a level of civility. Can I keep them? Whoa! Slow down! Take her out to dinner first! Here. Do you, do you want to know a secret? Yes, I would like to know a secret. They told me they like you, but will only go out if it's casual. Get to know them a little first, you know? Ask what their name is for something. Okay. All right, good. Give it a shot. Hello, my name is Axis. What is your name? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you are so funny. Want to get married? Bro, God <laughs> in the bed. Hey, remember what we talked about? They said yes. What? I am honestly just as surprised as you. This rocks! Wow, holy shit.
Only been dating for a few minutes and now we're gonna get married. Okay, fuck. Axis, you got it. You got it, boy. Happy for rest, you. Rest in peace, soldier. Axis got that wrist. Well, not to rain on the parade, but Clover and I have to go. Go where? Hotland. Just a business trip. Well, I wish you a pleasant journey then. Backup battery, extremely low. Please recharge. Oh, I suppose I should go do that. Recharging will restore me back to my factory state, but... Added hatted human and tall lady to authorized list. There. Now I will attempt apprehend. I will not attempt apprehension next time we meet. Thank you, Axis. You have you have a good life. I will try. Oh. Yeah, same that buddy. Oh, one more thing. Hmm? You said your husband was my creator. Would you tell him that I miss him? <sighs> yeah, he went out with so well, and we will bring back the milk. He was always very kind to me. Yeah, I'll tell him. Thank you. Goodbye. Time to go to the end of the game. I gotta say, that was pretty entertaining. Glad we could bypass Axis without destroying him. Turns out you're a pretty damn good leader, Clover. I don't know why I doubt it. Right. I see our exit up ahead. We're close. Let's not venture off the path. I've had enough of Steamworks for today. Back in Hotland! Oh, fuck. We actually made it. Let's hope this elevator works. Next stop. <sighs> the Why lab. Why are you so worried about the lab? Now what are you planning to do at the lab? <gasps> Starlo, what are you doing here? The guy and I were planning to re a return party for you. Thought it was a great idea, especially for Kaneko. That's very kind of you. Yeah, well, we went to your old house to spruce it up. After all, this would be the perfect time to move back in. Ed, what did you find while cleaning? Er, uh, I was sweeping the floor and spotted something. An almost invisible trapdoor. An entrance. What? Saroba. What is actually going on here? What really happened to Kaneko? Uh... This can't... Quit mumbling to yourself and speak up! Why did you need Clover? I don't want this to escalate, so tell the truth! Huh? I have to go. Clover, come on. What? Saroba! Ed, take Clover back home and keep watch. I'll chase after her. What? No, I... What? Back here again? Well, this adventure was for nothing. Ugh, I'm never traveling via laundry chute again. And you're back. And Clover, too? I was worried sick about you. Where's Star? Saroba ran away, so he chased after her. Alone? Why did you let him do that? 
Star knows Sarova more than anyone, Moray. Well, I'm not so sure of that anymore. What the fuck? Clover! Moray messaged me about you being in danger. So I dropped what I was doing and flew over here. Why'd you get feathers involved, Moray? Oh, well, you thought she deserved to know. She can help. Thank you for reaching out. I heard that you found something in Saroba's old house. What was it? We didn't have the time to look closer over everything, but it raised some serious concerns. Papers, tapes, belonging to Chujin. All way too scientific for me. Clover and I can scope it out. No way! I was told to keep Clover here. It's a potential danger to their life. These guys are so fucking awesome. There's always a potential a potential threat to their life. If anyone can fix this, it's Clover. Fine. Just stay on track. I can't have them running away for nothing. You know you know the way? I believe so. Okay, we'll meet you there. I still have to finish explaining everything to the group. Until then, come on, Clover. Are we gonna go back to that, or like, like cat-headed temple place that we saw before? Hey, before I go, I need to apologize. I shouldn't have let Saroba take you. I just, I really thought I could trust her. We all did. What the fuck is going on? And what I had to take care, what I had to take care of in Snowden was far too important. You know what? It doesn't matter anymore. Let's focus on what Ed told us. Concerns regarding Chujin, he said. Surely it's nothing, right? Chujin was almost like a father to me. I don't know where I'd be in life without him. I'll let you lead. Just head to the Oasis Valley. Nice to see you again, by the way. This feels so fucking ominous. Oh no, she was my favorite character! But, what the fuck? Bitch. We need to stay focused. Let's not bother others with our problems. Play girl boss. Girl boss. I can't imagine that this game would have it just be like, Oh no, she's evil all along, right? Well, we'll see, right? We'll see. Like, like, this game seems way too good for her to just be an evil... E evil villain. She probably have a deep, you know? Maybe she's trying to do something with her father? There we go! That's her house. Looks a bit abandoned. Wow. I wish Chujin invited me over back in the day. This house is incredible. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Let's get inside and see what the fuss is about. <laughs> I should have asked where the papers and tapes are located, huh? Hmm, I guess we can take a look around. Should be an office somewhere. Look at this pretty place. Hey, it's Baton, thank you for the $5. I still Hey, it's Baton. Thank you for the five dollars. Hello, Phil. Currently trying to learn Game Maker. Ain't got a clue what I'm doing. Literally my first time using any code ever. Don't worry, it's Baton. Try to follow along in some tutorials and maybe that'll help you. Locked, huh? Strange. I guess Ed and Star took another route. When you will do your developer streams? 
Mm, I need to find like a very like I need to find a specific time where I could do it like once a week. You open the drawer. Nothing but old pens and pencils. Now I rate this developer's price for nothing. You search the drawers. Just some knickknacks of various shapes and sizes. Hey, the developer stream and just annoy you? No, it is actually what? going to be too distracting. What? The cabinet contains thesis papers on many different subjects. Wow. Is the are those the fucking human souls? These are all type on cardstock. How wealthy was Chujin? A few unfinished robots poke out from the box. Huh. I heard about Chujin's interest in robotics once. Guess this was as far as he ever got? Oh, you don't even know, baby! Expertly organized files, labeled with numerous monster names. Did he keep records of everyone he befriended? Sandra, Louis, Dr. Fish, Rosa, Martlet. Wait, Martlet? He found another monster with my name? This this fucking girl. I sort of fucking got this girl. I I want to pet her on the head so badly. I can't believe that. I can't believe it that that ever came up. Gizmos and gadgets fill the desk space, looming over it all. A map. On the map are several pin locations of human souls. This isn't what Ed was talking about, right? I mean, this is clearly Chujin's office, but... I wouldn't say it's strange to keep track of where humans... Oh. Sorry, I'm sure this is upsetting to look at. Still, many monsters do keep up with it. Those events are a big deal down here. Ugh. Several building bricks are scattered around a stuffed animal. Almost looked like it's watching me. I'm not sure I like this room. You open a dresser or drawer and see many neatly folded shirts. I don't think we need to look in here. The sturdy bed sits bathing in the warm glow of the dunes. What a masterwork. Hand-carved and everything. It's hard to believe Chujin had the time to craft all of this. An old TV and game console gathering dust. The game case has a handmade cover, cover slip. Surface Tycoon, it says. Trujan programmed a video game for Kanako. Wow. Must have been awesome to have him as a dad. Yeah, it can't be just completely evil, right? That would have made sense for this kind of game. Saroba's many outfits hang in the closet. You can see someone else's clothes hidden behind the front row. Saroba, Saroba knows what she likes, huh? Usually I'd be envious of such intense resolve, but... I'm not sure it's a good trade anymore. <gasps> that's Saroba. That's Chujin. And that's her. I can't stand looking at that. It's... Let's just move on. You open the drawer. It's empty. You know, for all pretty this house is, it just gives an air of, like, depression. An old-fashioned gas oven, best kept turned off. Wouldn't want a house fire. A reminder of your duties back home. Part of you wonders how everyone is doing, but the other part has moved on. You stare at your reflection in the sink water. The many trials you've endured have taken their toll on your appearance. You reach for the knife on the counter. Nuh uh! Kids shouldn't mess with knives! I have a gun! <laughs> Kids shouldn't mess with guns either! You heard her. 
<laughs> I think I might be guilty of child endangerment. It's like the game fucking hurt me. You open the refrigerator and find some leftover corn chowder. Fucking corn. You're that hungry? Hmm, all right then. I suppose she won't miss it, right? We literally have a revolver. Freshly trimmed baboo plants. Now where the hell do we go? Land of the free, baby. Huh. The Founder's Crest. Decisive, devoted, determined. <gasps> oh, don't say that. Out of nowhere. The fireplace is making the already warm house warmer. Pretty counterproductive in climate like this. Still, it looks beautiful. I got fu fu get fucking like like word jump scared by this game. The Founders Crest, decisive, devoted, determined. I just noticed this entire fucking house is red. By the way, now that the word now that that word was mentioned, probably not relevant, it's right? It's red. Looks the entire pretty... goddamn house is red. Yes. Looks, I don't know, orange? The Maybe walls, green. Azazel. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I'm not right. Where the hell are we supposed to go? I explored the entirety of this place. Nothing really. They say in the carpet. The carpet. Okay, that carpet is not in. This? This is not a carpet. That is a. What was it called? Uh. It is like a thing where you put your your leg side underneath, and there's like a heater like underneath. Yeah, I forgot. This must be where they ate their meals. What do you see? Uh, they're sitting down. Hey, uh... I need your help. You think something's under there? Alright. What's that, Saray? On three. One. Two. Three! Hmm? There we go. Good eye, Clover. This feels important. Spooky. Well, uh, after you. Oh! Oh my. What is all of this? Why is there dust everywhere? Formulas... Soul Sir research... Hold on, look over here. Tapes. Each one has a date on it. You know... Maybe this is all a big misunderstanding. I am so fucking scared, I am so fucking scared, I am so fucking scared! Yeah, that's probably it! We'll just watch these and clear the air. <laughs> Greetings. This is Chujin. I don't have much time these days for a written journal, so I opted for a video. 
I have no idea who will view these, if anyone, but I see it best to document my work. This is all for now, signing off. This is Chujin. Today, I traveled to Snowden with my daughter on casual business. While I was busy, Kanako wandered off to play with a resident. That's when it happened. A few panicked townsfolk ran up to me, saying that a human entered the area. This human. They attacked the monster Kanako was with. She was so close. She could have been next. No one was there to protect her. Not even me. I don't understand. I just don't understand. Humankind already won by trapping us down there, down here, yet they keep twisting the knife. This cannot continue any longer. As of today, I'm looking into stopping this perpetual injustice once and for all. This is Chujin with unfortunate news. I was fired from my engineering position. I poured my all into my project, but it wasn't enough. The programming was buggy, but I know I could have ironed it out with a few more interactions, iterations. Why well, am I punished for trying out our for trying to take our struggles seriously? I feel as if I'm the only one who hasn't forgotten or chosen to live in ignorance. I told Saraba I was retiring. Can't let her think less of me. But enough of that. It's in the past. I must live in the present and plan for the future. Prove I can save Monster Kind another way. This is Chujin. After years of research, I've made a breakthrough. Boss monsters. They may be the key to Monster Kind's survival. I was able to reach this conclusion because I... I carry the boss monster gene. This means my soul is much stronger than that of the other monsters. More importantly, boss monsters are immortal until they produce offspring. Right now, monster kind is few in numbers compared to humanity, but... What if anyone could become a boss monster like me? Like Kaneko? As a nation, an army, we could finally possess enough power to take the surface back. My theory for this involves the fusion of a human soul and a boss monster soul. From that, a serum would be extracted, which could transform any average monster. Unfortunately, I have not gathered enough proof that said serum is possible. I must conduct more tests. If I understand where this guy is, this gonna be a fucking metal alchemist? This is pretty much metal alchemist, yes. Like, this if, is. If I understand where it's going, it's probably for metal alchemist. This is Chujin. I was worried this might happen. Science is a dangerous game. Rather foolishly, I experimented on myself several times. Over and over, the subject rejected the fusion. And I think I know why. <gasps> I'll be direct. My soul has deteriorated, and I don't know how much longer I have. However, I believe my theories hold stronger than it ever did. This is a message to my dear Saroba. This research, as, this research is up to you. No one else would listen. After I'm gone, look for the next human who falls down here. Someone pure of hearts. Uncorrupted. I need you to obtain their soul, but not just anywhere. You must have a boss monster soul nearby to fuse with. You'll need... Oh! 
Damn it all. Search for a willing boss monster in the underground. Someone else. Please. Our little girl, Kanako. She needs to live a happy life, unaffected by my endeavors. This is my final wish. Okay, I guess she is evil, if she's keeping her daughter in there. I don't get it. She has her daughter in there, in the lab. And she's gonna use our soul... ...and her soul... ...together. I never knew he That's never mentioned. Bullshit. Clover, we have to go right now. Come on. Fuck that guy! I mean, at least he cares about his daughter. So, you figure it out? Yes. Saroba was trying to carry out a plan Chujin left for her. Something involving Clover's soul and a boss monster soul. Which happens to reside in Kanako. What the? So she lied to us? About the mission to retrieve Kanako? She wasn't lying about finding Kanako. That's the alarming part. So Kanako is alive and well. Thank goodness. Alive? Am I missing something? It's a long story. She fell down some time ago. Sarova sent her to the lab in hopes to remedy the situation. I had no idea. If, by the way, just, yeah, Azzy, by the way, full Metal Alchemist shit. 100%. But also, Chad knows how bad that fucking goes. Like, for the, for the amalgams. Okay. Where was the last place you saw Saroba go, Ed? You ain't taking Clover straight to her, are you? That's exactly what she wants, right? Yeah, Clover needs to stay safe with us. She can't accomplish her goal if Clover's nowhere to be found. We aren't going to let her accomplish her goal, and anyway... The Wild East is a tourist destination, a public place. My colleagues probably know a human is in the underground by now. If Clover stayed here, they would eventually tear the whole town up! Better to be on the move, yeah? Uh... Look, I need to fly ahead to scout the, the situation. So again, where did the two go? Clover, you were there. Where did, the, where did they go? The lab, obviously. That lights up. Hotland it is. Hey, I gave Star my word. Let them do it, Ed. Clover is the only one who can put this to rest. Oh, Alright. They took the westmost elevator in the Steamworks. You can use a laundry chute to get there quicker. That elevator's destination sits near the core. Ask if someone spotted which direction they went from there. Wait, we need to go there too, right? You need all the help you can get! I appreciate the offer, but please don't. This might get dangerous. Game. It's hard, but really awesome. This game is actually peak. Uh, Edwin Style donates five dollars and says, "I recommend looking for new armor before the FB. It's hard, but really awesome. The game is actually peak." Okay, but please be safe. I'll try. Thanks for all your help. Even if you lock me in jail for <laughs> in a jail several hours on end. Hey. That's what two friends are for. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no problem. Clover, meet me up on the rooftop of Yuji Apartments ASAP. We'll figure this out, I promise. I, uh... Wish you luck with this, seriously. Yeah, we'll all be catching bandits again shortly. I'll be sure to save you a spot for our next nap time. Just don't do anything stupid. See you later. Deputy. When is Sans gonna make an appearance? This game doesn't need Sans. It's already awesome enough. Howdy. Long time to see, buddy. I've been wanting to tell you something. 
it's been way thing on my mind, so, so I truly admitted what I said. Oh! Show yourself. Fuck you! <laughs> Sorry, couldn't bust it up. Now I know this is the part I tell you to ignore support, but... Jeroba, fuck. I am still feeling that put in sway the way you... Slay you at this point. Slay I'm starting to want to see this play out. After all... That fox wants to waste your soul on a scientist for your project. Okay. Yeah, leave it to me, right? <laughs> I'm in your corner, like... I always did, so don't worry. Sure. We'll get rid of her and continue down our path. Is it busy? Uh. It will work out in the end, pal. I mean, he was right, I guess. Fuck. I think this is it. I think this is the final open area before we go into the ending. Do you still wanna? Do you still want some hugs, bro? Ah, uh, he. Uh, God damn it. Where did we? Where did it say that we would meet? Uh, Blue Birdie. We need to go to the apartments, I think? Hot out roof. Hello there, pink whale. Hello, greetings. Hip hip hooray. What can I do for you today? You have a watch? If you don't, that's fine. Because now you know what time it is. It is mail time. Surely I hope you like your mail. As for me, I must set sail. I love you, male whale! <gasps> Starlow! Hey, Clover, something's up. I made up with the with the posse as planned. All was going well, but then I began care worrying about you and Saroba. That's when I got the idea to break into Saroba's old house and spru spruce it up to celebrate her and Kaneko's eventual return. Well, when Ed was sweeping around, he found some kind of secret room. Seems like it belonged to Chujin. We didn't have time to dig into its content, but all I know is that it worried us both. You may be in danger. Then again, maybe not. Just come back to the wild east for now. I hope I, I can only hope this letter reaches you in time. Oh my god! That's why Saroba didn't want us to go into the mail service. Remember? Like, the two times where, like, we were near the mail part, like, she said, like, no, get away from there. Don't, no, no contact with the outside world. Fuck! Is she just evil? Oh, no, she wants to revive her daughter with magic. Soul I'm, magic. I'm killing somebody for a child. Gonna beat this heat and loosen it. Dude, you are fuck. you're dripped out in winter clothing. What's wrong with you? Alright, well. I think I'm good. I just need to, I guess, go back to the place I was. Oh, let's... <gasps> it's the it's the guy! It's the snake pod guy! Hey, where are you okay. off to, mate? Chat, where do you have to meet the, the Twitter bird? We need to meet the Twitter bird. Tiny fortunes, still only 5G. Let us see the world, what the world has in store for you. Hmm. Oh, I got something. Oh, goody, it is you. I see you, and, oh, this is exciting, you're walking. Walking past a big, clear water cooler in... Oh, wait, hold on. You don't wear stripes, do you? That doesn't look like you at all. Oh, fucking come on. Sorry, no cha no charge on that one, because it wasn't about you. Are they saying the UG apartment? 
You can go back to the elevator through UGPS. Oh, fair enough. Oh, that was a Frisk reference! Oh my fucking god, you're so dumb. You are so I didn't, oh, you didn't know that. What? You didn't I, know that. I knew that I'm not that stupid. You fuck, fucking donkey. Alright, let's go. Uh, station? Oh, so I'm trying. I guess yeah, the. Yes, more. I guess the commons, right? Oasis Valley. We are in Oasis Valley. Yeah. Control station. Control station. Look at them! Yeah, here we go. We have arrived without a scratch. The journey was fun, but it's time to dispatch. Just ring the bell for any further assistance. The U UGPS will be there with little resistance. Yep, this is it, Luigi. This is it, Luigi. I think I'm on the winning side, huh? Well, good thing I'm on the winning side. <laughs> I bet you'll have a several, but like it's nothing. I am so fucking scared for what the ending of this is gonna be. Because it's all building up to be some fucking amazing shit. But it's all rise or, like, rise or dies on the ending. Best be heading out to, to Hotline. Who knows how long you got? This piece of shit. You need healing items. Shit. Oh, this is where it leads to. Alright, I wanna go to... here, and I want to go get some healing stuffs. So that... because, like, I think I might... might need those healing items. This is adorable. Starlow lived in such a quiet, nice little farmland area. It's so neat in here. I love it. There's still a shop after this. Well, even if there is, I want to overheal myself because this is the only place where you can overheal yourself. Hello again, need a boost. And that is 35 HP. Your overcharge Hello. needs to deplete before I can do another procedure. Hey Chad, don't forget to hydrate. I will go grab some water. Yo, exciting news. I just built myself a new computer and guess what? You can play games on it. Sorry North Star, but I'm never leaving my room again. Oh ho ho, why if it isn't the deputy? Will you sign my needle? Please do. Oh, how exciting! Here's a pen. You make a few scribbles on one of the yellow fellow's needles. Oh boy! Hope you don't mind if I sell that needle online. What the fuck? Ta-ta! Mm. 
little baby burger. That will put me up to like full HP, so please and thank you. All right, we got a lot of healing items. Should probably sell the glass ammo, hold on. Just preparing for the final fights. Do not sell the fucking necklace, I will kill you. Phil. Root beer. I oh, know I still have more food. I still have a feisty slider. There you go. All filled up. Time to go back to the mail. We just did a big circle. All filled up, a Donut. All right, we're all ready. The final confrontation. Look at boy. This has been a journey. You know, all throughout the game I expected Flowey to betray me. I didn't expect another character that's not Flowey to betray me. Let's go. This is it, Luigi! Oh my god, this music. Oh my god, this music. Ooh, got a little nice kick to it. Oh, it was right there. Well, that's all good. We're all prepared. God, that's music, though. Mail? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh... Thank you, Axis. Yep. Sounds good. If someone can translate that, that will be great. Yep, yep, yep. I agree with that decision. <gasps> Somebody ate the Twitter break? Wait, UG Apartments. Because this was before Metaton took over this place. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. I like that. What are you guys doing here? Club Danza? I'm not sure I meet the requirements to set foot in the club. My age isn't the problem, it's that I've never got my dancer's license. Bro, I came to the club to let loose and boogie? Not wait in line. It's crab hour is what they keep telling me. It's crab hour. Come on, I gotta be on the guest list. Everybody knows my name! <laughs> Do you know his name? No. Aww. Oi, if you want in on the club, you're gonna have to wait in line. That is, unless you're on the VIP guest list. I doubt it, but it wouldn't hurt to check. Would you look at that? I got a lad here that just, that looks just like you. Go on, then. <gasps> Don't go near him! 
Don't go near that psycho. Heh <laughs> Move so hard. My worries are melting away. Heh <laughs> Getting down, getting down. Heh <laughs> Smooth, smooth with it. Heh <laughs> I freaking suck at dancing. What? You did that for a second. What was that? Clover. Ah, it is you. Welcome to my club. I am glad I remembered to put you on the guest list. Now join us in a dance, will you? Hey, can you that na dex dance next to him? Yeah! Oh, he will not dance. Okay. We have more dance moves than him. Hey, you caught me chilling by my brand new house. Ooh. That's right, just bought this sucker. I've been down in the dumps lately, so I thought it was, it was time to move on. Do something nice for myself, you know? I highly recommend doing something nice for yourself every now and then. It's, th it's therapeutic. A mighty roadblock stands in the way. You can't see past the large blackout curtains inside. It's locked. Music producers only. Moffat's area is under construction. Ah, that's pretty good. was there I mean it's a it's it's a it's fan cannon but that's why it was sitting in waterfall oh you said you not are you forgetting this is fan made no yeah I know I know I know it's fan made yeah, no, 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 I agree with chat. I consider this canon. Of course, Mediton took over this hotel, saw the statue, grabbed it, chucked it, some pit at the trash and waterfall, and it fell down into waterfall in the place where you find it at Undertale, but it was originally from here. That makes so much sense. I'm treating this as canon. You know what? Fuck. Yeah, like, there will be a lot of, like, Undertale purists out there, but no, that's canon. This is canon. This game is canon. I don't give a shit. Oh, howdy. We are in the castle now. What a wonderful thing. This is. It's so good. Oh, kicks and videos. Why did you wait for Italian up your death tunnel? Drum roll, drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. <laughs> you died sometimes. Wow. If it wasn't here to help, if I wasn't here to help, this all would have been with his sister. Maybe it's every time in a chair, a chasm, getting up wasn't that a great idea. I, I le legit if if their subtitles weren't there, I legitimately would not have understood that. I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, uh, can you continue for me? Oh no I guess no I'm no! Sleep deprived. Okay okay. But well, hey, all's well that ends well. It's okay, assy. Sorry. Why are you sorry? I'm the one who messed up. Blah blah blah. I apologize, but we're all out of reservations tonight. A large party of ghosts are here, and the kitchen doesn't know how to make ghost food. Please come back in a few days. Please. You motherfuckers! Hello there! What's up? You enjoying the tune we're currently banging out? Hope you are, because it's the only one we're playing tonight. 
No request this time. Sorry, kid. A pot plant. You cannot. You notice a ranking sheet on the board. Winners of the actually magma smoothie challenge. Pyrope, fastest time. Grailby, calm and collected. Cinderhead, struggled but finished strong. Heat something. We forgot who he was! Starlo was only trying to impress someone. Fuku Fire, most enthusiasm. No cone, transported to a hospital. We might be in legal trouble. I think it's actually a war. war uh, I guess I'm working up. Your destination. I think it's time for me to go, but thank you for having me. You're gonna go, Azzy? Yeah. It's a bit like, too late? I, I mean, not too late, but my vision getting blurrier and like. I'm starting to muffle my words, so I think it's not a condition to be in front of Shadis. Sorry, Shad. It's I don't right. want to be embarrassed in front of you. It's alright. Just make sure. Just make sure to rest, okay? I still feel like you know I watch it while I do my chores, but thank you so much for having me, Chad. And sorry if I'm not good at reading. I will try my best next time. But That's all right. I'll see y'all later. Thank you so much for having me. Have a nice day, Chad. Don't forget to hydrate. Bye bye. I'll see you later, Azzy. Bye bye. All right. Well, time to finish this, I guess. I mean, it is pretty late. I am honestly kind of a weirdo being the one that streams this fully in one single go. So yeah, it's understandable that she needs to go have us some good rest. Hey, Noble Spy. No AI yellow town, yellow, yellow undertale, but thank you for the $5. You notice a schedule of upcoming acts on the board. The name Metaton appears many, 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 many times. Is that Baby Muffet? Oh, rain. Beautiful droplets from the sky. What produces rain? Is it magic, I wonder? Grandma always said that rain is a ma manifestation of the underground's heartache. When monsters travel to waterfall to wish their worries away, those feelings are sucked up into the rain and poured out across the land. That's beautiful. From old sorrow comes new life in the soil below. If that's the case, some sad monster must have stood in this corner for a long time. The ruler of the underground. This has got to be the best restaurant in the underground, seriously. You can't beat the food, the service, the atmosphere. Something has always puzzled me, though. Where's the kitchen? <laughs> uh, I translated Ak Axel's letter. I do not know how to send letters. Help me. <laughs> That's perfect. I'm starting to think my date stood me up. I've been waiting here for three hours. The date is tomorrow night, but it would... But would it hurt them to show up a little early? <laughs> the silver well is getting cold. Also, I love the reflection on this. The floor is so much cleaner than when Metaton was running the place. Hello and welcome to UG Apartments. The leading establishment where you stay is temporary and unaffordable. I am the la ha handlord of this complex. Please do not say find it quite s you find it quite simple. You will be kicked out. How may I be of service? Of course. To reach new home, you'll want to take that elevator on the left. Not left as in my appearance, left as in the direction you get in. Ahem. Of course. With the core being under maintenance, it is the only way it is the only way to reach the city. Heavy traffic is expected. Oh, hold on a second. I think I recognize you. Yeah, it's the hat. 
a blue feathered monster came in here and asked if I if I would tell you to go to the roof. She wanted to meet you on the roof, is what she said exactly. All I ask is please do not do anything illegal on the premises. Don't worry, it'll be fine. Core currently under maintenance. Please do not climb over the velvet rope. Can we meet Burger Pants? Burger Pants? Burger Pants. Oh, not Burger Pants. Welcome to Bits and Bites. Buy something, will ya? What's on your mind? Oh! This a... Gift shop? Hmm, Mr. Fluffy Bones is the shining beacon of our nation. One of the main reasons we're so close to breaking the barrier and moving back up to the surface. Yeah, he's great at sticking it to the humans. Hey now, Asgore's carries a huge weight, of, weight on his shoulders. You know, having to deal with all the unpleasantries that come with harvesting human souls isn't a fun job. Handles it like a champ, though. I wouldn't choose anyone else to lead us into a brighter future. Jeez, if you like him so much, why don't you marry the guy? Oh, you know, I would if I could. It's a stretch of land that which happens to be hot, dawn, area explained. Oh, you're going you're doing a disservice to the rich history of Hotline. It's got rich history, alright. Cost a fortune to build the place. <laughs> For a good reason. There are many impressive landmarks here, like the lab, the spider house, UG apartments, elevators, one through seven, conveyor belts, rocks. It's a stretch of land which happens to be hot. Yup. The lab is located a good distance away from here on level one. It's where the brilliant Dr. Alphys conducts important work for the king. I have a theory that some of the weird food in the underground stem from experiments gone Ari in the in the building. That is not I mean I mean I mean you're off the mark. But you're kinda a little bit close. Oh yeah? Like what? Ever heard of a thing called instant noodles? It's a freaking square that turns into edible worms when you put in water. Okay, no, he's completely off the mark, never mind. Science is wrong! Poison has to be. I've heard it's delicious. Have you tried it? Of course I have. Ain't afraid of death. Haha, <laughs> something tells me I wish you were. Anyway, reaching the lab has been a pain lately. Lot of traffic, almost like something in the air. Almost like something's in the air. Something new. You think? Not much has changed around here in ages, trust me. I've lived through it all. You have? Buttons, how old are you? I've seen war, bits. I'm not sure to take. I'm, I'm not sure if I should take that seriously or not. Huh? The sock. Wow. Whoa, hey. Wind me up, bits. Wind me up right now. Excuse me, patron, but Buttons doesn't appreciate that word. It's not considered very nice where he comes from. Take your filthy mouth to the dump where it belongs, or I'll shut you up right here and now, you expressionless infant. Now, Buttons, we talked about this. Finish the phrase. We don't... Punch you had punched. I know, I know. We're working on Buttons' anger management. It's a bit slow, but I think he'll get it sooner or later. I don't see what's so wrong with unleashing rage upon my enemies. I honestly don't. It's simple. Being kind to others leads to more profits in the shop. Maybe I could try a little harder. You're right. Tutorial? Fucking... The stream- the stream is restored. Sorry about that. All's good. What's the last thing you motherfuckers heard about this guy? We were talking about Torio. <laughs> Torio fucking killed the stream! Yeah, we're back. We're back. If you have troubles with the stream, please make sure to F5 so that you can update the stream and you'll be able to see it, no problem. The sock killed the fucking stream! Huh. 
Oh, by the way, I just noticed there is a crying Asgore plushie at the bottom left of the shelf. Heckin' sock. Of course, it has... It isn't any of my business anyway, so I haven't looked into it properly. I've seen your stash of gossip magazines. Don't lie to the customer. I mean, one gets curious, of course. That's all, really. Hey, I am reading as much as you do. Stuff is spicy. Right? To be a flyer on the wall during... Uh, um... Hmm. Yeah, I do wish Toriel the best, though. I'm sure she's made a fine life for herself. Hmm. Interesting. We don't talk about Toriel. We don't talk about Toriel. Thanks for your time. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. You know, I was expecting burger pants, but that was actually better. You know what, the, that UGPS station right outside? I hear it's going to be removed soon. All of them, in fact. You might think it's because the letters are going out of style, but nah. The company is just switching up their business model. Direct delivery to citizens' mailboxes from now on. Convenient, but kind of bittersweet. I enjoyed my daily walks to the old station. At least this means everyone keeps their jobs. That's good news. Which one is the true face? Kinda weirded out by that. I'm usually a chill dude, but today was not has not been my day, let me tell you. First, the attendant needs my name so she can save a, me a room. Mr. Cursor, I reply. She steps back and goes like, like some kind of warlock? I say, what? Warlock? With visible confusion. I like to roll that ten-sided die as much as the next guy, but no, I'm Mr. Cursor. Turns out she thought I said cursor, like, you know, I was gonna hex the joints. I really didn't need her input on my iconic name, but whatever. So then, I walk over to the elevator to head back to the new home. It's busy, so I wait, and I wait, and I wait, and wait literally three hours. Next thing I know, the elevator opens, but whoops! Mr. Cursor has a tendency to time out and fall asleep every five minutes. So I missed my one chance! And now I'm stuck here, and don't... <laughs> Go home! <laughs> thank you, Spaton. I thank you, the person you see in your nightmares, for the two pounds. Even that guy's lagging. Uh, Nick says, how's the game so far, Phil? It is literally Undertale 2. It is literally the, the continuation I wanted. Like, Deltarune is its own project. Deltarune is its own amazing thing. But this is what I thought a sequel to Undertale could be, you know? This is perfection. This is just more Undertale. To the point that there's so many little small details about it that I love. That I want to might as well consider this canon, you know? Like this. You know this? This statue from Waterfall? Apparently... This up like in this prequel, it was originally supposed to stand in here. There's an inscription on the fountain. Hopes and dreams. Built 2010. 2010. You hear a faint melody coming from the statue. That's so good. Like this is the apartments before Metaton took over. During the course of like Undertale's story. So in this prequel story, this statue was originally built to be here, and then once Metaton took over, he replaced this statue with a version of himself and threw it down into the waterfall with the rest of the trash. That's why it's there. It's it, it makes it makes so much fucking sense. I love it. They fucking cooked with this game. Caution, slippery when wet. Caution, slippery when dry. This section of tiling lacks friction, so we do not know how to fix it. Currently on break, admiring a hard day's work. You resist the odd temptation to taste the mop water. I know, I know, I'm being evicted. Slide the notice under the door and I'll add it to the scrapbook. Who's there? 
I'm in the middle of robbing this nice apartment. Come back when I've escaped. Yes, hello. Is that is that mail whale with my package? Skip the rhyming and leave it at the door, please. Wow, rude. So now I need to go to the top of the building, right? Should probably go to the top of the building, right? Yeah. This is usually where... Caddy and the other one... would be. But it's now a whole room. The swimming pool of champions. The girls are, aren't here. Garbage day. GARBAGE DAY! Monday. If you can't reach the dump, throw all the trash bags off to the cliff south from here. The lava below should do the job. Caddy and Braddy. There's a note on the door. Stranger, please stop eating the cat food I leave out. It's for a stray who's stuck in here with us, not for monsters. Thank you. You discover some monster candy in the trash can. It's <gasps> butterscotch flavored. Take it. You got the monster candy. Who knows what might happen from this point forward. Continue. Ooh, I think I think this might be in. Point of no return. Save first. I already did. Final act incoming. This is it, Luigi. You made it! Great! What a view. That large facility in front of us is the core. The main source of power for the underground. Behind that is new home, the capital city. I asked around and was told Saroba and Starlo were headed there. Guess she ran the opposite way of the lab to juke her pursuer? You two couldn't have gotten far. I'm positive we'll find them. Well... Whoa. It's all setting in now. This is like, super intimidating, right? Not just me? I don't know when I'll get another chance to say it, so I'll say it now. Oh, you're a kind soul. One of the best I've met. Left and right, you've been beaten and bruised. But you stay vigilant. You defuse situations and mend relationships. A far cry from what I was taught growing up. Royal guards are told ad nauseum that humans are the enemy. I only ever heard stories of war and our underground imprisonment. But you're different. If you could change my mind on humans... I know you can change, Asgors! After we defuse the Saroba situation... We'll march right up to that castle! You and me. Whew, okay. And then, well... You'll be on your way. But don't worry about me! When Monsterkind is freed, we'll meet again on the surface! By then, you might be all grown up! Wouldn't that be funny? Ha. Huh. Point is, I'm glad you hopped on my raft. Surface Gnome, will you be showing pacifist only, or are neutral slash genocide runs in the future? Max? As it stands right now, I will be showing the pacifist route. I don't think I have the heart in me to do the genocide route for this. I... I really don't. I really don't know. These characters are so fucking good. Okay. We need to get moving. That way. West of New Home. The elevator downstairs should take us straight there. After that, 
I'm not sure. I'd call for backup in a scenario like this, but we're on our own. Outlaws. So, partner in crime. You ready? <laughs> Let's stop Sorova. After you. Let me, let me turn up that volume, by the way. At least just a little bit. map of your current location sits above the bench. The underground is so much larger than you imagined. Welcome to new home! Now, Charles, I know you've had a long day, but if the dishes in the sink aren't done, we can't eat dinner. Can't a guy catch a break? They put me in dock review all afternoon. I can barely move my fingers, let alone lather them up in your weird soap. Welcome to new home! I've wondered what this place looked like. This is London. New home is London. Fuck. Hmm. Isn't it rather... It's rather late, isn't it? Narrows down the locations they could have gone, at least. You dig around the bin and find a bottle of sizzling soda. The humans often eat from the garbage? Shoot, I could have left the trash bag out and snowed in as a lure. I'm only joking, of course. Can't judge anyone's culinary preferences after today. Okay, I know, I know this is fan-made. I know this is fan-made, but this might as well be fucking canon. The fact that it's not a normal city, it's like a weird, like, posh London city. I think this elevator goes to the castle. Probably the last place Saroba would look, run to. Let's keep searching this area for now. It just makes sense. Phil, you forgot the soda. I have my entire inventory. Filled with feisty sliders. I think I'm good. Dominating. Hey, Max Flash. Thank you for the 10 gifted memberships. Fuck yeah. Nice. Okay. I see them. This way. <gasps> Saroba looks distressed. I'm sure we can negotiate... <laughs> negotiate her down from this, but... Worst comes to worst, we might need have to retreat. Technically, of course. Let's listen in. Just leave me to my own devices, Star. Saroba, I don't know what you're saying. Please calm down. I must go to the lab. It's where Kanako is being kept. I have to get there by any means necessary. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Don't get in my way. Or what? You're, you'll kill me? Hey! Clover and I... God fucking damn it! I just realized how stupid of an idea this is. Clover and I were... Watching the tapes. You need to let this go. If not... Why are you here? With Clover? You're supposed to be back home. Fuck. No, thank you for finding me. Makes things easier. If I were you two, 
I'd leave Clover here and forget about all this. It might not make sense to you, but it's for the best. Cut the self-righteous shit, will you? Just stop it. You can turn this around, Soroba. You said it yourself, that Kaneko is alive. Let's just find her and go back to our normal happy life. Happy life? That's rich. You can see the castle in the distance. I lied about Kaneko, Star. I had to. What? Falling down is practically a death sentence. Unless a miracle takes place at the lab, there's no... There's no hope for her. You. I'm trying to make the best of what I can, okay? This is all I know how to do at this point. Kanako... Kanako is a boss monster. She is the key to finishing Shujin's work. This is his legacy. His plan for the future. Monster Kind's only hope for survival. Don't you speak for him. You've seen the tapes, right? Do you honestly think this is what he wanted? Kanako wasn't supposed to be a factor in this. If you were here... Uh, the Chuyin you knew. You knew nothing of him. No, Martlet's right. We might have had some different views, but... Chujin was kind to everyone. And I know you are as well. It's just that right now, I... I don't understand you. When I fought Clover, I was reckless. But when you want their soul, it's for the best? Not only Clover's, but the so- You think I don't know how far gone I am? And where is this high horse coming from? Sounds like we're in this pit together. Saroba, please. Just get out of here and let me finish what I started. You can't have Clover. We're going to Asgore and that's that. Martlet, grab Clover. I'll keep Soroba at bay. Go now. Whoa! Son of a! <laughs> Clover. I... I'm sorry what I, for what I've done. I almost wish you never showed up in the Wild East. Maybe then I could have continued to bury my sorrows at the saloon. But now, I must follow through with my mission. I've somehow grown to respect the hell out of you, but... At the end of the day, you're naive. There is so much you don't understand about monsters. What did you think? What, did you think you'd jump down here and find them? Five humans, living out their lives, unharmed? That isn't how it works. I'm guessing you discovered the truth, right? Then what? Was your and Martlet's plan to storm Asgore's, Asgore's castle for revenge? Or was it simply to plead for a free ticket back to the surface? He only needs two more souls to sh shatter the barrier. He wouldn't hesitate for a second to make that one. But who am I to criticize how he carries out his business? Here I am about to do the very same thing. I'm a hypocrite, a liar, sure. But at least I, with Chujin's guidance, can save countless monster lives. These two couldn't understand that. And Asgor... Asgor is a coward! Didn't believe in my husband at all. He thinks problems will just disappear if he closes the curtains. I long for freedom as much as anyone, but he... He doesn't consider what will happen once he's, he gets his souls. Everyone else, too. They all believe victory will come easy. But the humans I've heard of? They're powerful, ruthless. As soon as we try to leave, 
They will stuff us right back into this hellhole. They want our misery to fester until we give up and die out. I am no better than Ascor on scale of morality. I'm sure of it. But what I am is proactive. Monster kind is worth protecting. So I will see that it is done. Truthfully, I have nothing left in life, so I've made peace with throwing it away. You'll fight back, but you can't forever. Goodbye. Oh, boy. No turning back. Saroba, a legacy not to be forgotten. Let's go. Oh my god! Ugh, scowl. You look up at Saroba, enraged by what she's done. Oh my. My, my, my! Saroba wipes, wipes sweat from her brow. Brow. Negotiate. You try to talk Saroba, but her attention is impenetrable. <gasps> Saroba stares into your soul with regrets. You take a breath. The world seems to slow, but only for a moment. Ooh, shit. Oh my god, Saroba! You'd nervously drink the corn chowder. Could have been worse. Why? Oh, fuck. Saroba tries to ignore the condition of her friends. Why won't you die? Oh my god! Why? If I don't succeed, it's over. Oh, Christ! You can't give up now, Clover. It's time to take Saroba down for good. No! That's not it! I'm not gonna let that happen. What about now? Shh. Can't use the necklace. This is fucked. I 
if I don't succeed, it's over. Let me guess, they're gonna turn blue. I am... Fuck, come on, fuck! Uh... Okay. Need a lot of burgers. Oh. Oh. What? <gasps> oh! Right, cause it's yellow! Right, 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 right. I was wondering when that was gonna show up. So it's come to this! My last resort. <gasps> For Chujin. For Kanako. <laughs> For the future of Monster Kind. Oh! We Toho in now. I cannot get a turn in! Fuck! No! X? I can fucking dash?! Okay, you know what? Turn off the music, I don't give a shit. Soul per pulses with great power. Hope. You hold on to your hopes. Defense temporarily increased. Yes. Endure. You refuse to back down. Gain seven HP. A mother's love! Mayhem has been unleashed. Oh. 
Come on, then! You think of those you love most. Speed temporarily increased. How are you so fucking powerful, ma'am? Fuck! Didn't need the dash for that one. So let me get this straight. You got the power of determination, you got the power of justice, and then you have the power of mother. Holy shit, she was a she was a beast. What would you like to or to wear tomorrow, honey? Solomon and Christina are paying a visit. I'm bringing food too. I'll have I'll help you up and we can all enjoy a picnic at the front porch. Uh, How's that sound? Uh, Saroba. Uh, uh, yes? Uh, I don't... Uh, <laughs> uh, this is also pitiful. Uh, uh, hey, don't say that. Uh, we don't need to have anyone uh, over. It could just be us. Uh, a, picnic, a picnic sounds lovely. I want you and Kaneko to have one, surrounded by your closest friends. What are you saying? I... gosh. You know. I never was afraid of it all my life, but now that it's so close... No, shut up. Stop it. Say it like it is anything. It is, or don't say anything. I can't do this, not now. I'm sorry. There's something I must tell you. My work. We never talked about it much, did we? We didn't. When I built this house, I installed a basement. What? The entrance is under the Kotatsu. Always has been. There, I worked towards a project. Something much bigger than myself. Bigger than all of us. I don't understand. I recorded a message for you. When I'm gone, I would like you to view it. Will you do that for me? I will. I promise you I will. I haven't seen tears from you since we met at the crossing. <laughs> I'll save them for the moments that matter. I'm glad. Because this moment matters a lot to me. that? Were you in my head just now? You have no rights! <laughs> Saroba shaken by the memory. Shit, my god. I'm gonna die. Oh! Let's try. Never back down, never what? Never back down, never what? Shit! The dash! 
I need to get used to the dash. I've never... Try the necklace again. That's not gonna work. What the fuck? Oh my god! Alright, well, since we're gonna be here for a while, let's at least try to calm down chat. You cannot use this item. It's a wall! Either I focus 100% on dodging and not attack her at all, or I attack her and keep on taking hits. Fuck are you more powerful than Asgore? That is fucking horseshit! Oh! The power of mother! I think I'm getting the patterns.
triangle. Who wins, mother or gun? No, 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 no. Ah. Oh, whatever. This is actually not... I got screwed up because I accidentally attacked. I mean, I did attack, just not in the way that it's... whatever. Harder than Undyne the Undying? Well, the problem with that is... Fuck. She's attacking the stream itself. Major bullshit. The length of my dashes don't cover that. Ridiculous. This is ridiculous. For the final battle? just projectile spam, man. There's no pattern to that. Well, there is a pattern. You just have to, like, keep up with, like, four different things at once coming at you. That is bull shit. Like, okay, have to keep up with three things and also the thing at... And the 
patterns are also random because there are different, like, things that can spawn in those patterns. Like, the bells weren't there for, like, the past ten attempts, but now they came back and they ruined my run. I just have to hope I get a good pattern, I guess. Shoot the bells, they're yellow. Yeah, I know that it's- that's not the problem! to live a happy life, unaffected by my endeavors. This is my final wish. <gasps> Kanako? What are you doing down here? Is it true? What? Am I different? Kanako, I... Daddy said that he would have lived a long time if I wasn't here. <gasps> he would still be... No, 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 no. Your father loved you. And he didn't want to put you in danger. You heard him. His dream, all these books and papers. You've been trying to finish it, haven't you? With my limited abilities... Yes, but it doesn't involve you. I've been looking into ways to create the serum without a boss monster. I'll figure it out. I have to. But I found this in the trash. You figure it out last week. Using the leftover extract from the human soul, I believe I have removed any corruption it held. Negating the need for someone pure of heart. Yes. So you did it! Daddy's wish would come true, right? It would make him smile, make him proud of us. But... I didn't want you to be a part of this, and I agree. Let me do it. I want to make things right. Be useful for once. And I trust you to keep me safe. I do believe a refined method would work. I just... Please. You promised you would make his dream come true. I did. Very well. But I'll make it quick. I'll ensure your safety throughout the procedure. Alright? We'll be the heroes of the underground. All thanks to you and Daddy. Heroes, huh? That has a nice ring to it. 
Okay, wait here. You will need to stand very still for this. Close your eyes. I will begin the fusion extraction. You may feel a pinch or two, but... It'll all be over before you know it. Understood? Understood! You truly believe in this, don't you? Yep. <laughs> oh, just fucking kill me, why don't you? Love you lots. Love you more. No, 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 no. We're gonna work. Kanako, wake up. Wake up right now. Mommy, sir, come on. Hey. What? What have I done? So you know the truth now. Are you satisfied? Do you find joy in making me relieve my darkest memories? I never claimed to be a saint. I'm drowning in a sea of mistakes like everyone else. But instead of sinking, I'm chasing the one ray of sunlight peeking through the surface. I tried letting go, moving on. But I guess deep down, I'm too stubborn to live like that. This is my fate. <gasps> I am so fucking dead?
Phase 4 necklace. Yeah, sure. God, this fight! Just fucking bullet spam me. The difficulty jump in this is not good.
fucking leaveable. God, are some of those even possible? Stop! My love, my child, all gone. Why couldn't you just... I swore I had the key, saving monster kind from their demise, carrying on his legacy. It was worth the risk to me. But now, now my life is over. For nothing. No one. I have done unforgivable things. I let my husband work himself to death. Put my precious little girl through hell. And... Oh, God. Star. Martlet. All for a chance to make a difference. A chance. I don't think I can bear this weight any longer. You won this battle. Do what needs to be done. I come all the way here. And you fucking think I am going to fight you? Please. What are you waiting for? Please give me this. Why are you like this? Always taking the high road? Aren't you angry? Aren't you just... Pull the trigger already. Why? <gasps> Saroba? You beat me up pretty badly, huh? S don't sweat it too much. I reckon I deserved it for the Wild East fiasco. Heck of a hint, though. Hit, though. I didn't know you had it in you. I'm sorry. What? Where am I? <laughs> Clover! We gotta get out of here! No. It's finished. Clover. Clover won. In your face! Y'all had a fight? And the deputy won? <laughs> My lessons worked. <laughs> Wait. 
How much did I miss? I... I don't know what to do. I apologize. Make excuses. Nothing really would change reality. I have dog- I know how this game is gonna end. Shit. I've dug a hole far too deep to climb out of. And for nothing. Hey. Where was I a few hours ago? In the same situation. My judgment was clouded. And I screwed up. But you forgave me. The four others did as well. We both made poor choices. No sugarcoating that. But there is hope, at least. I believe at least. I can't begin to grasp what you've been through. But this was an absolutely horrible way of dealing with it. You can't change what has happened. You're right. But you can control how you live from now on. Your actions will mean everything. But... Chujin, his legacy, his wish... It will never be fulfilled. Chujin might not have been the most... Perfect monster I thought he was. But even in his darkest se Even when his darkest secrets came from a caring place... And that right there... Is his legacy. It isn't found in a serum to save the world. Everyone has helped. Everyone he helped. Everything he crafted. That's what matters. Martless right. He made life down here bearable for so many. And for that, he has my respect. Never thought about it like that. What the hell was I thinking? I was so tunnel vision, so lost. We can work through this. We're here for you. Aww. Now, you should take some time to heal, recoup, but Kanako's well-being is still a valid concern. I have connections to the royal scientists, so I'll begin an investigation, try my best to help. I don't know what to say. Thank you, Martlet. Clover. I owe you an apology most of all. Our time in the steamworks and what I said. It wasn't fake. It did allow me to briefly forget my troubles and have fun. But my reasoning for being there... Oh? Why? I mean... Thank you. <laughs> I can't believe it's come to this, but... Clover, I think your journey is at its end. Asgore and the barrier await us. Already? As sad as it is, Clover needs to fucking die, cause like... This is a prequel, and we know how this ends. That won't work. What? Sure, we know Clover for who they are, but... Asgore? He won't see the Clover we do. He doesn't care to learn. But the situation is unique! The king has always been kind and understanding. Yeah, Clover wouldn't hurt anyone. Think that's ever mattered in the past? Truth stings. But it is what it is. So what? Should I take Clover back to Snowden? Hide out for the rest of our lives? Yeah, why couldn't Clover stay with us? I mean, it's plausible, but... Won't the Royal Guard be on the hunt? After so many encounters, Clover just... Disappears? It wouldn't be the first time. 
Oh yeah, they probably would think the same thing happened again. But what about the others? You know, the next humans. Clover gets to live happily, but they have to die. Oh. We don't know their hearts. Maybe... What? Maybe they deserve it? Have you learned anything? <laughs> Holy shit, get called out! Fuck! That's a good call out! I'm just weighing the options. We're backed into a corner here, right? Hey, calm down, guys. You know, I really thought tonight's... What you doing there, buddy? What you doing there, buddy? What you doing there, boy? You probably want to go home, don't you? Humanity already won by trapping us down here. Yet they keep twisting the knife. This cannot continue any longer. You must have places to go, correct? The castle, the barrier. I did everything in my power to entertain. So monsters wouldn't have to worry about being stuck down here. Anyways, we'll bypass the Royal Guard and plead your case to Asgore. Remember your real mission, Clover. Asgore only needs two more human souls to shatter the barrier. What a world would it be if I had more than two friends? Most might act cheerful, but life down here, it's hopeless. Yep. Bye bye, Clover. The five children you set out to find in the first place, despite its ups and downs, our adventure was a blast. Asgore's still out there threatening human lives. I must thank you for opening my eyes. Keep your head in the game. Turns out you're a pretty damn good leader, Clover. Come on, Clover. You're a kind soul. Clover. What are you doing? Uh... Clover, what's going on? You're scaring us here. <sighs> it's time. What does that mean? Time to go. No, 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 no. We'll think of a plan. We have options. Yeah, don't do something you'll regret. If it's Snowden you don't like, <laughs> you can live with me. My house has the space and the posse loves you. Please, you gotta listen to us, Clover. You deserve better. You're... You're serious. I understand. Saroba. This whole time, what have we been doing? Dragging Clover around, pulling a leash. Selfish. Clover came here for their own by their own volition. They deserve to leave it by leave by it too. But you don't want this outcome, right? Surely. If there was another way. But let's face it, there isn't. I believe Clover realized that a long time ago. I don't know what to say. As much as I want to stop you. I see it in your eyes. This is about our freedom, isn't it? Clover. You are the bravest, most selfless human I've met. Of course, I've only met one, but if I ever meet another, I hope they're just like you. I promote you to Sheriff, cause Lord knows you've earned it. But you aren't Sheriff material. You're much more. Uh, 
I already made my feelings known in Hotland. So... This means more to us than you know. Uh, to everyone. Uh, well, uh, I understand if you two don't want to be here for, uh, you know. Uh, do you have what you need? Uh, I do. Because the sun's getting low. That's a I'm that's a good cowboy quote. I am not even mad at you. I'll see you around, partner. <laughs> you got a receipt for that? Thanks, kid. Goodbye, Clover. You changed my life, truly. Oh! <laughs> How will I know you're human now, huh? This means a lot. I'm sorry the world is like this. But people like you make it better. Thank you. Will will be outside. Uh, You've gained my respect. Uh, I mean it. Yep. There you go. This is the only way it could have ended. We knew from the beginning. Uh, Do you... Uh, uh, want me to stay? Go on. I'll be okay. Uh, uh, Very well. Uh, this won't be forgotten. Uh, uh, Goodbye, Clover. So this is it. All that work just to become another cog in the machine. Ha! You've grown so predictable. I could undo all of this right now, but... Maybe you've earned your rest. After all, there's always another. Can't say it's been fun, so... I suppose this is where we part ways. Oh, who am I kidding? Until we meet again, friend. Fuck you, little flower. Fuck you.
This is an official entry in the Undertale series for me. I don't care what anybody says. This is official. Spiritually, at least. Just... If you're gonna recommend anyone to play Undertale... It should be Undertale and this. Hey, Dalv, how you doing? <laughs> of course. I don't even know who she is. these guys. This was made with love and soul. Oh. Out of every orifice. Oh, look at them! And I guess that's it. <gasps> I've been thinking about that day. A lot. Time is a funny thing, you know? I guess in the big picture of my life, you are only a blip. But oftentimes, blips make the biggest impacts. The king offered me a promotion. A guard post on New Home. So that's why we don't see her in Snowden. But after experiencing the worst job... The worst the job had to offer, I declined. Oh. Not only that, I put in my two weeks. I felt that there are better causes to put myself... To pour myself into. Anyways... Sorry that I'm putting you on one of my rafts again. Ma <gasps> Might not be the most appropriate send-off after last ride. But it's the best tribute I could think of. Oh. This is how the hat ends up in the waterfall. Oh, you just had to do that. Uh, it's nice. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Thanks for doing this. Felt good to craft something with meaning again. You've got your gift? Yeah, yeah. yeah here you go. That's how the toy gun gets to waterfall. I almost forgot. There was someone I invited who was a friend of Clover's. A friend? Hello? Is this the right place? Hey! Hey, Dalv. 
Oh, hello. Yeah. Howdy. Uh, sorry if I'm sorry if I'm intruding. Uh, My name's Dalv, and I am. Uh, I was living in the ruins when Clover first entered the underground. Uh, so you were the first to meet him. Uh, One of the first, I suppose. Uh, anyway, when we met, I acted foolish and uh, attacked Clover. Uh, I think we all did at one point. <laughs> I promise it didn't last long, though. And I held back a little. Um, where was I going with this? Clover helped you out of a situation. Yes. All in all, Clover was very kind to me. That checks out. It's nice to meet you, Dalv. Thanks for coming. Of course. Well, no more stalling. Everyone ready? Oh, wait a second. I want to place in one more thing. Safety glasses? <laughs> I want Clover to stay safe on their journey. Can't forget him, right? Aww. There you go. <laughs> Goodbye, friend. <laughs> Thanks for all of all you've done. <laughs> See you around, kid. <laughs> Take care, Clover. Like I was saying before this point, Sir Pello playtested this, what? Man. Anyways. So, so this is an official part of the Undertale series, right? Can we agree on that? We can all agree on that, right? Like, yeah, sure. Toby has Undertale and Deltarune and stuff like that. But like... This is official, right? I don't think there's anything here that would prevent it from being not canon to Undertale. This is canon end. Canon event. Yep. There's so many little tiny touches and like ideas work into this. And the fact that it's free is genuinely mind-blowing. This game is free, by the way. You, you, you can go play it. On Game Jolt right now. Or through a mirror link, in, like, available on the developer's Twitter account. You can go play this. Get the neutral endings. Get the genocide endings if you want to, though I don't know why you would, considering how amazing these characters are. This, I can honestly say, is based on the world of Undertale, created by Toby Fox and Temi Chang. There you go. This basically feels official. I cannot say that this is... Better than Undertale? Somebody calls for help. You answer the call. <sighs> that was at the end, by the way. You, you just skipped time forward, too. The Omega Flowey boss fight when Clover woke up to help Frisk. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. My god. I cannot say this is better than Undertale. Because Undertale is kind of like a once in a lifetime kind of experience, you know? But... This is a worthy sequel, in my opinion. Obviously, it doesn't have, like, the punch that original Undertale did, because Undertale was a completely new concept back when it came out. But this is, like... This is a worthy continuation. Or prequel, I guess, because it, it did take place before the events of Undertale. I'm not sure how Toby Fox feels about fan games and the like, but if there's a way for the developers to talk to him and get him to, like, officially endorse this, maybe allow them to sell, sell it on Steam or something, I think they deserve it. Maybe there's, like, a bunch of issues with the rights and stuff, because a lot of people worked on this. They worked on this for seven years. Holy fuck. What the fuck? Hello? Well? Here we are again, of course. Ah. <sighs> There's gotta be some way to get what I need. Clover's competent enough, but still. Nothing ever works when it comes to them. Hmm. I could reset and try my luck again. Or... I could accept this outcome and wait. The king is only one soul away now. Ha! <laughs> it might be a good idea to piggyback off the next human instead. But... Who knows how long that will take. And even worse... If the next human would have the will to do what Clover couldn't. Decisions, decisions... Let me think. Be gone! Thoughts? <laughs> and the game closes! Because the save system is tied to Flowey. So if you want to replay the game, it's because Flowey reset the timeline to see another outcome. That is... Holy fucking shit. Open it again? Nah, I think I think we're good. I think I think I think we're good. <sighs> That's it. I don't really have anything else to say, really. It's just This is perfect. This is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Hey, Arrow Artwork! I hope you enjoyed your pacifist playthrough and the game in general. Thank the you! You poured a lot of heart and soul into this game. I can Thank see! You for the amazing run. Thank you so much, Arrow, for the $10. This was amazing. Every last bit of effort that you guys put into this game was worth it. I love all the tiny little details and effort to make sure that this all fit into the Undertale canon, and all the little moments with new characters. Thank you, by the way, thank you for actually putting in the effort to make a memorable cast of characters that works for this game, and you, you just didn't piggyback off the actual Undertale cast. I am so happy about that. You know, the fact that Toby himself couldn't help himself to do that, like, there are a bunch of Undertale characters in Deltarune, of course, and th they have a bunch of, uh, bunch of moments in the background, but no! Toriel appeared, and that was it. We didn't see anybody else, and that was perfect. You just had to mention Asgore. 
because this story was about these characters. It was about, like, Starlo, and it was about, like, this whole story with the new boss monsters and, like, about Clover and, like, I mean, Floey was kind of there. Obviously, he's, like, the main villain of Undertale, so it's not like you can redo them. But, like, God, all the new locales and, like, areas, and, like, the desert and the steamworks and, like, the, the, the making new home in an, into an actual explorable location is just... Mwah! You didn't take the easy route and, like, try to fan service people with details about Undertale because you understood that you needed to have an original story happening in the same world as Undertale. Obviously, you made ca callbacks and stuff like that, but the callbacks were so tasteful. This really feels official. It really feels like you guys could just talk to Toby and let him, like, put the game on Steam at least. Maybe not for maybe not paid, but honestly, this absolutely deserves to be a paid work. This I feel like I got away with theft playing this game for free. This needs to be like a paid work. You need to be compensated for this. This is like unreal, especially for seven years of passion and soul put into it, you know? Fuck. I don't know, just... I feel Toby would have an amazing time with this. I I would really love to see his opinion on this fan work. This might be one of the best f like pieces of fan content I've ever seen for a, any kind of series. There's a lot of games out there with cult followings that have really cool fan game projects, but most of the big ones never see the light of day. Ever. Undertale Yellow looked like it was going to be one of those, you know, like, it announced itself as, like, this huge game with a big scope that it was never going to be able to reach. But this is one of those miracles where the development team managed to stick it through to the end. That is genuinely impressive, and I commend you guys for that. Because 99% of the time, this does not happen. Especially not to the level of polish and love. It actually reached release. And it actually made up for all the expectations that people had for those seven years. At least to me, personally. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the genocide route. I genuinely don't know. Like, this is the thing that I had with Undertale back when it came out, see? I finished the pacifist route and I said, like... Yeah, I can't do it. I love the characters too much. I love the characters way too much to kill them. So I don't think I'll be able to do a genocide route. Maybe in a few months, maybe in the future once, like, I've removed myself from the emotional experience. Because at the end of the day, these are just games, you know? And look, it's fun to go and try out alternate routes, but... For the time and now, I feel way too much respect for these characters and fan project to immediately go on to do the genocide route, you know? Fuck, no. I think my only biggest critique of this is that the final boss... is kinda bullshit. Like, genuinely bullshit. If, like, I understand that you guys wanted to make a genuinely hard fight for the end, to make it, like, to make you work for it, you know? But the problem is... If you analyze how Toby Fox makes hard boss battles in his games, almost all of them are completely RNG-less, you know? He has set attacks for each of the bosses. Like, like, Jevil, Spamton, like, Sans. Like, they all have very, very, very predictable attacks. The problem with the final boss of this game is that it throws around a bunch of random attacks all at once at you, and it kind of overwhelms you, when the point of a final boss fight should be for you to learn the pattern and be able to react consistently every single time. I'm pretty sure that I got lucky in some of those final, like, encounters. But, aside from that, uh, it's 
perfect, you know? Absolutely perfect. I... I could not ask for anything less. And honestly, I'm glad that I finished the final boss in as short of a time as I did. I thought I was gonna have a way harder time with that, but... Surprisingly, I managed to go through it relatively unscathed. <sighs> Anyways, I think that's it. Thank you everybody for coming to the stream! Thank you for the developers to for watching, I didn't expect that they were gonna do that. They're probably just scouring through the internet trying to find all the little reaction streamers and all the little comments about people like... like gushing over their work, and honestly, I can't blame them. I think it must be feel feel very rewarding after those seven years of development to finally see people enjoy this actual masterpiece of fan work. Good job. Just genuine, amazing good job. I will be obsessing over this game for the next few weeks. Thank you. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.